A plus content to watch you make thumbnails again. I feel like my thumbnail skills have upgraded, especially since I started talking to Bikini. Uh, his, and like, I started like taking stuff from his thumbnails. And uh, like learning from them, essentially. Dude, his thumbnail game is like S tier. I mean, it, it should be evident based on that conversation we just had. Um, it is a skill that you can learn, but goddamn, some people are really good at it. They got like they got like thumbnail brain, you know. Gaming civilization. D. And then I need to make it public. Zombies are barbs. Pretty sure it worked with the Apostle with Heathen Conversion Promotion. It's probably the most important kill if you want to do YouTube. Oh, skill if you want to do YouTube content. True. Uh, I think there's, there's three really important skills if you want to be a really good YouTuber. No. Yes. The first one is like how to actually make good content, like the video itself. Make the video really, really good. Like make the best video you can make. However, that doesn't mean shit if you don't know how to do your thumbnail and your title. Like you got to be able to do a good thumbnail th title to get that video the clicks. And then the third thing that you need. I, actually, this one is, I think, is optional for most people. Like you got to be. This one's optional. I think you got to be able to network. You got to be able to get along with people, talk to people, and build communities. Um, if you can't do that, Happy to be here your growth will be date. limited. Um, and that's the that's the thing I'm the worst at is the uh, is the networking thing. My OBS is white people happy right now. Um, I gotta just make some changes real quick. I gotta make sure I got my streams off everywhere. Can you tell that I'm a professional? You know what? I kind of like how unprofessional I am. <laughs> it's kind of fun. It's kind of fun to not know what you're doing. I'm just, um, I don't know, guys. We'll figure it out. How do I? Okay. I, I, this, this face cam? Nah. I only FaceTime your mom. <laughs> right. You network with Spiff pretty well. The thing is, I don't network with Spiff. He's just a friend, a guy I like. I just, I enjoy his company. He's a cool dude who doesn't afraid of anything. And he's clever, he's insightful, he's funny. Um, he's very talented and he's, you know, he's, he's a lot of, I have a lot of positive things to say about him, but I wouldn't call that networking. That was just me, like, knowing a guy, which I guess is technically networking, but I don't, I don't feel like it that way. Um, what was I doing? I was going to play Civ. We've got the stream up. What do you like to do in your off time? Uh, Quake on Twitch. I live. Okay. You don't understand. You think you think I'm going to be joking when I say this. I live to play computer games. You don't understand. Okay. There's there's like three things in this world that I know. There's a few basic things that I like doing. Okay. Very simple. I like eating food. I like doing all the physical stuff. Having a shower, eating food. Uh, drinking coffee, drinking the occasional beer, all that stuff. Love doing all that stuff. And then the only real thing that I actually feel engaged when I'm doing is playing computer games. The only other thing beside that that I feel engaged when I'm doing it is talking to people. Um, those are the three things I like doing in my life. Holy shit, that is a lot of subs. Uh, cute grubby, I just want you to know um, you have completely obliterated 
the stream's quality. Thank you so much for the 50 gifted subs. Holy crap. The reason you've obliterated the stream's quality is because I don't know how to turn off donation alerts. <laughs> so we're going to have to listen. I don't, know, I don't know why it isn't triggered yet. I'm kind of almost glad. But thank you so much for the 50 subs. That's insane. You're a hero. Um, it's kind of a good thing that it didn't trigger all of the uh, all of the Twitch alerts. 60, you missed 10 from earlier? Oh my god, I missed 10? Dude, cute grubby. Thank you so much, cute grubby. Any relation to the grubby? Check your stream labs too. Oh shit. What do you mean check my stream labs? I haven't even logged in this in so long. I don't even know which account I should log in with. Hold on. We're pogging. Do you only read Twitch chat? No. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Cute grubby. $300? What? Why didn't that show up? <gasps> I know I didn't show up. There we go. Because I was on the wrong scene. <laughs> I was on the wrong scene in, in OBS. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, dude. Dude. Grubby. Is that the real Grubby? Hell yeah. Thank you so much, dude. More gifties. Um, hold on. It's been a long time. I'm a professional. Thank you. I do this professionally. This is my job. It's a new year, baby. Hey, if you want to give all your money to me. Gift me. Scammed. Listen, cute grubby. You could be a VIP. You give you gifted that much. You get you get VIP status until you do something that makes me revoke it. Okay. Any primers? Okay. Uh, we should probably get started here. Hey, yo, young lay kind of thick though. Boiler mash him, stick it to you. Potato young lay. Hell yeah. Um. Right. Uh, let's go. Potatoes. Dude, we got a serious level nine hype train. Holy sh I don't think I've ever seen it go. I didn't know it could go that high. Fifteen tier one subs to get to level ten. Or no, to complete level nine. Potatoes. Uh, does Wu Zeshan's ability trigger from gathering sources or listening posts? I'm not sure, actually. I think the mission has to be has to be an offensive mission that succeeds. It's not Young Lei, it's Yongle as in Dongle. Hell yeah. Let's right, let's actually, before we start the game, let's quickly look at the leader abilities. Um, they're all at the bottom of the list, which is kind of handy, actually. Young Lei. Yongle. And then Q. So Wu Zeshan, all offensive spies operate at one level higher. So not defensive spies, only offensive. Whenever an offensive spy mission is successful, that is stealing something, like a tech, money, or a great work, stuff like those, those count as offensive missions. You also gain 50% of the culture and science of the targeted city that turn. I don't like that turn. That should be like in the, the time it took to do the mission, personally. I, don't, I think that turn is kind of weak. It's fine. Getting a, getting a spy really early is strong enough with the plus one level. That's pretty strong. I don't think it's particularly unique enough. I can't believe there's no Spy Wonders. Me and Bikini Body were actually talking about that. It's insane that there's no Spy Wonders. I love the full live episodes on YouTube. Are you going to go away from that and go more episodic? Uh, not sure what you're asking. My brain could not compute your question. My plan is to continue to do YouTube Let's Plays, live streams, and all that sort of jazz. Oh. Uh, then we've got Young Lei, who... We're absolutely going to be playing because I think he's actually just straight up busted. Uh, all city project, all cities receive projects where they can convert 50% of their production into food, faith, or 100% of its gold. Really powerful there. In particular, the food one that opens up a lot of opportunities for very interesting gameplay. Cities with 10 or more population receive plus two gold, plus one science, and plus one culture per turn for each population in the city. That is a break point we're going to want to hit very early. Um... I think if they wanted to make... Actually, I 100% I agree with you there. White and Nerdy TV. Uh, White and Nerdy TV, by the way, is another Twitch streamer. I don't know if he has a YouTube channel, but I know he streams on Twitch and you should totally go check out his channel. White and Nerdy, uh, I 100% agree. She should get a random Eureka and, and inspiration from 
uh, leveling up spies. Not successful missions, but leveling them up. I think that would be a little bit more balanced. And then the unifier, man, the unifier is just insane. Now, here's the thing. This is like rolling a gigantic dice, right? Melee units receive the convert barbarians action. This action converts barbarian units into your units, but it removes the melee unit. So for, to a warrior costs like 30 production or 60 production. I don't remember. Like, like it's nothing. You could get like two man at arms and a crossbowman for the value of a warrior. That is insane. Insane. Uh, get a god start with young lay and pump food sounds busted what if spies have double speed for all actions um, you could kind of make that work I guess doesn't that work with scouts too no I think I think melee units means melee class units but if it does mean actually now I don't know hold on we need to find out uh, because that could be incredibly busted if it means scouts. Hang on. We're checking. I'm pretty sure it only means melee units. What mods are you using? I'm just using my usual UI mods because they shouldn't break the game. <clears throat> if scouts... Dude, if scouts could convert barbarians, that actually just completely is broken. 100% broken. One thing I, I am curious about, though, is let's 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 say we get a scout and a warrior. I'm curious, like, what happens if you convert a spearman that's standing on a barb camp? I want to know. Let, let's let's do a little bit of research here, real quick, um, to find out. Very fast gameplay here. We notice a barb camp up that way. It is not wisdom. I want to try something real quick. There it is. It got killed. Not good. I wanted to find one myself. Hoping for free scouts and stuff like that. We're not actually going to play this game. We're just doing a quick test of something. I wonder how many warriors you want to spam as this guy. Because it really does feel like it's a very RNG play. Because if you find no barb camps, well then you got no value. Uh, how do you stop your camera from moving after a next turn to complete momentum? Hope that makes sense. Yes, it's in your options menu. Auto, go to options menu, interface, auto unit cycling, set that to disabled. If you enable it, what happens is... Um, when you move a unit, it'll move to the next unit. I don't want that. So interface, disable. Uh, yeah, scouts don't work. I had a feeling that was true. But these guys do. Uh, you can already see the scout doesn't have the convert button, but the warriors do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I, I saw that and I forgot to say it out loud. I was just so focused on, like, scouting. I need to find a barb. Sorry, just talking to uh, my nephew. Got to make time for family.
Um, okay, I want to convert. I want to try to convert a barb on a camp. Oh, is my hotkey broken? Come on. Okay, yeah, I fixed it. Sometimes spamming escape will fix your hotkeys breaking. I thought clay must. I uh, I bought my nephew portal, and I told him he he had the day off school. So I was like, hey, listen, buddy. Your job today is to try to beat Portal on your day off. And, and if you beat it, you know... Well, it, there was no prize for beating it. It was just like more of a challenge for the ch sake of a challenge. Okay, okay. And uh, I wanted to see if he could do it. If he could beat Portal in a single day. Alright, here we go. Boom. Alright, free units. It just works. But I want to try to convert one that's on a barb camp. I want to know what happens there. Like, what is the order of operations? Does it just instantly clear the barb camp and you get value out of it? Um, you go auto explore. I'm also curious if you convert a melee unit, does that melee unit come with a barb charge, or is it only ones that are built by Wu, or by y Machin? The prize is playing Portal? I mean, yeah. The natural history of Does the convert thing work on rebels from free cities? I don't know, actually, Spiff. Um, we could open up the console menu and make that happen. I'm just trying to test something right here. Hold on. Okay, this is actually S tier test. Yeah, so I click this. It instantly clears the camp. You get the gold and the Eureka. Um... You trade a warrior for a spearman. That's actually a trade up, in my opinion, because a spearman costs 65 production. A warrior costs like 40 production. So that's like a net benefit. That's actually a really powerful ability. It might not work on rebels because I don't think they're barbarians. They might be a different thing. Does the convert work in zombie modes? Oh, my goodness. We need to find out. Not Yongle. I want to do Unifier. Hold on. Spiff's just chilling in your stream. He's a nice guy like that. Believe it or not, he occasionally watches my videos. My videos have the exact um, kind of aesthetic that a certain type of person likes to have on in the background because I don't really have much video game sound. It's just a person talking really quickly, uh, constantly. So it's like a very satisfying... I've noticed that a lot of people... There's like some people that are just like, Ew, that's boring. I, I can't watch a video without music. But some people really like the lack of music. Yeah, it's good background procrastination, exactly. I'm kind of like that. I don't like, like, I don't like videos with a lot of music. Um, I like the person's voice to be very clear, ideally, although I don't have the clearest voice. And I like to barely hear, like, even when I'm playing games, I'll turn the music down to, like, literally zero. Um, it's not a hatred thing. It's like a, it's like a texture thing. It just feels wrong. All right, we do a little converting. This warrior has a spread. That was just straight up net benefit. What? If there are no Bro. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. Statistically, if you roll the dice correctly, this could be the most broken save in the game. Now, I'm curious. He's going to kill that barb, unfortunately. If you slow your videos down to half speed, it sounds like you're talking at normal speed. To be honest with you, I'm not even at my maximum power level. This level of talking is only the beginning. I have just converted a zombie. And the zombie has a spread! <laughs> 
This is no longer a young lady stream. This is a unifier stream, my dudes. Oh my god. That is amazingly. That's. <laughs> Who playtested this? <laughs> oh. Oh my god. That's amazing. <sighs> oh. <laughs> oh, that one's going to keep me warm on cold winter nights, let me tell you. Mate, free zombies. No man ever he is absolutely straight busted on the zombie defense. The Signy. This is actually a really kind of scuffed but cool map because it's very flat. But we start off in an interesting place. Dude, better balanced starts actually just fixes the game's map problem. This game's a little bit scuffed without it. Just totally being real with you guys. Uh, do the zombies you control get bonus from zombies dying? Actually, I don't know. Does it matter when this unit is just a bomb that can, can convert zombies? Better, better, better balanced starts. Uh, unscuffifies the map generation. Oh, please, not hiccups. Not today. Hello, Spiderinos. Hey, how's it going, Sheldor? Good to see you. What are the map's problems that BBS fixes? Um, it fixes the fact that there's not enough hills. Like, look. I'm just going to type hills into map Google. <clears throat> look look how few hills there are here. This is just completely hillless. And then you come down here. There's, like, so few hills. Convert zombie. Yoink. Thanks to the zombie. I'm just trading zombies for zombies right now. Um... Do you plan on playing this game out? No, no, no. I'm just, I'm, I'm fecking around. We're going to play Yongle in a moment. I just wanted to see how absolutely insanely busted this was. It turns out very. Um, but let's go play Yongle. There's a video in that one for sure. It works. Yes, Bikini. It works with zombies. Um... It works with zombies. But let's let's play Yongle. Where's Yongle? There he is, Yongle. Uh, Deity difficulty, Ancient Era start. What kind of map are we feeling? Are we feeling like an islands map? Watery map? Pangea? Don't tell the devs. It's too late. The cat's out of the bag. Uh, Pangea plus. Wait, you want me to turn on BB Battlebound starts? How about a true start? Don't leave this stream. What? You're 100% calling that this converts free city units and rebels? I think those aren't barbs though. I think they might be different. So, so people are saying shuffle, seven C's, primordial. What BBS mod do you use? Looking at Steam Workshop, see some seem outdated. Uh, the one that I use is the Better Balance Starts 2.14. Let me actually link it for you. Hold on. Um, this is this is the level of cool guy that I am. I'm going to link a mod completely derailing. Oh, there's a lot of anime mods on the workshop these days. Um, might want to check out some of those. Better balanced starts. Um, hold on. There you go. There's the link to the mod. 
in the chat. Uh, Better Bounce Starts. This is really good. Will I, will I use it? When was it last updated? Jan 18th? That was like yesterday. Mm. You want to do a true start? TSL East Asia with all five Chinas? No. Don't let him cook. True start? You guys are crazy. You think this is more busted than Congo? Um, it could be. Do I want to do BBS? I don't want to do... I don't like TSL maps. I'm going to be real with you guys. I don't like, T, I don't like TSL maps. I do have something cooking in the works though for a TSL video. Um, Primordial Highlands Fractal. None of those really excite me. Actually, this sieve probably doesn't have the proper programming for better balance starts yet, so I might just leave that off for now. I will just play a we'll play a regular old scuffed game of sieve. Hold on, Younglei, deity. Uh, I'm trying to think what would be a fun one to do. Highlands is just a big map. Terra could be fun. I don't want to play a colonization game, though. Inland Sea? Inland Sea has some balance problems. I feel like... Tilted Axis could be interesting. We rarely do a Tilted Axis game. BBS will just give you China biases, not leader-specific. Really? Sure, I'll turn on BBS then. If 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 it actually if that's how it works, um, better balance starts. Enable. Create game. Advanced setup. Young lay. Deity difficulty. Regular game speed. We could theoretically do a marathon. Um, let's do a tilted access. Tilted access sounds a little weird, a little different. Where are we at, bro? Where? Why don't I see it? Perfect World 6. What's the Perfect World script? Volcanoes equals boosted tiles. Primordial. Where are you? You drive a hard bargain. Oh, I, I saw the tilted axis. Sorry, I was just kind of flipping around thinking about. I don't want to play. With, I I just had a disaster filled game, so I actually want to play a map without volcanoes. So I'm going to skip Arena. Um, and instead, I mean, this is technically a wonder building sieve. We could do wetlands. Huh? Uh, let's do standard map size. At the is one of the funniest things. Raffle, keep it up, potato. True. Thank you so much, Job Martinez, for the five dollar doodles. Abundant resources, abundant strategic resources, natural wonders. I want it. No, sorry. I want to do uh, abundant natural resources. New world age. Wet rainfall. These are mandatory settings. Star position, legendary, makes it more fun. Min tiles between players. Standard distance based on the map. Uh, this is a thing. Let's do a low sea level. Let's have more water or more map rather. Do we want to have any? Are there any of these that would like completely break the game for Yongli? What would be the what would be the most overpowered game mode with Yongli? <coughs> Monopolies, maybe.
barbarian clans, dramatic ages, hermetic order, hermetic order. I, it's been so long since I've picked hermetic order. Hold on. I actually have to Google it. So ley lines. Mm. They are pretty good. <gasps> Vampires would be kind of cool. Monopolies for yields. Vampires would be a very funny if we built an absolutely gargantuan capital city. Maybe secret societies. Potatoes. Maybe Monopoly. We want to do Heroes and Legends. I love the videos, Potato. Civ is pretty much the only game I play when I'm not programming. Always enjoy listening to you while I play. Thank you so much, Benjamin Van Cleve. Thank you for the ten dollars. Appreciate you, dude. Glad that you enjoy my listening to me. I'm glad that you donate. Heroes break the game too much. All right, we'll skip heroes. We'll skip heroes. Yeah, we'll, we'll play with the two busted game modes. Um, other than that, I think we're ready to go, eh? Any last minute comments? Potato, his name is pronounced Yongle. You mean Yongle? Dude, I'm Yongling right now. Get Yonged? Yongle? Uh... Youngla. Don't yongle your dongle. Do, 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 do. All right, last minute check. Let's see. Everything is as it should be. Let's go. Anyone notice they edited the names in the video since they said them wrong? Yes. I have a reaction to the announcement video that I forgot to... I have it in my YouTube queue. I just haven't published it yet because I have to make a thumbnail. <clears throat> um, and I wanted to get streaming, but I noticed that I I, I specifically called it out when I was recording the reaction. Raise your youngers. Alrighty, let's take a look at our start location. We got a three-two banana tile right beside the capital, and a two-two tile as well as a nice first tile. Could be a really good temple of Artemis play here. Especially considering we're playing Yongle, who wants to grow really, really big. Now, the thing about Yongle is he gets the Ligia, the Ligia ability. I, look, I'm just not going to be able to pronounce these things without, like, a reference. And uh, I'm just not going to remember it. So, in the future, I might be able to pronounce these correctly. So, essentially, uh, the reason we want to grow really, really big cities is because cities with 10 or more population receive plus 2 gold, plus 1 science, and plus 1 culture per turn for each population in the city. That is a lot of science, culture, and gold. So we want to grow our cities huge. Now, the really cool thing is that he also has the ability to convert 50% of his production into food or faith or 100% of his production into gold, which makes him very flexible. Uh, otherwise, we have dynastic circles, which gives us uh, more science and culture for our Eurekas and Inspirations, and we get a Eureka and an inspiration when we build a wonder. So I want to go for Temple of Artemis. This will definitely be a Temple of Artemis game. <clears throat> audio gone or just me? Um, you mean audio of the game? Or can you not hear me? Potato McWhiskey app. I would still love to provide that service. Slightly smiling face. Either way, good day and I look forward to this win. Listen, dude, when I have the spare brain cells to to help people out with uh or, or to, to work with you on that i would absolutely love to do it i just i listen i'm barely like i don't i don't have the mental emotional time i'm just i i'm, I'm barely holding things together as it is okay now uh hashtag relatable so we got one two three temple of artemis triggers in the capital um where do i step to see the best information where do i step to see the best information let me have a little bit of a think about that if i step down left i see across this river if i step 
up here, I see over here. I guess the direction doesn't really matter. It's more so I should think about where I'm going to step next turn. So I'm going to step up left to see if there's anything here. I don't want to settle on the bananas because look, here, here's my thinking. If we go... Let's, let's start to put together a little bit of an opening build order here. We've got a camp here. We've got a camp here. We definitely want to have a pasture here. We want to get as many of these in range of the capital city as possible for those amazing early game amenities. So I definitely don't want to settle on the furs because that would cut a cattle out of the capital. I would, it's the place I'm settling is either in place or across the river. Here's the question. Why would I ever cross the river? Well, there's no Plains Hill here. I would be killing a mine tile. Um, where is the Temple of Artemis actually going? <clears throat> so it actually has no terrain placement requirements. It just needs to be next to a camp. Um, okay, so the beginning of a build order is starting to coalesce in my mind. We're going to go ahead and settle in place. Boom. What did we find? We found another copy of Diamonds, which I'm very happy about. Tons of luxuries in my capital. In fact, two separate copies of two luxuries in my capital city. Um, now, this might seem a little bit crazy here. But if we immediately work Legia... And do animal husbandry, we could get an extremely fast pantheon. Let me think about this. If I went builder first, why not the hill down left? Um, because that's off of fresh water. That's not. That's not fresh water. I could have maybe settled I'll on the banana hill, but I wanted to preserve the plantation for the Temple of Artemis. Do the meme, show it, do the Pantheon rush. Here's my thought, though. In this particular game, I don't want to rush the Settler Pantheon. Although, I will say this. In the vast majority of Yongle games, rushing the Religious Settlements Pantheon by slapping down a um, uh, Ligia Faith button here, to get a settler out on turn 10 is like 100% the correct play. 100% um, of the time. But I'm thinking about playing on Deity and I reckon if I go fast builder and I get these camps up and I get the Goddess of the Hunt Pantheon that's plus one food, plus one production from camps. That's two food, two production my capital. That's like huge. Wait, Leah gives wheels while working or on completion? While working. Settler Pantheon gives a 15% growth bonus. It does. It does. This is supposed to be... But, like, here's the thing. If I go for the Settler Pantheon, my, my Temple of Artemis Rush will be weaker. I'm going to put it to a vote. I cannot decide. I can't decide. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do a poll. Uh, Settler Pantheon or Camp Pantheon. Which Pantheon? Um, oh shit, I forget how to do polls. Hold on. Settler Camp All right, poll is started. Click the poll above your chat. There's a, there's a poll in the chat. A lot of votes for camp. I mean, like a lot. What do you think, Bikini? I know we were talking about the settler meme, but man, do I really spit in the face of this amazing Goddess of the Hunt Temple of Artemis game? Oh, this gives growth rate. Potatoes. Hunt. Wait. For the thumbnail. What happens if you get the settler with one pop? Actually, I don't know. Settler is opt optimal. Camp is better content. I agree. Any news on the new D&D &D campaign, uh, check this space in February. 
We should have something ready to go in February. Goddess of the Hunt only gives you plus two, plus two so far. But that's like plus two, plus two. Potentially on turn like 10 or 20. That's a huge win. I think it's got to be Camp Pantheon. So if I'm going to go for Camp Pantheon, I'm not rushing Legia. Instead, I'm rushing a Builder. Um, do I go Single Settler first? I think I go Single Scout into Builder. And then we'll see where we stand. Uh, let's hide these pins for now. We definitely want to work the banana tile. That's three food, two production. The next tile I'd like to work is the this tile down here. So I would like the money to do so. Right, let's explore. All right, so we notice the barb camp over here to our left. Uh, thoughts on the OGL debacle? To be honest with you, I'm not very informed on it, so I don't really know. Um, from what I heard, it seemed like... On the face of it, it seemed like it was just some fairly boilerplate changes to um, the OGL license. But like upon further investigation, people seem to have some really valid concerns. So I just don't know enough about it to really make a comment on it. I barely know the facts of the case, so how would I have an opinion on it? We want to position him here to push this scout away until we deal with that scout. The scout is going to try to come this way. I attack him across the river. He'll bounce away. The turn afterwards, he'll come back because that's what scouts do because they're dumb. we got to get rid of that scout so I can clear this barb camp cleanly. So we just sit still. The scout should approach us. All right, so he's getting killed by another player. Perfect. We are working this. Excellent. There is a player to my southwest that looked like potentially England. Thoughts of the Banshees of Inishirin. I bought it and I still haven't watched it. Um, just haven't gotten around to it. If there are no dogs in There's Annabel Husbandry. We didn't find horses, which is fine. Marsh Pantheon. Marsh Pantheon would be amazing here too. Oh shit, it's a wetlands map. How long? So it's four turns until Code of Laws. I will park myself on this hill for defensive reasons. We'll head towards Temple of Artemis. I think this is just the Temple of Artemis rush game. Let's do it. I don't actually want to find another player yet, so I'm going to try to avoid scouting to the southwest where I saw their units. All right, builder up. Let's make sure that we improve our camps. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the auto apply builder lens because I don't like it. Will this be a video? It'll be a live stream VOD. Now let's do Legia Faith. We're making going to be making four Faith per turn. So how the Legia works is every single every every time you end your turn, fifty percent of your production is converted into Faith or food or gold, depending on which of these projects you work. Gold is converted one hundred percent of production into Faith. So I would get eight gold per turn with this. I'm going to get four Faith per turn working this project. Probably slightly more depending on whether or not I have positive amenities or not and stuff like that. I think fractional fractional points do count. Let's take discipline Been meaning to resub for a while. and God King. Appreciate all your content and thoughts. This way we'll be able to get a Pantheon in five turns. This is going to be a five turn Pantheon. So turn 20 Pantheon, we'll have the pick of the litter. I like that. That's pretty cool. Uh, I think you could do the triple industrial zone. The map is perfect for it. And Here's... Okay, you know what? Got my first Civ 6 live stream with potato. Potatoes. You're actually right. $20 and zero cents. I don't know the facts. So how can I have an opinion on it? Proof potato isn't American, am I? <laughs> Uh, like, I don't know what you want me to say. I don't know anything about it. What, what, what do you, like, I'm thinking. I'm pogging and I'm thinking. What if I did, like, let's just, let, let's do some hypothetical sizing here. What if we did a little aqueduct? Why is this wrong? I don't remember how to do it. 
Uh, maybe I need to do this. Hold on. Let me have a little bit of a think about how I want to do this. Because what I would like to do is like dam. Where can the dam go? The dam can go there. So that's going to change my city locations. And then I'd like to do aqueduct and then ideally aqueduct. But if I'm if I'm getting rid of that one. Well, ideally aqueduct here. And then there's like something like this. We could do this. Very easily, we could do this. Plus nine, plus seven, plus seven. There's got to be a way we can get... $19.99 less than three. Get this to work even better, no? Am I missing something? I've got to be missing something. You can only get one dam on this river. It's only one floodplain that's centered around this river. <clears throat> no, no, this is one river. The floodplains are around one river, guys. Um, I know it looks like it's covering two rivers, but the, the floodplain, if I hover over this, right, this river up here, where's my tooltips? Um, this floodplain here is the Yangtze River. If I hover down here, this will also say Yangtze and Salween River. And then this one will say Yangtze, Salween River. Yangtze River. So this floodplain, this is the Yangtze River floodplain. The, the, both of these floodplains are from the Yangtze River. This is the Yangtze River floodplain. I don't want to do an industrial zone play. It's a fun play. Um, but I don't want to do it this game, I don't think. What about the marsh tile next to the south city? I, d I don't want to do a thingy. Do I? Yeah, if you hover over this, this might be a UI thing. You can see the little star. That means it's a Yangtze River floodplain. Atom, I think this is going to be more of a wonder game. We're going to build wonders on the river, so I don't think we're going to do the fidget spinner. A cool idea, though. Let's get foreign trade. The reason that we're going to go for foreign trade is so we have access to an early trader. It also leads potentially to early empire, which is a good early tech to get. I forgot to attack my warrior. I got the attack in. And then I'll fortify the scout, scout in the wrong direction, which is good. I did meet Tokugawa. I'm going to immediately send a delegation to him to try to keep him happy. Um, it's very important that I keep him happy. I'm also going to send him, potentially, some furs in a trade deal. You have a promotion. Let's take the battle cry promotion so you're stronger on the attack. You're also fortified twice on defensive terrain, so you've plus nine defensive combat strength. We've got a nice tribal village over here. Pantheon in three turns. Perfect. Bronze working enabled. That's from killing three barbs. And we get three arrow score for clearing a barb camp. Grab this tribal village. Plus one population. That's huge. We're working really high quality tiles. I'm very happy about that. Pantheon in one more turn. Build a camp. Let's go ahead and talk to him. And he's going to pay me 10 gold per turn and 45 gold for my luxury, dude. I actually hit the jackpot with this start location. Basically, everything about it is just working out in my favor. Uh, okay, so Pantheon, guess, switch away from Ligia. I wonder if I could switch early, earlier than that. Let's now take the Camp Pantheon. Do I, do I have to go Camp Pantheon? Like I could... Yeah, I think, I feel like Camp Pantheon. Oh, I can't choose. Hold on, we're going to do a, we're going to do a poll. New poll. New poll. 
uh, Pantheon, Camp, or uh, Marsh Pantheon. Camp or Marsh. There's the poll. The poll is up. New poll. Camp or Marsh Pantheon. You've got one minute. Ten pounds and zero camp pounds for tempo. Love your I like the idea of camp for tempo. Been watching for two years now. When I got six six. There's also another camp over here we can get. Really we can buy our way to that one pretty quick. We could probably buy our way to it now. This game. And good luck for the future. Holy shit! The Marsh Pantheon votes. Ooh! Uh, thank you so much, uh, ID, uh, IDC Gaming, for the ten pound donation. Um, glad you've been enjoying my videos for two years. Uh, thank you for watching my channel so diligently and also for reaching into your pocket and giving me some money. I really appreciate that. Damn, dude. People want to do the marsh. I really want to do the camps. I've got two camps already. Think of the tempo, guys. I would go up to 11 production. I could buy this, right? I could buy this tile. That would be another... Dude. The marsh pantheon. Chat L. All right. I'm going to trust... My my brother, Bikini, what is your decision? What does the Senate say? What is the triumvirate? Camp, Camp Pantheon, <laughs> chat, democracy is dead. Bikini is the Senate. Boom, Camp Pantheon. Easy clap. But I mean, look at these tiles. How could you, how could you deny the power of these tiles, dude? You guys are wild, okay? You guys are wild. Um, I Now, I will admit this would have been really satisfying, but it's not part of the play. Um, I think... Potatoes. So, let's let's take stock of our current position. Thanks for the We've built a... Wands, thank you so much for the sub. Oh my God, the whole chat just filled with people saying rigged. <laughs> and rise up, brothers. Younglism prevails. <laughs> Listen... You guys, you guys should have had your political situation sorted out if you didn't want to be, you know, overthrown. Um, okay, so let's take stock of the game. It's turn 20. We've built a scout, we built a builder, and we built a uh, pantheon. Normally, we would have built settlers by now. Here's the question. Do we want to go for settlers right now? Or do we want to get another scout, discover more terrain... Uh, go for a scout and a monument and go for early empire try to hit 10 pop get magnus in the city with the settler promotion and then quickly expand you know there's a few there's a few ways we can do this because we're going to be building wonders early this is going to be the only opportunity that we have to get a settler for a while that's the thing that we have to remember i'm not going to be able to build settlers for a good while Ten dollars and zero cents. Just wanted to say thanks. I am a pretty casual player. Less than five hundred hours played. I can now keep up and win against Immortal Air now. Thank you so much, Jake. I appreciate you. And Michael Giannon. I don't know how to pronounce your name. Apology. Settler delays the Adamus. I think zero cents we could maybe go for. Chart, but I promised this money if you chose Camp Lol much. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, let's do Scout. Let's get another Scout. I think. Early era score value from the scout cannot be overrated. You're going to hit the housing limit soon? No, 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 no. We're building camps. We're fine on housing. So I actually, I need you to get to the capital city. Okay, 20.00 potato, the dictator. <laughs> Thank you so much, Chris Rubin. Um, I'm going to let him hit me. Et tu, potato? That's right, Kyridan. I want to prevent this scout from getting home if I can. Seventy nine love your vids can shout out my boys the sinners. Hey, shout out to the sinners! Thank you so much, life of a sinner. Is that Sean Bean? That is. That is an AI recreation of Sean Bean's voice. I paid some. I paid some guys that do like uh, machine learning stuff to recreate his voice. <laughs> uh, 
they did a great job. So one turn until $9. archery. $9. I'm just going to go ahead and force end my turn because I think six turns on the settler. If I shift enter, I shot an arrow into the. Where am I putting my Temple of Artemis? That's actually a really important question for us to answer because where we put it is dependent upon where we plan to settle. So there's a settlement on either... Well, we don't want to settle on the sugar because that's going to be... Mm, 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 mm. We need to get out our radial tool here at a range of four so we can build the Temple of Artemis here or here. If we build it up here to the north, it won't capture that pasture nor will it capture this. However, it will capture two more over here in exchange. And statistically, it's more likely that there's more resources in the fog of war to the north than the south, just because the total amount of land area that I haven't revealed to the south is smaller than the total amount of land area to the north that I haven't revealed. So by probability, based on what I know, it is more likely that I will find more things that will give amenities to the north. So I will build the Temple of Artemis to the north. And look, we found horses. So absolutely, my gamble paid off. I feel like we dropped two, but gained two. And then another. And then there's also potentially more in the fog of war. Need to scout before you decide the Artemis? No, I feel like you can make a high percentage. You can, you can do like basic analysis of like the game state and get to that conclusion, in my opinion. Um... It doesn't give you the perfect answer, but it gives you a statistically reliable answer. Where are you expanding first, though? That's not important. Um, so we have archers. Now, if I think about this game, I would like to also build Adam and Anki and Hanging Gardens. I probably won't get them all, but I definitely would like to get Adam and Anki. And I would like to get it immediately after the Temple of Artemis. I need to find more people. There's foreign trade. That's actually huge. Uh, we no longer need God King. We can plug in urban planning. That might shave a turn off of it. I'm going to keep discipline in to keep my warrior strong against barbs. We can choose a civic. So we have foreign trade. There is something to be said of going for a tall game to go for the oracle. If you get that on no marsh. Well, we have a guaranteed six marsh in my empire plus three over here. So there's going to be at least some. Um, I feel like I'm going to be building it would be nice to get working on early empire I think I agree revealed tiles 0% chance of more temple of artemis resources unrevealed some chance something is more than nothing yeah but you can't get oracle you can't get oracle oracle is like the fourth best wonder you have to make up your choice. I think if I'm going to prioritize, it would be it would be Temple of Artemis, Edom and Anki, and Oracle if I could get it. But the problem that I have is I have to choose between Edom and Anki and Oracle. And I think the, the choice is Edom and Anki this game because even though I plan on doing some sort of a cultural play, <clears throat> this is a um, wetlands map. Water to the great beasts of the Stone Age. And I have a really, 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 steps, really respectable floodplain. Now begins your greatest quest. Seeing how well the AI does this speech. I think he did it pretty well, Z Spencer. Thank you for the $20. Um, <clears throat> AI barely builds gardens anyway. Might still get it. I feel like Oracle would be amazing. Oracle would be amazing. It's super good. One faith, one culture. Plus two great people points of their type. Let's get the camp pantheon. There we go. Plus three, plus three, plus three. Look at these tiles, man. This city is popping. You can't tell me the city isn't popping. Especially when we want to get to pop 10 ASAP. Um, we would probably want a really early granary in here to keep growing. Can you explain China again? So this version of China is quite simple. Uh, cities with 10 or more population receive plus two gold, plus one science and plus one culture per turn for each population in a city. I'm kind of tempted to go to Magnus level 2 
Here's here's a plan that I'm kind of formulating in my mind. What if I go to Magnus level two provision, right? And never build a settler until population 10. I build like Temple of Artemis, right? That's four food, three housing. That'll allow me to grow quickly. I get another builder and start improving more food tiles like these horses and this cattle. Get to that critical 10 population as soon as possible and then just milk the city for value. When are you going to start doing the city projects? I've already used the city project to get a Pantheon. What do you guys think about that? Doing like a one city challenge on a temporary basis. I think it could be an interesting build, especially because it would allow us to get some early wonders. It would significantly delay our game. I think a single settler south to block some forward settling from Japan, that might be good. But the problem is I would miss out on the critical wonders that I really want. I think my empire has the capability to do really high quality low cities. Um, so I might play more of a wonder focused game early game. I don't like how many barbs I'm seeing. There's another player to my east. Save gold for a settler. That actually isn't a bad play. However, it would slow down the growth of my city. I would much rather use my gold on a granary to keep the growth going. No man ever like if I come in here and now I buy the granary, I go from 14 turns of growth to 6 turns of growth. I'm already almost pop 7. I do want to meet this guy so that I can trade him my luxuries. And I want to I want to buy a builder so I can get more luxuries as well. So it's the Maori. Nice to meet you. Uh, how would you like to buy this? He'll pay 11 GPT. Holy shit, dude. We're actually making out like bandits. That's insane. I'm going to be able to buy a builder so incredibly quickly. Get these two diamonds online. And the horses and the cattle. Dude, we're pogging. Pop 7 on turn 29 is insane. A dollar ten. That's insane. Zero, zero, one does not simply walk into Mordor. This is this is one of the most insane starts I've had in like months, maybe years. Um, and not for any particular reason, just for like situational reasons. And it's not even like the actual start is insane. It's just like the the coalescing of all these different pieces coming together. I need to know a lot about my surrounding area, but I also need to be careful. Oh, wow. Okay. This. I need to defend this tile. So I'm going to fall back a little bit. I could buy a slinger. I could buy an archer. I would rather buy a builder. I think I'll buy an archer next turn. To help clear and deal with barbs. It would also help me defend my city. I really need my infrastructure to survive. Is the thing. I want to attack here. But then I would be on a marsh tile. And then get hit by the slinger for too much damage. We're about to finish the Temple of Artemis. Based. Um, this unit is dead. Double fortifying on this tile might help him survive. If he gets double attacked, he'll have a promotion. When I saw the house of Artemis, the Perfect, right. The There's Temple of Artemis. So each camp, pasture, and plantation within four tiles of the Temple of Artemis gives plus one amenity. Now, how this works is the camp, pasture, or plantation has to be in the city to give the amenity. So, for example, if I settle a city here and put these to be these things inside the city, they will give amenities to this city, not my capital. So that's how that works, I think. Anyone confirm or deny that? Yeah, I think I think a archer is necessary here. As much as I don't want to do that. Um 
very important that I kill this slinger, at the very least hurt him. However, I am fortified on a really defensible tile. So I may delay that. Now, what I want to do is I want to move one tile to the east and then I want to promote with the ranger promotion. We're on a defensive terrain and we have the capability of Zoidberging away. It's always good to pick up mining because we can be able to chop tiles. We have the Temple of Artemis. I would love to start the Edamananke. Oh, shit. Someone else built the Edamananke. Okay, that changes things. What does that change? Well, I can't get or I wish I was researching Oracle now. But I'll try to take Oracle. I've got nine turns of stuff to do. I'll get a monument for culture. That'll hopefully shave a couple turns off. Okay. Now you need to one, two, three, and he's away. He's safe. Archer, step forward. You fortify. Okay, I think this tile is now safe. This scout is baiting people. Archer is defending. Good job. Continue to bait people away. Zoidberg. Oh, shit. Okay. It's a little bit... The barbs are rebelling against the stolen vote. <laughs> the, 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 dude, <laughs> the chat is the barbarians. <laughs> you can flood your river with a soothsayer. I'm not playing with the um, apocalypse mode. To your O's and zero cents must chance to call it Marsh to Victory Stream. That's true. Marsh to Victory Stream would have been a good name. Say hi to Jimmy. Hi, Jimmy. Um, how's it going, Jim? Jim Bob? Jimmy! Uh, where, where's that, wait, where's that Jimmy from? I don't remember. I just, it's in my brain somewhere. Something I used to watch years ago. Uh, four turn settler. We, we don't build settlers. We don't do that here. I'm afraid. Oh, it's from South Park. Oh my God, it is. Oh God, that's like a, <laughs> oh Jesus. I don't know. I don't know where that came from. It was like way deep in my mind. And zero cents. Say hi to Jimmy. Hi, Jimmy. Uh, okay. Let's get a builder. We need to get this diamond improved and this diamond improved and this horse is improved because we want to sell more stuff to the AI. Archer is in a strong Potatoes. position. Um, let's get these scouts healed up. We're defending pretty effectively here. I think this guy can tank for a while, especially if he stays fortified on that tile. Potatoes. Five dollars and zero cents with hypothetical perfect RNG slash any other necessary prereq. Would it be possible to build all the wonders in one game without any game breaking exploits? Uh, it depends on a lot of things, is what I'll answer to that. Technically, it might be possible, but you would have your work cut out for you. So I have a play here. The most important thing to do is to reduce the number of attacks that we're taking. And also this frees up my builder to head to the southeast. Um, let's purchase another archer. And we may as well get our third archer because we can afford it. Stay fortified. You need to retreat to here. Okay, we're taking a little bit of damage. You shoot there. Step forward. You move there. Mysticism complete. Cancel that archer. Go for oracle. Fortunately, we don't have mining yet. But I wanted to get irrigation. I don't know why I wanted to get irrigation. That was actually a dumb move. How is the capital still at baseline happiness despite the Temple of Artemis giving loads of amenities? The Temple of Artemis. So let's uh, let's do an amenity breakdown here. Uh, we are getting... 
where is our amenity? So, amenities from improvements. That is one, two, three amenities from improvements. We're getting two from entertainment from having two luxuries. And from having one luxury... Sorry, one from luxuries. The capital starts with two. And we're about to get another one. Um, it's a population eight city, which means it demands four amenities. And you have to have plus three more amenities than the city demands in order for it to be positive to be getting the bonus. So let's finish early empire so we can get Magdus established. I want to build the Oracle. The Great Bath is cool, but I want to build the Oracle more. Um, I wish I had mining. So I didn't have to put it here, but I'll put it where I have to. These guys are just protecting each other and healing. There's early empire. I don't think we particularly want to plug in anything. We don't plan on building settlers, nor do we need the loyalty. So I'm, I'm quite content to leave it as is. We'll take volley so we can kill units faster. Now we can start to counterattack. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. Uh, so we, I feel like we definitely go Magnus here into provision and surplus logistics. $2. And then transition to Pingala shortly afterwards. We chop the hell out of the city to quickly develop it. I think I think we have a we have an interesting play coming. I wish I'd I wish I'd researched mining sooner. That's like the one thing that I feel like I made a mistake here. <clears throat> I want to be able to keep my population while settling. It's actually really, really important. I agree. What modes are you playing with? That's a good point. We are playing with monopolies and corporations and secret societies. So it might be good to get currency. I haven't yet found... I've actually found a lot of stuff and not found a secret society. That's genuinely disturbing. Unfortunately, we won't be getting a golden age. Um, it would have been really nice. We just got bogged down a little bit. That's life. Okay, so we finished unlocking mining. We also have craftsmanship. Nothing about craftsmanship particularly changes the way that we're going to build, but we will be building a mine here. I wish I could chop this, but I don't have bronze working yet. I would like to get bronze working. I think I could justify it to unlock that iron as well. There's potentially iron on this tile. That would be quite nice if it was there. Kill both of these. You step over here to capture that. You're healing. You're fine. You're continuing to explore more. So one thing that we need to consider is what continent we're on and how many luxury resources we can secure. We're going to make a dedication here. I think the best dedication to make in the early game is probably free inquiry, just because it means that any Eurekas that you trigger will just be better for you. Plus, we're also playing Young Lei. I'm going to get a friendship with Japan to prevent him from declaring war on me. Uh, if you get a friendship with the AI, they can't declare war on you for 30 turns. Declare war. Uh, unable to surprise war. Casabelli cannot declare war on somebody for 30 for the number of for the length of time that you are their friend. So this is really good early game security. It allows me to play greedier. Uh, I would like to buy both of these tiles. I am going to buy both of these tiles while they're cheap, so I can move units up here. Capital City is about to hit 10 population, and so uh, I will go up about 10 science per turn, 10 culture per turn, and 20 gold per turn. Very interesting save to do a one city challenge on. We clear the barb camp. There's another three era score. Probably should have saved that. No, actually, the turn already rolled over into the next era. Uh, let's do a little bit of fog busting just to prevent barb camps from spawning too close to me and also so that we can see what other players are up to nearby. A gentle eruption. We're probably going to be spacing our cities out pretty far apart um, when we do eventually get around to building them. And we need to start planning and placing some districts. So of clear and immediate note is the fact that this will probably be a tourism game. I don't want to settle it directly adjacent to the mountain. I don't remember what disaster intensity we're on. Does anyone know a way to check what disaster intensity you're on? Um, moderate. Okay, so tiles within two tiles away from volcanoes won't get damaged. So I don't want to settle directly adjacent to the volcano, but it would be good to settle like pretty close to it. Um, why not hunt down that bar builder? Uh, I don't know how many charges it has, and I would I value map exploration a little bit more than hunting down that bar builder. 
I guess theoretically I could try it, but I don't know where exactly it would be. So I need to think about where my cities are going. Um, and by virtue of that, I also need to think about where my government plaza is going. So I think there's going to be a triangle of three cities in this general area. The obvious thing to do, in my opinion, is to put two theater squares next to this Temple of Artemis. And then potentially a government plaza here. And if I'm going to do this, I'll probably settle this tile right here. Spread my cities out so they have more room to grow. That feels appropriate to me. One, two, three, four. There's going to be three. There's actually going to be... Holy shit. There's going to be four amenities in my other city. Thanks to the Temple of Artemis. One, two, three, four. That's insane value. Four amenities in this city. Um, that's superb. Ooh, what about entertainment and Colosseum? Actually, Colosseum would be Omega based here if I could get it, which might change my settling pattern. If I were to put an entertainment complex here and the Colosseum here, maybe more like this. Ooh, what about, th no, it has to be on flat, lo flat land. Um, one, two, three. Closest I could settle is on this maze, which is a pretty good settle. And then I would have to make do with a rather low one. There's not really a good way to optimize this, is there? I'm trying to think. Does anyone see a better way to do this? Keep in mind, I don't want to I don't want to kill these four tiles or rather this cattle tile in particular. I don't want to kill this cattle tile because it's worth an amenity. Um, I suppose in theory, I could move this theater square one tile to the right, put a theater square here. And one, two, three, a city could be settled here. This isn't a terrible city. It's within range of the capital. It's within range of this. A second entertainment center. That seems like a very heavy investment into a district that doesn't produce yields. While I agree with you, it would be a pretty good investment. Placing the Colosseum there might hit two amenities. Let's have a look. So where it is. Okay, keep an eye on these four tiles. In fact, I'm going to put pins down so we can see if it hits them. One, two, three. Let's say hypothetically we settled something a little bit like this. Um, city overlap, range. Uh, it would be, t it's just barely out of range no matter what I do there. So if I lose the cattle tile, I actually just significantly improve this configuration, which makes me want to kill the cattle tile. One, two, three. This is all within range and totally doable. Um, and I can just slip a government plaza in there to get a little bit of extra adjacency. So I think that cattle tile needs to die. However, one issue that I, f I see is that I cannot settle this city until I've built the Colosseum. Spread cities out. Well, I'm spreading cities out, but not when it comes to the Colosseum. But this feels really optimal to me to do this. I just can't settle the city early. I have to settle it late. And then there's an inherent danger of them forward settling me here and ruining, ruining, ruining it. 
Your cap can't build a Colosseum anyway, Nose. One, two, three. Shit, you're right. That's why it was going on this tile. No, no, no. It has to go on this tile because my capital needs to build it. The cattle is preserved. And the theater square goes down here. Thank you for reminding me that. The reason I put this here and here is so the capital could build it because the capital is going to be the city with the most production. Thank you. Thank you for pointing that out. Appreciate it. Settle right, right next to the volcano. No, not happening. We, we've made a decision. We've made our we've made our decision about how we're going to go about this. I'm quite happy with the decision and it will not be changing. Okay. A little bit of deliberation sometimes can be helpful. There's bronze working. Did we hit iron? We did hit state workforce. Let's have a look. We hit iron underneath the Temple of Artemis. That's actually massive value. Um, we need to start buying builders to we want to chop because Magnus is established in the city we want to chop the tiles that districts are going to be placed on to get maximum value um, let's finish irrigation and we'll make a decision about where we go next next turn I definitely feel like we go for political philosophy here um, and then it'll be games and recreation straight for the Colosseum Magnus I would really like provision it would allow me to start consider going for settlers the sooner I get these cities um, knocked out, the better. It means I can start putting energy into other things and making sure that I'm not dilly-dallying. So I'm going to take provision here. While the 20% growth would be amazing, we might take that later. Um, potentially settling after Oracle feels quite good to me. Thousands have lived without There's irrigation. All of our gold needs to be going towards builders. Uh, I would like to start on currency. I don't know if I'll finish it. I'd like to get a trader and start trading with people. I need you to scout to the west. In particular, I'm interested in this area over here to see if there's any potential cities. I also need to think about luxuries. Um, like, can I scoop up luxuries with cities? Because this is a monopolies mode. Like there's two luxuries over here I would love to scoop up. Young Lei. Mega Colossal Eruption. Not necessarily a bad thing. If it improves the tiles. There's the Amatlatsi Canyon. Thanks to the better balanced um, starts mod. Adjacent plots yield one culture and one faith. Very nice. <clears throat> Forward settling coupe it is then. That's absolutely what we plan on doing. Right. This builder exists to do some very important chopping. Just so that we get some value out of the tiles that we plan to crush with our districts anyway. Like this government plaza here. This tile. <coughs> and this tile. We're about to hit 10 population, which will activate the bonuses in Beijing. So being able to hit a 10 pop capital in 54 turns is kind of insane. That means on average it took us 5 turns to grow every pop in this game. That's ridiculous. Maybe actually it would be more like... Uh, it would be 45 divided by 9. No. It would be 53 divided by 9. Which is probably close to like... 6? Logic prime is not check. 6 turns per pop growth. It's ridiculous. The city is absolutely cracked. I mean, like, just look at this. Uh, we're getting 15 signs from population. 17 culture from population. I probably should have Pingala in here, but I feel like Magnus is going to allow me to transition into a more viable build. If I had Pingala in the city, I'd be getting another 10 signs, 10 culture, and then 15% on top of that, which would have been insane. Um, but like, to be on a single city and to be on par with culture with basic saves in the game and to be on par with science with saves in the game is kind of insane. That just goes to show you how insane Yongle Yongle Yongle. How insane Yongle is. Hey Buzz, how's it going man? 
Yongle is insanely fun, like ridiculously fun. Uh, let's schlep down a little diamond mine here. Boom. Uh, which means we can now sell that diamonds. Uh, we will be selling diamonds and furs. No, no, no. We're going to sell diamonds to you. And then you're going to buy my furs. Perfect. So we're just like sweeping up a ridiculous... We're making 81 gold per turn. This is what I'm saying, dude. This start is absolutely cracked. Thank you, by the way, uh, Serge AT for becoming a member of the channel. I would appreciate it. If you do have the $2 it takes to become a member of the channel, go right ahead. So there's the Oracle. Now, the Oracle is quite interesting because it opens up um, a lot more value from this city. Is this a deity game? This is a deity game. Yes, deity difficulty right there. Um, the Oracle opens up potential uses for faith as well as the potential to get a lot of value from our districts. When are we getting a new tier list? Uh, you know, it's long overdue. Let's chop here to get the value from the tile. We one turn at Government Plaza here. And then I can start investing in Pingala. But God, I could two turn settlers. I could get the Hanging Gardens. 15% growth in all cities. This actually has so much value. <laughs> Dude, we're reaching point now where we're hitting a crunch. I don't have enough time to do all of these things, so I'm going to have to start prioritizing. That's just insane. Just ridiculous and insane. I want to scout more this way. Get the Hanging Gardens. Oh, man. It is so good. I'll get my government plaza first. Have to get the government plaza first. Right. Um, so we got the government plaza down. That means we have a governor title. We're going to grab Pingala. I haven't met any city states yet, which is kind of concerning. We'll yoink Pingala. He'll be good. Early encampment will help with production. We're not going encampment here this game. That's like a huge opportunity loss. <coughs> New year of the rabbit. Still have yours. I still have my rabbit. Yes, I do. She's over there being small and fluffy and I love her to bits. We'll see how she goes. Right, government plans are completed. Where do I want to go next? No secret society. Still haven't found a secret society, sadly. Is this a one city challenge? Kind of, but not really. It's a one city opener. Why are you even bothering with Pingala now when you have only have one city? Well, eventually I'm going to chop all these tiles and stop building settlers. So Magnus won't be, um, Magnus won't have a point in the city. You know, if I go, if I just go builders... If I quick, if I if I buy a builder, I can I can get the hanging gardens in like two turns. It can be done. And if I put the hanging gardens right here, that opens up the potential for a really good theater square for a city that I settle over here. Which feels quite good to me to give this city something viable to do. And I would like to get a city here because it would capture a sugar, which is, an, a, which is a luxury resource, which is good in the Monopoly's game mode. So I think I will go for the Hanging Gardens, but I need a little bit of cash. Uh, let's go ahead and borrow money from the AI. I need like 60 money. One is worth 13, two is worth 26, three is worth 40. All right, we traded away a little bit of our surplus gold to get immediate gold from the AI. We buy this tile. We slap down the Hanging Gardens. The cities you're going to settle are going to be having 60 turn districts because of your stats law. True. They're going to be pretty bad. But I will get... Um, I will get apprenticeship really quickly and industrialization really quickly. And they'll grow really quickly with the Hanging Gardens. So I should be able to slap down stuff fairly fast now I don't want to chop everything here I want to leave something for the Colosseum but I can do a little bit of chopping to get the Hanging Gardens out I do need to oh, okay Hanging Gardens just went so now is the time I think we get our settlers there's a clear opportunity here available to us 
to get these settlers without disrupting our build. Right? Nothing else we can build of value. I lost Hanging Gardens. Look, that's a rip. It's okay, though. It sucks, but it's not the end of the world. I'll just hold on to these builders until we're going to be doing the Colosseum. So that we can get that really, really quickly. I don't like this barb camp up here. It makes me slightly uncomfortable. Um, let's start moving an archer that way to help out. We don't want to chop woods. Hold on. You're scouting. Good job. You're scouting. Good job. A settler card. I'm waiting for political philosophy. Boom. Consists. Currency, political philosophy. We come in here. We take classical republic. Yeah. Yes. We want the amenities. We are going to go ahead and take settler production. There are still great profits in play. How many religions have gone? One religion has gone. Um, who has that religion? Can I tell? Unknown religion. Okay. It's likely that whoever has that religion already has earned it. Unless somebody built Stonehenge. Is Stonehenge gone? Stonehenge is gone. So whoever got that probably built Stonehenge. Wait, I haven't unlocked Stonehenge, so I don't know if it's gone yet. Let's spend one turn researching Stonehenge to see if it's gone. You think it's Russia? I mean, there's a good chance it's Russia considering, yeah, Choral Music, Meeting House, Eastern Orthodoxy, that's a Russia build. That's a Russia build, which is going to be really annoying for our culture game. Which of these cities do we want to settle first? Oh yeah, true. My district discount will be fucked if I go for astrology. I, ideally, I want to skip holy sites and harbors here to get the district discount. You think I should settle the one close to Japan first? This is actually the lowest value settlement in my opinion. It has the worst tiles. It has the worst expansion capability. The only thing that this city does is it gets me an amenity. But it forward settles Japan. I mean, askers? I don't think that's important. I would much rather have a city next to this volcanic soil. And these four amenities. And this strategic. And this strategic. And this, like, this city is just way better. I don't think Japan can settle this with my loyalty either. Um, so I think I would rather settle over here first. Go get your camps. It's kind of far and hard to settle this way. I would need to build up a little bit before I do that. Tempo would be three cities by now. Oh, yeah, but toes. would you have one city with 10 population oh, cranking out 20 science and 20 culture boy, without Pingala? I don't think so. Hey, Onspot, thank you so much for the raid. Michael, super appreciate it, man. Good to see you. Do you have the settler card? No, I haven't plugged it in yet. Um, settler. The first envoy you sent to each... I haven't met a city state, so it doesn't matter. I'm better off just having envoys in the bank. Uh, my dad is enjoying watching. Say hi to your dad. 69 raiders. Thank you so much, Onspot. Edamananki City Northwest. Unfortunately, Edamananki has already been built by the AI. It was built on the turn that I unlocked it. That's as part of the game. Settle South, Chop Coliseum. That could be good. Uh, eventually, I will want Core V in. By the way, go check out Onspot TV. He streams competitive Civ 6 from a spectator's perspective. Uh, on spot TV on Twitch. Buying all the tiles you're going to chop. Do I need to buy the tiles? City's expanding, bro. I guess that's a decent value card. Plug in Revelation. Build the Ancestral Hall. 
Um, very surprised Potato didn't say hi to your mom. I was going to. Potato, what's your take on Wu Zeishan's early spy? I think the early spy is incredibly powerful. It's really useful and really good. However, big old caveat there. Um, if you're doing anything other than using it for diplomatic visibility, there's a very high probability that you'll just not have an early spy because it'll get captured. And the AI often doesn't really have districts that you can get a whole lot of high value missions that early. So technically having an early spy is quite powerful, but the actual rest of her bonuses just don't really matter that much. Yeah, I, I don't think I'm going to be able to get a religion with just revelation here. Chat's going so fast, Buzz won't see me calling him hot AF. <laughs> Madge. Uh, she's in the shower. Do you want me to get her for you? You know what? Get her. Question. What do you think about the iOS version? I don't have. I don't generally have opinions on things that I have no experience with. Unless I'm just being provocative. <laughs> Haven't used the iOS app, so I have no idea. I could just, I could, we don't need to get much value from this card. We're, it doesn't matter, right? We might buy a couple of tiles. We might get value from it. Ooh, we definitely want this. And, ooh, wait, hold on. Uh, let's see. Diamonds is gold. And furs is production towards civilian units. Oh, <laughs> oh baby oh my god dude you've got to be kidding me uh let's make sure we unlock drama and poetry we need you to be in position to chop that tile we want to get our districts placed to lock in their price and make them cheaper You want to buy my strategic resources? You know what? You're welcome to buy them. Nine gold per turn. Watch him turn around and use them against me now. I have so much money right now and so much yields that I think this... I think I'm... I wouldn't say I'm untouchable, but I'm in a good position. Like, I can defend myself pretty well. Um, so we're going to put an industry down there. And now this tile is just... It's even better. Unfortunately, it's not a camp anymore. I think... So we actually lose an amenity from that, losing us 10% yields in our capital, which is pretty painful now that I think about it. Not the entirely net positive value that I thought it would be, but the 30% production towards civilian units means getting these settlers out is just going to be trivial. Completely trivial. Can't buy any luxuries from the AI. They usually don't have it. Oh. Usually they don't have any improved right now. Um, but that brings me up to plus three, getting me 10% yields across the board, which is really, really helpful. Five dollars and zero cents. I used to be addicted to the hokey pokey or hokey cokey in the UK, but I've turned myself around. Oh, for God's in the end, sake. That's really what it's all about. For God's sake. Moderators ban him. Somebody ban that man for donating that horrific drivel <laughs> Jesus <laughs> oh Jesus um, I would like a trader I have no one really to trade with and I have no reason to boost the thingy anymore how many districts can I place here one I've got one four seven ten so I can place four districts one two three four districts okay Don't actually ban him, by the way. I was just joking. Jesus. What an awful... This is It's going to start the puns again. The puns are coming now. It would be good to get a watermill because the plus one food, plus one production would pay itself off over the course of a game. Um, and it would be nice to keep pushing towards apprenticeship. So I'll go for a wheel. I don't get massive value out of the watermill, but one food, one production um, surprisingly adds up over the course of a game. Although I would say, relatively speaking, it has very low value for my capital. Just because of the sheer amount of resources that we're actually producing there. There's access to the theater square. You step here. You step here. Shoot him. 
yoink the tribal village. There's plus three error score. Potential golden age on the cards here. Um, if we can make it happen. We are going to chop here to get this settler out and then we will place the commercial hub. I don't think the positioning of this commercial hub holds a lot of value. Technically, if I put it here, I could get the Great Zimbabwe. But I don't plan to do mega trade. Ancestral Hall. Ten dollars and zero cents. And then 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 I could have gone for Ancestral Hall. You only have two bonus resources in range of Zimbabwe. Uh, one. Two. Sorry. One, two, three, four. Four. That's eight gold per turn. Wheat to the north. Uh, it's just out of range of the city. <clears throat> it's three tiles range, not four. And okay, fifty point zero zero. Okay, let's let's break out the measuring the tool. With a hammer and an ice cube, smash the ice cube with the hammer, and said that's an ice breaker. One, two, three, four. I don't see the issue. I think you're reading this wrong. You're reading this as saying, um, plus. Two gold for every bonus resource within three tiles of the Great Zimbabwe. That's not what it says. It says within three tiles of the city and in the city's territory. So like. I think you might be misreading it. I've never actually built it. Zimbabwe is too expensive. Big Ben is bigger value. I agree, but Zimbabwe comes before Big Ben. Like, we might not build the Zimbabwe, but we just, we want to keep our options open. I'm going to place that commercial hub. And I will also place the Big Ben as a maybe. Okay, so we have you going here. You're going here. You should probably head north. I would love to know more about this. Please don't chew. Listen, okay. you were out for four hours yesterday. Can I have one night where I don't have to let you out? Why did the bicycle okay. fall over? I'm working. Because it was too tired. I love tired. you. You're small and fluffy, and I love you. But I'm working. Here, have some food, okay? Have a little bit of food. Get yourself a little bit of food. There you are, sweetheart. Okay, now shut your face and stop bleeding. Ask me for anything. <coughs> I'm talking to the rabbit. The bunny drama is real true. Um, so we have currency, mathematics. I'm trying to think about what the next direction of our empire is. I feel like we definitely need to get an apprenticeship because we're about to clear out all this land and be building mines on it. Potato misunderstood me when I said you should get bunny girls. Weird guy. Shut your face, don't ask me for anything. Yeah, true. That's like, sometimes you got to lay down the law sometimes. They got to know where they are on the hierarchy. The Bunaraki? Bunarchy. One, two, three, four, five, six cities, maybe. A seven city build. Is that really tall still? Maybe. 
hierarchy. <laughs> okay, I liked that one. We can only really maybe squeeze out two more. Two more settlers here. I'm going to buy these tiles. Um, ahead of time. Does the bunny have a name? It is a bunny McWhiskey. Uh, no, it's Eve. Her name is Evelyn. She is small and fluffy and I love her. We definitely want to go pick that up. Jump in there. You head this way. Um, so if I chop here, I can place this, get a settler out, and potentially get another settler out before we go for this. So, theater square. It's already a plus three. The build has started to come together. I have one, two, three, four settlers out. Do I want to go to five? What could I do in the four turns? Less than 10 cities is tall. Around six would still be tall. Prior, yeah, I think... Here's the There's thing. No One, two, three. I think I can actually get away with not settling anymore. Because if I look at these two cities here, these have like really bad land. Whereas this city here, this has great land. This has great land. This is okay land. And this is okay land. But I don't want to sell settle low quality cities as this sieve. I don't think. If I go theater square right now, I'm getting three great writer points, three artist points, three great musician points. I'm getting like three culture this is like super powerful buy watermill watermill is something I'm going to build when I get a moment to um, but like I could spend three turns building a watermill or four turns building a theater square you bet your ass I'm building the theater square especially because that'll line up with finishing and getting started on the entertainment complex I'm still waiting for any secret society you and me both man like where the hell are they um So where am I going to get more value here? Where am I going to get more value? Um, I can probably just walk you in this direction and then decide where you're going to settle later. I should talk to Gorgo and look for mutual open borders so that I can explore through her lands. She's calling me a coward. She's welcome to call me a coward. I've got 450 gold in the bank. I'm not sure what I want to do with this. Do I want to settle right now? I think I do. This city location seems totally fine to me. I think I would like to immediately purchase a builder and then chop this tile. <clears throat> and by chopping, I would be maybe be able to chop out a monument here. And then immediately drop the theater square. I like that play. I could also purchase a trader and send it to the capital. Um, I'd like to do both the two southern locations have some value for monopolies yes but I think tempo Let's sell this. Um, who wants to buy my strategics? Second city only down by turn 64. Hell yeah, dude. Look at my yields though. 20 science, 20 culture. We're on par with the AI and we're going to get better. The most important thing is that I get the city to grow quickly. Better balance starts, yes, 2.1.4. What do you mean by tempo? Uh, tempo is basically... The simplest way to describe something. Uh, civilization is a game where... Us, the earlier you get something... The, let, let's imagine, right? Let's imagine a game civilization lasts 500 turns, okay? If I get something on turn one that gives me one production, I will get 500 production. But the really important thing is I can use that one production really early into the game to get plus one production, like maybe 60 turns later. And now I'm getting 
for, you know, another 440 turns, I'm getting two production per turn. Or I could wait until turn 400 and get 100 production per turn. I would much rather have one to two production on turn one to 50 than 100 production at turn 400 because the earlier in the game that something happens, the more, the larger the percentage of the game that you have to take advantage of it and the sooner that you can pop off all of your other bonuses. Like let's say, let's imagine that you get a bonus on turn 25, a bonus on turn 50, a bonus on turn 75, a bonus on turn 100. If you can figure out a way to get that bonus, that first bonus on turn 20, um, you will get the next bonus, even if it doesn't actually improve your empire, you'll get the next bonus on turn 45, which means you have benefited from that thing for five more turns of the game. So it basically just speeds things up. Um, a very far, very small advantage early in the game massively impacts how quickly you can do things in the late game. Basically. It's also a turn bastardized from chess. Yeah. It basically just means which player has control. There's no math. You did, that wasn't like math you actually have to do, though. <clears throat> um... So, I think... AKA snowballing, yeah, basically. Potatoes. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a it's better to prioritize housing early with Younglei? I would think so. I feel like going for an early trader into a builder, into a monument granary, opens up the city so much. And I'm, yeah, trader, buy a builder next turn. Kill here. Um, let's start with the monument. Now, I also need to be buying builders for my capital. Um, so I may actually not buy... I might not buy builders for my external cities until I have my Colosseum completed. And that's because the value of the Colosseum is just so incredibly high that the sooner I get it, the better. It's basically like having an extra monument in every city, which is kind of insane, actually. So I would definitely want to get this to get the free chariot. I would like to get Apprenticeship, but I haven't built any mines. I will be building mines soon, so I can start that research, even if it's slightly early into the game. Where do I settle the city? If I settle right here on the wheat, I can, one, two, three, I can get a theatre square on this tile. You called the turn 60 district? <laughs> nice one. Um, I think right here is fine. Captures most of the high value tiles nearby. Unfortunately, I can't swap the entertainment complex and the music uh, coliseum around because this isn't flatland. I I I want my Colosseum in here, but I can't. That's why I, that's why I had to put it over here. Um, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. It's not the end of the world. There are potentially cities over here in the super like later on in the game. Um, potentially maybe one maybe one city over there we'll think about it trade route to Beijing I think two food two production gives the city a huge tempo boost brings down that monument to 15 turns is the expansion out? yes the new China pack is out <clears throat> strange that Coupe hasn't forward settled yet he might have found someone else to forward settle I wonder why this is all green. How odd. I think my map is bugged. Yeah, this is, I, I think I feel happy with my choice to settle here. It grabs all the high value tiles in this area. We'll just go there. Xiaodong. Monuments first, of course. Grab this. Oh, Void Singers. Now, do I want to go Void Seekers or do I want to go Vampires? Unfortunately, I haven't hit Vampires. <clears throat> um, 
Um, purchase. No luxuries available. Move the northern city one tile up. Why would I move it one tile up? If you go for Void Singers, where are the holy sites? I mean, like, you're not wrong. But also, no one has gone for a religion this game. We could do a really quick religion pivot. It's not out of the cards. Surprised you haven't settled perimeter cities? It's not really necessary when you're playing Yonglei. This save would feed the world. Is feed the world gone? That's actually a really good question. Yes. So what I want is whoever has Hinduism, I want them to spread their religion to me. And then build holy sites. I gave a like on the stream. Thank you, Mooten. Good to see you. Hey, be a moderator. Kill, I mean ban, anyone who steps out of line, all right? You have the right. You don't even report to me. You're a free agent. Infinite bullets. Uh, where's my mod? Wands, you're a loose cannon. Can't be trusted. Here. <gasps> oh, shit. Undo. I accidentally just banned wands. Undo. Undo. Oh, shit. <laughs> I was trying to give him mod. <laughs> and I banned him. <laughs> Uh, oops. You're not banned? On YouTube, it doesn't show you if you're banned. It just hides you. Uh, Monka S. There you go, Wands. You can be a mod. Just don't ban people, okay? Just hide messages and time people out if they're being crazy. Oh, but now your name isn't green. No, 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 no. You need to be unmodded. Your name needs to be green. I'm sorry. I need your name to be green so it stands out. Uh, okay. <laughs> I can't believe I banned him by accident. <laughs> uh, oops. <clears throat> we could go for a wonder religion. I tell you what. Do you have a plan for anchor what? No. Blue, more beautiful. Green stands out more. I think moving the city one tile up would give you better surrounding tiles. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's have a look at your decision here. So if I were to settle in place, I would get pretty okay tiles. Um, let's consider the difference here. If I move one tile up, I do get access to salt. So I think you're right. I will move the tile. I will, will move the city one tile up. Thank you very much for your suggestion. I appreciate that. <clears throat> what do you What do you think wants? But everyone has a screen. I want to be unique. Okay, you can you can be you can be blue name. Here you go. Uh, Wands, how do you feel about a holy site and going for a wonder religion? I personally, I quite like that. Although I feel like it's going to completely sap my tempo if I do it. I have a single purpose. I'm single minded, and if I stay the path, I will be rewarded. Let's go ahead and chop that tile and place down the theater square. The reason that we do this is to lock in this price. Every time we research a technology or civic. We increase the price of our district based on which of those has the greater percentage of the tree completed. So by placing it, we lock, lock in that price and it'll never change. Potatoes. Oh shit, huge problem. If I move this city up, the theater square goes down in quality significantly. Yeah, no, it's gotta be in, it's gotta be where it is. It's there for a reason. Thank you for reminding me. Yeah, good call, chat. There's our theater square finished. On the same turn, we get games and recreation. Uh, we're going to step here. What the fuck? I mean, you got to hand it to him. He just donated me a city. He just, he, he, he just donated me a city. Do you understand how much population I'm going to have? So question, uh, do we go for audience chamber now to keep the capital growing? I think we can delay Colosseum four turns to get audience chamber.
and to start to get builders in position. War, war, war. Dude, I don't need to go to war. Look at this. It's already flipping independent. The second, the second, I'm about to get a golden age. He's going to be in a dark age, most likely. The city is mine. Remember Hanging Gardens? Hanging Gardens was lost, unfortunately. Oh, I would love to build Apadana. I think uh, the problem is I can't get both. I have to, I have to prioritize. I could just go straight for entertainment complex. Actually, to be honest, jungle chops are low quality, even with Magnus. So I think just taking taking the L on not getting the jungle chop isn't the end of the world. Um, and then I can just come in here and buy more builders. And start shopping. Wands, thank you so much. I will start spending my gold. I should spend some gold. I need to be careful. I need to be careful because I want to buy this tile. I want to play this theater square. I want to buy this tile and place this theater square. Let's see what we can do. Defensive tactics is good because it has plus one governor title. That's ideal. You're going to heal up. You keep exploring. My exploration this game has been pretty weak. I would like to get more scouts if I could. Any plans for Ruhr Valley in your capital? Uh, You know... If we were to do an aqueduct and a dam and an industrial zone, there is a rear valley like either on this tile or on this tile. So it's not completely impossible. So this might be something we look into in the long term. What if you got Wonder Religion, so Faith itself from Wonders, and then took Void Singers, would be massive faith and maybe monumentality? That's how I would continue. Because it's fun. How long are you going to stream? Uh, I'm probably I'm going to try to do this entire game in one stream. I I I could go for Wonder Religion. It could be done. Here's the thing: Do I go Colosseum first? But regardless, I need to get to a higher population level in this city. Um, so it's going to be a little while before I can do that. So I need to get these two plantations online. Hey gang. Hey all just joining. Why is this broken? It's turned 68 and I have a 12 population capital making 22 science and 24 culture without Pingala. That's why this is busted. And I'm making 47 gold per turn. Um, I'm on par with the AI with essentially one city. I literally just settled these cities a turn ago. Like a, like a couple turns ago. Um, boom. Oh my god, holy shit. Baron Von Cuddlebottom. What do sprinters eat before a race? Nothing. They fast. Okay, Grim. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, Baron Von Cuddlebottoms with another 25 gifted subs. Holy shit. Thank you so much. I wonder if Stonehenge is available. If Stonehenge is available, we'll try to one turn it. With, uh, with, with builders. Uh, <clears throat> so you got your monument. We really need you to grow. The granary is paramount. Monument. Critical. Uh, we definitely... We don't want to appoint void singers until we've completed all of our monuments. We lose the production that we've invested into them if we adopt void singers. And the old god obelisk is more expensive. Stonehenge was just built. Uh, rip. Damn. <clears throat> Potatoes. Boilum mashum, stick them in a stew. Rip. Mashum, how do you guys know it's Stonehenge? I'm curious about how you know. We'll wait until next turn. We'll see what religion they pick and then we'll decide if we're going to go for a religion. Boilum mashum, stick them in a stew. Boilum Well, I mean, regardless, I need to get the city to, four, to 13 population before I can do that anyway, so. It's a moot point. Have you ever tried the challenge of playing Civ while hiding the resource comparison menu at the top that shows you how your competitors are doing? Yeah, that's how I played the game for years um, before this was implemented. 
Let's do a little bit of uh, analysis paralysis here. <clears throat> I need to make that way quieter. Hold on. Um, alert box. Potatoes. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Potatoes. If I switch to Twitch. And I look at my analytics. Uh, hold on. Alert box. Potatoes. <clears throat> What if I lower it down to minimum? Potatoes. Yes, okay, that's much more reasonable. Uh, God, I need to clear my throat. I'll be right back. Dude, I'm telling you, ever since I got COVID, my voice and my chest have not been the same. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Plantation is trash, but amenities is worth it. I chop rainforest for food and production rather than improve. Uh, I want the plantation for the housing so that I can grow this city. 14 pop, and now it's 8 turns to grow rather than 16. Your voice is in your chest. I said my voice and my chest haven't been the same. You started smoking again? Uh, no. <clears throat> I don't smoke anymore. Um, I might occasionally have a couple of cigarettes uh, when I'm on holiday. And, like I'm having a few drinks. It's like, yeah, let's have a few. We'll have a few smokes, but I don't buy cigarettes as such. Um, did you watch the Last of Us premiere? No, I never played Last of Us, nor did I care um, about it particularly. And not in like a your game sucks, I don't care about it, but more like the game didn't really appeal to me. <clears throat> kind of a way. Um, I would like to chop the jungles for food, though, for sure. Smoke is bad for your health. Don't smoke. Yeah, true. Based, based, and true. We found the Elza Minerva. That's not the one we're going to go for this game. Um, let's get the arena. I could almost purchase the arena. if. What if I... Hold on. Let him cook. Uh, I should probably put King Pingala in a city. Is this still going? What the hell? <laughs> it's still going. Hold on. I need a I need 150 gold to buy the arena in one turn. What can I do? I could trade 11 gold per turn for 150 gold to buy the arena this turn. Ah, oh, shit, I forgot to plug in the Wonder card. Hold on, I need another 45 gold. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Hold on, All right. We trade this away. We come in here. We kill. Goodbye. Boom. You're out, actually, now that I think about it. Uh, revelation? Could tickle us down the route of getting a religion if we decide to go for it I've cleared like four barb camps housing um plus one housing eh. too late to buy cheap diplo favor uh, probably but that just uh not from Tokugawa 
he doesn't seem to care so I'll buy it off him and then immediately resell it sure I keep getting distracted by chat so we can start the Colosseum here it's going to be nine turns I chop and then I place that's eight turns so eight turn Colosseum might go for a religion after it I could take suzerainty of Singapore if I plug in the card and it would be good to get suzerainty of Singapore does Gifu have positive loyalty now it barely has positive loyalty um, but it won't as my capital continues to grow as Zhao Dong starts to grow we, we, we'll don't listen let me worry about that okay a uh, couple of luxuries over here we definitely want to get a settler up here at some point in the game <clears throat> Anshan is a pretty good city-state this game that's actually true is it better to go for the suzerainty of Singapore or to work on getting control of Anshan hmm I don't know uh, so we want to chop this for growth three turns until we grow perfect uh, we do, 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 do. we want to build another mine I'll put a mine right there Coastal city uh, equals kill a best wonder. I do think that Anshan has a lot of value. I like the idea of the coastal city. Um, there's a plan formulating in my mind. Like here. Like this. Mausoleum, if we can get it, but we're more interested in getting Kilwa. Maybe. Let me change this plan. What if we settled here? Harbor. Something like this. Um, I'm thinking aloud I'm thinking aloud I'm thinking aloud if we can get the mausoleum go for it but otherwise we want the Kilwa and a theatre square and I think this this is a reasonable city if we can make that work is best for each type of victory I sure with that so each secret society can adequately support every kind of victory type however they are very clearly themed in a particular direction so the void singers is very clearly pushing you towards a a religious game or b a culture game those are the two primary things that it supports incredibly powerfully the elves of minerva are incredibly powerful for diplomatic victories the vampire society is incredibly powerful for domination victories and the hermetic order is really strong for scientific victories which i think covers all of the five one two three four five victory types <clears throat> in the game you can make a plus three campus in the coastal city if you place the mausoleum on hills yes however i could also just get a plus three campus if i place it here so askers i'm prioritizing adjacency on that instead <clears throat> Owls is honestly just versatile that's true Owls is probably the most versatile and vampires no vampires are the most versatile because they just give you yields with their castles but Owls are second I would imagine vampires are science and dom Owls are equal to everything no Owls I think Owls are very clearly a diplomatic or a um, leaning towards a diplomatic victory I mean they can do anything they're more of a they're more of a wild card for sure is this a super attack mod no seems all religion is gone okay I guess we are not going for a religion here all right decision made unfortunately we dilly dallied and we don't get a religion this game not the end of the world I still think it can be good to go for void singers depending on the religion that we can acquire here's the thing void singers is worth four faith per city plus 20 percent of our faith being converted into resources which means that we can get absurd yields by building faith now if we want to make a giga capital the vampires are quite good we do have some good locations for giga capital stuff but I do think I kind of agree with Wands here the void singer is like 
Two points in Void Singers gets you everything you need from them. Two points, perfect. Um, whereas vampires are going to have to keep investing. I do agree that the banks are good on elves. Does the faith producing city project create an infinite loop with void singers? Oh, oh my god, it's void singers. I'm, in fact, why are we debating this? It's void singers. Shut up, chat. <laughs> it's void singers. Oh shit, I just cancelled all my fucking things in my excitement to do this. It's okay, it's not the end of the world. Whoops. Slight suboptimal play. It depends on how the faith is calculated. It's calculated as income. You know what? I'm I'm a I'm gonna reload this. No, I'll just accept it. I was gonna say I'm gonna reload the turn so I don't lose that optimal play, but it's fine. Um I suppose plugging in literary tradition can get me my first great writer a little bit sooner. Greece is in the game. Ugh. Reload. The people want to reload? Hey, listen, I'll take it. I'll take a free save scum. I'll take it. It's free. It's on the menu. Thank you, Paul Robinson. I uh, hope you enjoyed Open TTD. Second Dune update. I would like to cover Dune. I have a video on Open Transport Tycoon coming as well. Okay, the people demanded a reload. I'm not restarting. To be fair. I did call that I shouldn't adopt Void Singers until I completed my monument, and I just got excited and clicked it. And it was only like four or five turns of production. It's not going to completely break the bank. Second, do an update. Chop, chop. Let's just plug in Great Rider points. This is all fine. Corvi, yep, this all suits me just perfectly down to the ground. Uh huh. Explain the infinite loop. Uh, well, it's not necessarily an infinite loop. It's if you work the Lygia project, which turns 50% of your production into faith, if that is calculated as faith income, the Void Singers will then translate 20% of that faith income, aka 20, 10% of your production, into science, gold, and culture, I hope you and I both and from our COVID struggles. Well, Thanks stuff. for all <clears throat> Civilization 6 videos. They have helped me a lot. Thank you so much. Um, appreciate it. I'm glad my sim videos keep you entertained and happy. Uh, I would like to get feudalism. Plus two builder charges would be poggers. Don't spend that. Uh, do spend this. Get, Ping get Pingal the decked out. We'll eventually want to move him into the capital city when, we when we're done shopping. Um, it would be nice to get one more mine to boost apprenticeship. Thus completing apprenticeship, getting us plus one production per turn on all of our mine improvements. Um, thus increasing the quality. We'll harvest here, Colosseum, and then put a mine down. Uh, let's see. It would be nice to get Diplo Quarter. Probably don't want to unlock it yet. Probably don't need to unlock it yet, unless I plan to place it. Am I going to go for a holy site? <clears throat> I don't know. I'm debating that decision. I, I, I've been debating too much. I want to I wanna play, so I'll make some suboptimal decisions to delay that decision. I'm definitely going Void Singers. I just don't know if I'm going for a religion. That is the query that I have. Uh, mine right here. Serious production of 41 production capital. Zero cents had much more fun playing Civ 6 through your videos. Thank so you, dude. Checks a lot. Greetings from Germany. Thank you. Appreciate you. Falls, Rome shall fall. Uh, Rome falls, the Colosseum provides two of the following. Culture, loyalty per turn, and amenities to each city center within six tiles. Finding something uh, about Chinguetti right now would be huge. Yeah, I think there's a ton of city states in the game right now that would completely change how I play. But, once, did you ever start your YouTube channel, by the way, yet? Or, like, st streaming or anything? Um, so the Colosseum now is just, like, we're talking, what, three of my cities are positive amenities. One of them is ecstatic. That's a 20%... Production boost, 20% science boost, 20% culture boost, 20% gold boost. Um, I think people would like to watch you play once. Don't forget to build a great wall about your empire. Mm, we might do that. How close are we to getting a great person? Now, let me double check. How exactly does this work? <coughs> it doesn't double. It just means we want to actually get the district built. 
It's plus two points. Pingala in. I need to get the city completely chopped out. First. Apadana is good in particular because it has plus two great work slots. And if I pop it here, this is a slightly better thing. <laughs> He's got a yongle. He's yongling. Ooh, I'm gonna yongle. Do I get a quick cheeky settler out? Do I get a quick cheeky settler out? 59 months. Morbus was my second sub, I believe. I love the part where he said it's yongling time and then yongled all over the place. I do need builders in my other cities. I need to get the settler up though for this city over here. This city has a huge amount of value for me. Um, to the point where I would consider prioritizing it over other things. So I will go for that. Even if I don't have the settler card plugged in. I'm still yongling. It's so much yongle. Who is anyone? No more yongling. It is it is past the time to yongle. Okay. Guys, please. This is a family live stream. No yongling. <laughs> uh, bon bonjour, Monsieur Patate. Patate, how are you? I'm really good, thank you. Uh, how are you? How is everybody in chat? Everyone, I want you to type in chat. And I want you to be honest, okay? If you're having a bad day, I want you to say L. If you're having a good day, type W, okay? That's how we're we're doing it now. That was all morbid. That's true. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and chop here. Oh man, a couple of elves. Let's go ahead and chop here to get the settler. Boom. Shebang. Feudalism in a few turns. What can we squeak out in that time? Could finish that archer. Don't need to. We're not going to go for a holy site. Although maybe we will. What if we yongled in for a holy site? Holy shit, that's a lot of... D? Who types a D? I got a wart in my heel. It hurts. I put acid on it. You didn't read the assignment, dude. I said type in W or an L. You're out here writing a fucking novel in my chat. Get out of here. <clears throat> Industrial. Oh, true. Industrial zone. That's right. Yeah. Also, I need to get the aqueduct. I need to get these down before I research Niter. That's the thing. Nine dollars and ninety-nine cents. You videos are awesome, entertaining, and informative. Uh, Every time you post a new vid, no matter what, it makes my day. Keep up the content. Any day you post or stream, it's a W. Thanks, dude. I want to know. Let me see here. <clears throat> uh, Wands, if somebody spams like that, feel free to just ban them. Uh... Or time them out. That's one you 100% have my backing on. Potato, what is a youngling? In fact, I'll, I'll take this one. Don't you worry. Time him out. Will you ever play Terra Invicta again? <laughs> I decline to comment on this matter. <laughs> Listen, dude, I'm sorry. That game broke me. All right. No game expects you to invest 80 hours in and to not get a win screen. <laughs> I just, I can't. I might go back to it one day. Maybe it'll be, once I get the Patreon up and running, maybe it'll be something people vote for on the Patreon. 
Uh, okay, so we got the granary in here. So we have the money with the granary. We need to get growing. So we're going to need builders. Okay, we also need a commercial hub. Uh, how much value Potato, is there? How are you doing, sir? I'm doing really good. Thank you so much for asking. Who declared war? Not sure. Let's uh, declare friendship. You're at war with Gorgo. And Gorgo's at war with Tokugawa. So these guys are duking it out. Uh, yeah, a little bit of battling going. They do a little battling. Uh, you should play Super Auto Pets again. Oh, true. Super Auto Pets is actually so based. I need to play it again. Uh, have you seen Falling Frontier gameplay? Would it be something you've... Let me have a look. Uh, Falling Frontier... <clears throat> it looks kind of neat. Two pounds and zero pennies underground. Sci-fi RTS for Intel and Justin. Yeah, I would totally play this. I would give it a go. Uh, somebody at Hooded Horse hook me up with a key. They probably already have, and I just I listen, dude. I don't have time. Improve resources in Jan for Temple of Artemis. True. I'm I'm trying to debate about where I put my. I think I put my commercial hub over here. I'm going to be building commercial hubs, holy sites. Yeah, okay, commercial hub over here. And I think I just place it to get it down because I don't care about it. It just needs to get, I just need to get it down. Now I need builders. Okay, sorry. I, I, a little bit of del deliberation that was going on there that was kind of like entering into my mind. A chat is very distracting. I need to be careful about how much I read chat. I get caught in like, I get stunlocked by chat. I'm like, uh, if are the Hassan Piker of uh, Civ 6. Just like constantly getting stun locked, dude. One man's magic. Okay, dude. <clears throat> you can get Great Zimbabwe on the tile next bit, true. Can we start an only pets? Just a stream cam for Eve. Uh, perhaps. Although Eve would be very happy to receive only pets for the rest of her life because goddamn does she like being pet. Her little fluffy head. I'm going to grab commercial hub for great people points as well. There's actually so much land up here. Let me check. Luxury check. Can I get a luxury check in the chat? There's so many luxuries. This city's really high value. The rest of them. I would like to get that salt. Potato McWhiskey. Are you DGG for life? Uh, sure. Why not? Let's all get tattoos. Uh, for ha Hassan Piker analogy to work with you, you would have to reduce the only two's brain cells. For okay. No roasting other streamers in my chat. You're only allowed to roast me. All right. Listen. <laughs> I didn't think, I didn't know that was how that sentence was going to end. Uh, we're not building a wonder right now, so you can drop that out. We can go for serfdom. I'm happy with this setup. Get recorded history for the plus one governor title. I have a ton of gold, but now I go through and I buy builders finally for these cities to give them accelerated growth and production. We definitely want to get our granaries. Growth is really important. I'm kind of sad that he managed to, I should have bought that first. That's a mistake. Not getting those furs. Big mistake. But the forward settling is now coming, like chat was asking about. Uh, something I need to do in this city is to buy this tile, swap this tile, come into the city, place the plus five theater square, boom, boom. And then take that tile back. And now this city has an isolated tile over here, which is what we wanted. <clears throat> Have you ever tried a France plus Els Minerva uh, spy chaos play? Yeah, it doesn't sound very good to me. I mean, I'd be happy to give it a go. Actually, I think Elza Minerva would be really good with Wu Zeshan, maybe. Wu Zetian. Potato will reach tier two. Goodman still won't have audience up. That's true. I will get audience up if I need the amenities. Right now, it doesn't benefit me much aside from the housing to get audience up. So I'd much rather get my districts out to be start generating those Oracle great people points. And then I'm going to go for audience, I think. How badly do I want these luxuries? How badly do I want this faith? How badly do I want these luxuries here? The honey. <clears throat> I could settle right there and get at least one honey tile this game. Did you get Void Singers? Not yet. I'm waiting for... Oh, 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 oh. Yep. Ooh, 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 ooh. 
we'll get a laugh to recorded history Capitalist 13, 14. Yeah, but like I need uh, other things are taking priority right now. Lumber mills. Need those lumber mills. What can I sell? Nothing. Well, technically I might be able to sell some of these. You. Uh, I'll buy your luxury. Any Diplo favor sellers? Nothing cheap. Thank you so much, Call Firefly, for becoming a Twitch primer. Hey, any primers in the chat? Listen, I got more viewers than I usually do. Get those primes out. Prime me. Prime me. Ooh, I'm priming. That should answer your question from earlier. We need... Okay, wait, wait, wait. we have aqueducts. Now we need to get dams. We need to get these placed before... We need to get these placed before we have access to the other shit. Uh, before we get Niter to block up this. I'm off now. See you later, cute grubby. Thank you so much for all of the donos. Uh, thank you for the huge dono, the huge amount of gifted subs. Super appreciate you, Cute Grubby. You the best. Love you, buddy. Uh, stop by anytime. And that goes for everyone as well. Oh, look at all these primers, dude. All you gotta say is the, the magical word and the primers. They come out of the woodwork. Pay me. I'm paying... There goes the commercial hub. Unlocked sailing. Boom. Perfect. Commercial hub is down. Let's get the audience chamber. We want these amenities. We want the housing. We want the governor titles. You head this way. What are you doing? You're doing that, right? And my good friend, we're going to chop the rainforest because that'll accelerate how quickly we get the granary as well as accelerating the growth of the city. And rainforests are only plus one food anyway, so it's not that great, honestly. I would rather grow the city fast than have plus one food in it. <clears throat> Uh, settle in the middle of the desert, wonder and the salt. It's kind of something that I was considering, actually. Um, here's the thing. <clears throat> there is no reason that you can't play tall and wide in Civ. Six, in particular. Tall in the early game and then drop a few extra cities in the late game. Like, the opportunity cost is extremely low if you're set up for it correctly. And I feel like we are set up for it correctly. Ooh, this, whatever I reveal over here might actually change my settling criterion. I think we chopped the... Mm. Here's the thing. <clears throat> Do I want a plantation or a lumber mill? Uh, is it a rare lumber mill game? It's not a mine. <sighs> <coughs> Late settling? Yes. When I say late settling, I mean any city that settled after turn 100. New, hey, Bax, uh, Bax. Playing tall and wide equals playing square. No, it's called playing Chungus. Particularly huge Giga Chungus. Plantation housing. Plantation would give me more gold. I don't need gold. What I need as this sieve is growth. So here's my, here, here's my thought process here. If I harvest a banana, that's 56 food in the city immediately. Then I can put a lumber mill on this later. Or chop it. Um, and continue to accelerate the city's growth. Oh yeah, I should totally pick up Void Singers. Nobody's building a monument? No, all my monuments are completed. So my faith will go from 1.1 per turn to a healthy... Uh, why didn't it update? Any updaters? 23 per turn. So that's actually a really, really nice jump. Quicker you get to 10 population, the better. That's my thinking as well. Um, this city needs 32 food to grow. If I chop this, it will grow. He likes me. Hey, people like me because I took the Void Singer. It will grow and also be closer to growing again. Um, we'll get the granary out. I, th I think that was a good move. Think about the environment. Fuck the environment. Okay. We're building a beautiful empire. <clears throat> and if some trees have to die to make that a reality... So be it. Listen. These aren't modern trees, okay? Listen. <laughs> Carbon emissions haven't been invented yet in this game. <laughs> Is he blobbing? <gasps> Almost. But not a care for all. 
So the most important thing in this city is that I just maximize how much growth I get. That said, would I rather get a plus five theater square in 13 turns or a water mill for plus one food? It's very obviously the theater square, the amount of value that you get from a theater square, plus one great people points for each of the great theater square, great people categories is insane. Um, we definitely want lumber mills, but I will finish the buttress first. I'm going to get the wheat farm here to keep the city going. Didn't reveal anything interesting over here. Yeah, 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 we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Um, this is a very low food city. So I need to keep that in mind. I'm going to have to figure out a way to get the city to 10 population. Can you do the city project to make the city flip faster? I could probably grow my cities faster, but I would much rather... Gifu isn't a very good city. So I would much rather spend my time and energy improving my own empire than sacrificing my empire to get a shit city. I think this is going to be a lumber mill because it's a two-food tile. Pingala in now. Is it time for Pingala to go into my capital? It actually might be. I'm no longer chopping in the capital. So Pingala can go in there. And we might do some chopping in Wuhan. So slap Magnus down here. We can chop out a settler or two from here. Ooh, I like that. Oh, now he wants a lumber mill? Yeah, of course. Like, you don't chop down all your forest. You chop down just enough to where it makes sense. And then you, you backfill for other stuff. <clears throat> Promote Magnus with the left promotion and trade with that city? <clears throat> Maybe. Still a lot of chop that can be done in the capital. I agree. Um, but if I hold on to these chops, I could chop out something like the great, the big band later. <clears throat> Sorry, I need to clear my throat. Charles in charge of our... Not muted. Monka S? It was. The game wasn't muted. Uh, okay. We built the audience chamber in the capital, giving us a ton, and I mean a ton. Uh, what? What the heck? Ah, Pinkala's not established, of course. So we have the audience chamber. What do we do to develop the city? I feel like it would be good if we went for an amphitheater, maybe did a couple of com uh, com theater square projects to get these great writers. Um, this is worth a great writer point. Pyramids aren't built yet. <clears throat> What? Pyramids aren't built yet. I don't have anywhere to build them though. Did Twitch just die? <laughs> I think Twitch just died. <laughs> oh, it's dead for me. Hold on. Oh, weird. It's loading now. Hold on. Oh, it's back. Must have been a hiccup in the servers. I was trying to follow a soap for like three minutes. It wouldn't let me. Oh, thanks, Bane. I appreciate that. Let's get uh, a trade route. I think a trade route would be high value. <clears throat> Move the city more north for the other turtle. Uh, you know. 
it actually these two can be swapped quite easily you are right and then i would be settling on the cattle and i would get two turtles which would allow me to build an industry Ooh, i would have to settle another city to the north to get the turtle industry because i should probably build a citrus industry in this city yes okay boom good, good suggestion ones i appreciate you even though i'm going to be off fresh water which i don't love <coughs> <clears throat> so this city has managed to complete a builder um any future builders that will get in here will probably be purchased and i will be purchasing a builder in here to keep the city accelerating otherwise i think i might go for a commercial hub no i need to get my theater squares up it's time to get the theater squares we need to start getting our great works uh this city needs to go for a granary over the old god obelisk purely because the city needs to be able to grow <clears throat> no countdown like today Okay, let's do a like bomb on the video. We haven't done one of these in a very long time. There are 700 likes on this video, okay? There are 2,000 people watching. Now, some of the people who have already liked this video, this live stream, have left, okay? So you guys only need to get me 1,300 likes. We're going to count down from 10. And I want to try to see 2,000 likes on the video, on the live stream, okay? You ready? When I say go, I want you to click the like button. Don't press it yet. The whole point is to see an explosion of likes. Okay. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Wait. Hold your likes. Oh, potatoes. Maybe I can show this to you. Hold on, we're pogging. No personal information is being revealed here. Okay. Uh, uh, potatoes. Five, four, three, two, one go we're at 760 i want to see 2000 okay 770 okay the first volley has been weak 970 holy shit 200 in like a split second another 200 1100 <laughs> no that's 1200 it's just shy it's eight low okay 1222 Dude, that was an amazing... If you guys at least double it, I'll be super happy. If you get it up to like 1,400, that would be amazing. It was like literally just went boom. Come on, there's 2,000 people. We can we can get to 1,400. Come on, like the video, like the live stream. Come on, guys, right? Let's get, let's get it ticking over. We need 100 more. That's all we need. And I'll be happy. Your Our forces were too weak. No, no, no. You guys just need to recuperate. New people need to join the live stream. We can just add more likes. Look at that. 1,324. We got to get over the, the 1,400 mark, okay? Now, whatever you do, don't start unliking the video. Please don't do that because I don't want to see that number coming back down. We just need more. We need 50 more likes on the video, please. It's all we require. I love you too much. I liked it twice. No, that unlikes the video. What are you doing? Are you trying to sabotage me? What are you doing? <clears throat> oh... <laughs> we're about to hit it oh man 1400 chat give yourself a round of applause i super appreciate you guys good job good job chat pats on the back mission accomplished you can all go home the war is over i asked my friend to like it unfortunately he's a cat rip who do i promote i don't Ooh, pingala obviously grants easy choice when he's established in my capital city, I'll get insane value from that. I'm already, I already have Oracle, so he'll be doubling something that triples output of district. Uh, yeah, clap, clap as in chat, please. Clap, 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 clap. Uh, do I think I hold this builder over here because I am going to be establishing Magnus in that city, and that will increase the chop value of the builder in that city by about fifty percent. So it's probably worth it to wait because ooh, we're about to enter into the mm, the medieval era. I'm going medieval. Ooh. Thank you so much, Anne Forrest, for subscribing. Twitch Primes. Hey, get your get your memberships in. Get your Twitch Primes in. 
Everyone's welcome. Get in here. Get them going. Zhao Dong. I'm going to send this over to Wuhan so that we can develop Wuhan faster as a city. I do have the two cards plugged in. Yep, and we're getting great rider points. I'll probably take out the great rider card when I find something better. I'm a medieval man. I'm a mechanical man. Oh, Jesus Christ. Why would you tempt me like this? Why? It's so many grievances. I just, I just don't understand why. But they just do these things. And they, they just... They just... Kyoto raised. Rip. <clears throat> Listen, we're going to do a poll. Start a poll. Question. Kill the settler. Steal it. Leave it. I'm going to leave it up to you guys. What do you vote? And bear in mind, the choice you make here could completely derail my game. Don't you'll die to the crossbowman? I think you misunderstand the purpose of this mission. The purpose of the mission isn't to take the settler and survive with it. The purpose of this mission is to take the settler and delete it so that she can't have it anymore. I am not going to keep this settler. But nobody will. We're okay with derailing the game? Well then. No, 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 you will settle? Bro. Don't delete it. Delete is for noobs? Listen, dude, if you think I can settle it, I'll give it the college try. I can't even embark yet? No, I can. She has more science than you. You know what, dude? You just stop looking up here. Okay? Pay attention to your heart. Uh, monumentality here is like the obvious choice. Penbrush and voice is okay. Um... Penbrush and voice is okay. One, two, three, four. Yeah, you're right. There might be land down here. I think this is a monumentality game because I get more... Yeah, it makes my builders cheaper to purchase with gold as well. And I have a lot of gold. That feels like a very natural choice here. Um, Japan Scout. I'm going to just for safety reasons maybe build walls in this city after the granary. We'll see. Now, uh, we do have a little bit of housekeeping to do. We need to place the theater square in the city for sure. Then we also need to place the commercial hub. We just need gold, I think. Gold, this also represents growth. <clears throat> this is a plus three right here. We're going to be hard pressed to get worse value or like better value than that. So we'll do it. Uh, let's see. I'll put it. No, I don't want to research that yet. I want to get lumber mills. That's going to be important. <clears throat> Sub potato discovered you like three or four weeks ago. My Civ six level skyrocket. Just thanks to you. you're a wholesome man. You're a wholesome man. Thank you, or at least I assume that you're a wholesome person. Let's place the dam so now we can no longer get knocked locked out of that by nighter. Um, amphitheater workshop. Why do you place the districts then build something else? For a very simple reason. Um, the oh, gifted subs, back to backs. Thank you so much. First time chatting today and your dono, huge. Hero, everyone give a clapper for uh, Backs of Backs, please. At Backs of Backs, clapper. Clapper. Oh, we don't have clapper here. Morbus, get clapper. <clears throat> He's probably not listening. 
Uh, okay, so sorry. Zero sense why on earth would you tell the internet this could cause me grief and then let the internet vote on whether to do that or not, law? Um, because I am pure of heart and I believe that people have my best interests in their hearts. And if I tell them I don't want to do something or that it will cause me suffering, surely, even on the internet, the most wretched hive of scum and villainy on earth, people will have an ounce of compassion. And <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know it is what it is uh, so basically the reason that i place districts before i build them is because um the percentage of the technology tree that you have researched inc dictates the price of the district that you're building so for example this theater square i placed it quite a while ago it costs me 141 production whereas this theater square that i only just placed is going to cost me 165 production that is because when you place a district down its price will no longer increase as you research technologies in civics so actually it's really production efficient to put down a district the second that you have the ability to do thank you so much dr strangelove for the five tier one gifted subs everybody please at dr strangelove give him a little clap What the hell was I doing in the city before I got derailed by chat? This is what we're talking about stunlocks here. I could go for the dam and maximize the adjacency on this. I could go for the aqueduct and maximize the adjacency. This would give me a ton of housing as well. <clears throat> Did you buy that watermill? Do I need the watermill? Is the question. I think I have more valuable things to spend my gold on. If I buy the watermill, I will get a boost for construction, which I guess is quite nice. Not trying to gatekeep, but a potato had a dollar for every time he explains placing districts. Dude, I actually love explaining the same thing over and over. And here's why. It's because every time I explain it, I get to attempt a new way to explain it and make it more interesting. It's like doing reps at the gym, dude. Or, now it does get old sometimes. Sure, I'll, I'll agree with you that. It can get tiresome. Um, but it's also like, um, like when you get a new nephew or you get like a new cousin. Like if one of your cousins has a kid and like... All of your jokes that worked great on like your other nephews when they were three years old, you just get to do them again and get to be like, oh my God, that's like a really cool adult. Like my favorite one, <clears throat> and this is like, this is secret potato McWhiskey uh, technology. If you want to make a kid laugh, okay, uh, ask him to give you a high five and then pretend that he was so strong that he hurt you. Like a three-year-old. This works three to six years old. It is like the funniest thing ever because they because usually high five is like yeah high five but if you let them high five you and then you act like ah and like like your hand is falling off and like you're in pain because they hit you too hard you'd be like oh my god you hit me way too hard you're like ah they they will fucking cry laughing every time i swear to god i don't know why it works it just it works it's a perfect way I, i've done it with i've i have three nephews and i don't know how many cousins with children it works it's worked on every single one of them You, you pretend to get hurt. You pretend they can hurt you. They think it's hilarious. Um, anyway, back to the game. We're saving chops. <clears throat> Children. But that's what I'm saying. Like, That's the cool thing about having nephews of all like different ages and stuff. Because you learn from the older one what makes them laugh. And then when the other one hits that age, you could just make them laugh just as easy. People are just like, you know, you just they're they're easy. They're, they're easy to make laugh. And then you're the cool uncle, you know? Um, amphitheater, workshop, aqueduct dam. When will we hear about some little buddies running around the apartment? Well, listen, you know, me and your mom have been talking. Aqueduct. Yeah. Wait. I need. I'm sorry. My brain is razzled. I need to get the trader. I should buy the trader with gold. I need to get. Aqueducts. If I get the aqueduct, it will give me housing. What do I need empire wide? I could probably do it with a settler, but I'm probably going to chop out a couple of settlers from Wuhan to claim all these luxuries up here. I mean, culture is just based. Let's grab the amphitheater. How busted is Yongle? Uh, well, we're keeping up with the DD AI on culture. 
on turn 88. You tell me, buddy. Aren't you at war? Askers? Uh, I would like range units to have plus, one com plus five combat strength. And I would like this to target me. So melee units got it. He retreated? Excuse me? He retreated from me? <laughs> Bro. It might actually be good to get a couple of archers from my capital city to be able to defend. I am a little bit spread out and a little bit vulnerable to attack. <clears throat> you do have a point. So if I put Rur Valley there, I can get a pretty good theater square. Although that does... No, it doesn't screw my farm triangle here. Yeah, that should be fine. Um, this is all one dam. Yeah, so there's no suitable location for a dam, which means this is all one floodplain, which means this dam will take care of it. I'll probably get that dam soon. So I'm going to place the theater square there to lock in its price. And then I suppose I can get rid of a low value jungle chop to lock in that price too. Um, this city definitely would benefit from a watermill because it has a wheat tile. The growth and production will be really, really nice. It definitely also needs a builder, but I can get builders at towards the end of this era. I do have a bit of faith. I could use faith to buy settlers too, maybe. Probably better off buying builders there. Um, now, here's the question. Would I be... So what am I getting from my current trade routes? For food, for production. Would I be better getting gold or the growth and production? My thought is the more food I get into my cities, the better. The sooner I get my cities to their maximum population, the better. Besides, like, in order for Gorgo to get to me, she has to go through this mountain range. So, like, good luck to her. Build tiles in Zhao Dong. Yes, that would be nice. So I'm tempted to put this in, like, one of my cities that needs the growth. Like Zhao Dong. Ooh, no, Changsha. Changsha needs the most help because it's the freshest city. It needs a granary. Yes, okay, Changsha is the move. Changsha also has two really important wonders for me to get. So that seems like a reasonable choice to put the trader in there. Internal roots are so powerful, I really love it. It needs a monument. It will get a monument. It's just like, listen, dude, granary first, okay? Befriend Coupe? Hmm, I don't want to be Coupe's friend. Friendship ended with Coupe? Now Young Lay's my best friend. Ooh, Rumi! Yoink. Great work. So riding, you're in position. Although, actually, I think we can just place them inside the obelisk. Dodge. Any dodgers in chat? We're dodging. Ooh, I'm dodging. Let's take this tile. And chop. Perfect. <clears throat> Next turn, we'll plug in the settler production card and chop out a couple of settlers here using Magnus. Why no joint war with Japan and Coupe? Uh, you know? Not interested. You broke our trust with the vote earlier? <laughs> uh, the Yongle, the Yongle, the Le in Yongle is pronounced like the French Le. Yongle? Yongle. Uh, L plus ratio? Didn't ask. <laughs> what a mean thing to what a mean response to someone trying to help you out oh my god that's a terrible response no thank you uh, I'm, I'm saying it wrong because it's funny Yongle Yongle one two three four I think we get rid of a sugar here for this this is 20% growth actually based <clears throat> <clears throat> Trade to Beijing for food, for production, based based on what? How is Gifu holding against your loyalty? I'm perplexed. Japan also has a golden age. Um it is just barely clinging on to life. So soon TM it will cease to be a problem. I think the most important thing here is that I get a dam. I have a good bit of infrastructure on this and I don't want it to die. And I always delay my dams to devastating effect. So I would like to not suffer those devastating effects. I think I'm going to go for chorus here for the 20% faith conversion. 
it's not much yield right now, but I think it is a pretty efficient use of my governor title. <clears throat> I was born in the Yong Lei generation. <laughs> the Lei Rong. <laughs> oh, it's a great meme. I think we do want to go for Merchant Republic here. Um, I think, though, I would really like to get to Diplomatic Service. I need to build my Diplomatic Quarter. When did my capital hit 16 pop? Soon. I'll be able to get my Diplomatic Quarter in the near future. Um, step here. That's the defensive tile. You're nice and safe. Step here. It is clobber in time. Let's plug in the settler card. Now, if we're going for the settler card. Oh, shisa. If we're plugging in the settler card, we should have a brief discussion about what we're going to do with that settler. Um, so I think we should take care of the obvious cities first. Um, we would like access to these turtles. This is the most obvious spot for a city there. Technically, I'm just going to go put it here instead. Let's have a look at the luxuries again. We definitely want this salt. We want to efficiently use up this land. Right there. Efficiently uses up this land. We don't want to have a lot of cities. That's the thing about Yongle. It's clobbering time plus time equals climb. Does this mean Potato is streaming again? I mean, I'm streaming right now. Can't you just enjoy it? I reckon a city here just kind of closes out the continent. Keeps him from pressuring me. Makes sure no tiles are left unclaimed. One, two, three. And then maybe another little coastal city up here. Ooh, I would want it to be within two tiles of this. So maybe right there. Two tiles of this. Claims this wonder. And then I want this up here. One, two, three. So right there. There we go. That is what we're talking about. One, two, three, four, five, six new cities to be ordered. We are now printing a new empire. First impression of the new China leaders. Uh, Yongle is busted. It bungles the mind. The Wu Zeshan. Eh, she's okay. And Unifier Ching uh, busted in the right scenarios. That is my opinion. So saith the potato. Let's crank out these settlers. Let's keep purchasing builders. We also need to keep purchasing tiles to keep the city fueled with chops. What are you doing right here? Um, is this volcano active? It is. So it could still erupt. The probability is low. Do we want to build farms? I think it's always higher value to build mines here. Plus two production is just too valuable. Let's make sure we up the quality of the city. Hello, Tater. Glad to see you streaming again. Your recent post reminded me how enjoyable I find your content. Hope everything is good. Hope everything is good with you too, Craig. Are you going to use the city projects much in this game? Um, I'm going to use them when I feel like they're appropriate. <clears throat> so, for example, I have no reason to run the food project right now. Um, why would I run this project? That's the question you have to ask yourself. Uh, when I could be building a dam or an aqueduct. I suppose growing would be nice. Why would I use the gold project? I have enough gold to achieve everything I want. Why would I run the faith project? The early spy can be like extra combat strength early. There are some big upsides to the early spy and the fact that they operate at one level higher. But I just don't think it's a particularly powerful ability. I did decided to go for pastures there. I wonder if I can piece her out and sneak... Well, let's let's just very gently try to scout past Anshin and see what we find. We'll just put this, we'll have a little bit of a look around. Also, by the way, did anyone else see um, Age of Wonders 4 got announced? Holy poggers! I loved Age of Wonders Planetfall. I want to go back and do another playthrough of it. I want to do a full like live stream playthrough or something. <clears throat> but dude, I'm so excited for Age of Wonders Planetfall. It's going to be huge. Oh man, okay. More Japan over here. 18 housing in Beijing. Where's that all coming from? So, the housing in Beijing. And there was a new expansion for Old World. Dude, this is 
the best time to be alive for a 4x gamer we have literally wall and like humankind got an update i think yesterday we have wall to wall super high quality 4x games coming out um wall to wall constantly new games coming out in the genre it's insane how's the blobage going it's going pretty well uh this city is like barely clinging on in terms of loyalty 7.2 it was 0.2 earlier um fuck i forgot what i was doing i just i went for stirrups so that i could get access to uh, better pastures because i have a decent number of pastures in my empire if i do a search for pasture and china you'll see i have three pastures which is pretty good but i also have potential for one two three four five six more seven more <clears throat> we got the theater square in Xi'an. i think we want to super prioritize the amphitheater to get those great people points we need those great people points rolling in are the new dlc ever coming to console as far as we understand at the current time excuse me um based on the information that foraxis has put out there are no plans to bring this dlc to console that have been publicly revealed now that doesn't necessarily mean that they're not trying to make that happen and i personally believe if they were easy, if they if, if there wasn't some kind of barrier keeping them from releasing it, I think they would because like, it's not like they're like we hate our console gamers, we hate them, we just don't want them to have our game. No, very obviously there's some kind of sort of legal, logistical, intercompany, political, whatever the issue is, there's some issue preventing them from releasing it on console. That's just like feels obviously true to me. <clears throat> uh, chop and chop. Because if you think, why would they want less money? Do you know what I mean? The leader pass adds more value to their product, increasing the saleability of that product, regardless of whether or not you actually buy the leader pass. So why wouldn't they want more money? Now, maybe they did like some cost benefit analysis. And actually, if we release this leader pass, it actually does cost us more money than we would generate from the revenue of it, which I don't think is true. I don't, I don't think there's a, <clears throat> unless it's like absurdly expensive to release updates to a game on console to me um the only person who would make that call is somebody who literally only thinks about numbers and doesn't ever attempt to quantify the value you get that's non-monetary when you spend money not every decision is purely monetary and that's something that isn't captured in things like that so let's say let's say um i don't know you get a hundred thousand dollars in sales from the new frontier pass by releasing it on console and it costs you two hundred thousand dollars in like licensing and releasing it on console you, whatever the whatever the cause is right that you may have lost a hundred thousand dollars but like the delta in goodwill and like product availability and product like there's a bunch of like intangible non-monetary benefits you get from doing something like that <clears throat> your video the other day your video the other day has me considering picking up old world i would actually super recommend at least trying it i think there might be a free demo thing sid said console kitties get wrecked true are you really a gamer if you have a console i was talking to some people in the mr mooton wow guild um I play WoW with Mr. Mooton, uh, uh, his community. And uh, some of the guys on there had made like a relationships red flag tier list. Like it basically went like the bottom of the tier list were things that were good. Uh, the middle of the tier, tier list was like things that eh, didn't matter like too much. And then the top of the tier list were like red flags. <laughs> Being a console gamer was one of the red flags. It wasn't very high up, but it was there. And that made me laugh a lot. Okay, I think I can yoink suzerainty of Anshan here. Yes, I can. Um, and that was just really, it was really funny to me. Because I was joking, I was like, dude, console gamer, that needs to be higher up. You know what I'm saying? Just get a computer, forehead. <clears throat> it was like, <laughs> there was like, th there was like maybe two green flags. Um, actually, I think there was only one like purely green flag. And it was like, is a PC gamer. And I was like, okay, I know what kind of person wrote this tier list. <laughs> okay, you've shown your ass. Did you ever play CSGO? I have played a very small amount of CSGO in my life. Um, I could probably count on half of a hand 
how many full rounds of CSGO that I've played. And I could probably count on two hands how many casual rounds of CSGO I've played. And I could probably count on two hands and two feet on the number of times that I've actually launched CSGO on one of my computers. In fact, let me go here, right? Counter-Strike. If I search for Counter-Strike, Ah, oh right, I changed accounts once upon a time. I have four four point three hours in Counter Strike Global Offensive, and I would wager I have less than twenty on my other account. Favorite category of game besides four X. I think I have a soft spot in my heart for things like city builders. We built a dam in here, so this city is now defended from the bad stuff. It has a ton of housing, a ton of amenities. Now is where we might consider um the food festival. Because if we, if let's do the math here, okay? Uh, we could double the growth rate of the city. Now is where we could maybe consider doing this. Any RTS favorites? RTS, like, here's the thing. I'm just a gamer, dude. You put a game in front of me and I love to play it, except, okay, exceptions. I don't like story games and I don't like horror games. That's it. Basically everything else I'll play. <clears throat> Can we get more against the storm? God, yes. I want to do more videos. I'm excited. But the problem is for the last, like, <clears throat> for most of the last year since I got COVID, <clears throat> I've just had a hard time recording for long periods of time, recording and streaming. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's tough. You need to maintain the pop after you get it. We'll be able to maintain that pop. We got tons of food in the city. I think this is a moment Where we grow. Let's get growing, boys. Should I build builders? The responsible thing here would be to build builders. The populist the beginning is a based game. Super based. Uh, let's buy a builder here as well. Actually, I shouldn't have put that builder here. I'll walk it to the north. Chengdu could use a builder. Sheesh, long COVID is, is no joke. I don't know what it is, man. <clears throat> I'm just like, I can never, I can't clear my lungs. Maybe I have like hidden pneumonia or some shit. I don't know. I've been going to the doctor and we're trying a few different things, but I think I might go back. Um, I went, oh no. Okay, okay, okay. All we need to do is block him a little bit. If he doesn't step forward again, we've got it in the bag. Take Irene of Athens. Damn, the timing on that is just brutal. Get the pasture. That's a three food, three production tile. You move up there. Heal. Uh, I'm at Warbird Anshin again. We can solve that. We're getting exploration. I got my settler in here. I should probably come back and pick up Celestial Navigation to be able to place the harbor down in the city. Although I'm far more enamored with the idea of getting Kilwa. I should probably immediately start Kilwa the second the city has a granary. Um, the city is now growing. 64 food surplus per turn. That's insane. Let's quickly put a bit of production to an archer. It sets up a nice IV. Settle where it is right now. The problem is that that completely ruins my settling plan. And it also means I don't get access to the honey. And the honey is the most important part of this city. The honey. How's it going with Gifu? Uh, they got loyalty. They got loyalty for days. We'll eventually do it. I think we can squeeze out one more settler from this city. It's like squeezing blood. Squeezing. Squeezing. Squeezing blood from a stone. But... Has to be done sometimes. We definitely want to get the water mill in the city. This city will grow exceptionally well with a water mill. It should also probably get a aqueduct. It can get a dam. I can get a dam in here. Do I want to get a dam or do I... I think we get the dam and not the aqueduct. It's more expensive for sure. Place that dam. Place the aqueduct. We want housing. Housing is important. Honey is pogged. You should run industrial zone. Get the engineers. Oh shit. I'm going to get them anyway. Ow. 
Aqueducts of the Maze? Yes. So this is a flatland tile. I'm going to do a lumber mill. We need to increase our production without chopping. Uh, you can go exploring the great world now. The Great Escape is well underway. <laughs> I can't believe we managed to steal a settler and sneak it off into the wilderness. That's incredible. We do need to think about what our wind condition is here. Um, it's turn 97. We're top culture. Nearly top sides. This sieve is actually broken, lads. Uh, ooh, do we want to make a monopoly? Here's the thing. Do I care about a great person? Thingy? Or do I want to build monopolies? I think I would actually rather have the monopoly. I said escape, you said delete. It worked out. I mean, deleting is also quite funny. So there is that downside there. This, no, we want to get our theory. We need to get our great works up. So just continue to blockage. You'll get there in seven turns. You'll get there in four. Okay, you head north. Uh, do you have the Pingala Grants promotion? Yes. I have Grants. I'm thinking of saving. Then again, I, I suppose if I get a governor title and I got something like Liang... Or Reina. Ooh, Reina in Changsha isn't bad. Housing amenities. Now, now that I've thought about it, actually a governor title is really good because it lets me get my governors up. And a lot of these places are struggling with housing. In particular, some of these other cities like Chengdu could really use housing. Uh, Zhaodong could use housing. Changsha could use housing. These two are fine. It's the other ones that need help. Okay. My giga capital is insane. 15 population. We're growing in eight turns. Anything else I want to build in here? It would be nice to get the extra great people points from the workshop. Let me go ahead and prioritize that. Plus the three production per turn. Eh, not as important, but the, the other stuff is good. So I want you to start this... This is going to be the Apple City. Sorry, the Orange City. Let's make sure we're growing hard. You start to get books? Yes. How are we on the book front? We're still not top book, man. Well, you know what? We can we can totally be top book, man. How do you feel about peace? You wouldn't pay me. Uh, give me some books. Hold on. Let me check how much money is actually mine. 86 gold. Uh, great works of writing. 15. I think I can afford to buy two. Ooh, no, I can afford to buy one right now. That link might be really old. But some of the mods still in there is, are, is still probably good. Exclamation mark advice. Um, spend more time with your family. That doesn't necessarily have to mean the people that you're blood related to. But the people you consider to be family. Because if one day they're going to be gone. And that's not a fun time. And no matter how busy you think you are. On that day you will wish that you had made like a day a quarter to spend with them there you go there's some advice real real crowd pleaser heartfelt advice not if I'm gone first <laughs> alright we're going to adopt Merchant Republic <laughs> Commercial hub. <clears throat> uh shit. <laughs> Not if I'm gone first. God, that was a great, great line. Um, oh yeah, commercial hub. So we got the theater square.
Renaissance era. It's currently medieval, so there's no point really projecting for these. It'd be good to get the commercial up. What else are we building in here? So we're very obviously, we get the theater square, we get the commercial up. We get the theater square because we want culture. We get the commercial up because we want gold and we want trade routes. What else are we buying? Learn to trust? Mm -mm. No, the opposite. Trust no one. Suspect everyone. Live in a constant state of paranoia. Trust me, it's great. Um, you'll, you'll be fine. Get over it. Uh, don't do that. Don't do that thing. Diplo quarter for Anshan. Envoys are biggest resource in game. True, but I wanted to build up my capital, but it'll take a while. Uh, I wanted to put it here. I can wait seven turns for that. I can wait seven turns. It's only turn 100, right? It's only turn 100. We're fine. We can we can wait. It can, it can wait. Entertainment squares. There is actually a super based entertainment right here. That's a lot of culture if I do that. Let's take the time to build a builder while we... I win the game on turn 130. Yes, but you are playing to hyper-optimize. I'm playing to have fun. That is the difference between you and I. And you, you don't, you couldn't win this game. Hold on. I send you a save file. Hold on. Let's see how fast you can win this game. Get to work once. I think I just crashed my computer by all tabbing. So uh, how's everybody doing? Doing good? It's good to hear. That's good to hear. Um, you hold your horses once. There you go. I sent you the save. You should try to optimize, but it's not how I like to play the game. I like to be good enough to beat the game and then like treat it like a podcast. That's kind of how I enjoy it. I do like learning and optimizing and doing things, <clears throat> but it's not my main motivator when I'm playing Civ. I'm not playing the game to optimize it. Right, we settle here. Yoink. Quang Chu. I think that's how you pronounce that. I could be wrong. You don't need a granary. Instead, what you need is the old god obelisk. Here's the thing. At the end of the day, right, let's say I got perfectly optimal at Civ 6. You know, how many times can I play that game? However, if I get pretty good at Civ 6, I know you don't like it, but try this once. The game is six years old. You've played basically the same for six years. Just give it a shot. Well, it's not the same game for six years because I'm always like, because I'm not trying to optimize. I'm always learning things. I'm always making mistakes. I'm always having a good time. My people settle where they please, Coupe. I'm afraid you have no sway here. Oh shit, is this a whole ass continent that I can have to myself with luxuries that no one else will have access to? <gasps> Chocolat. Pearl. Mother of Pearl. Are these the only two? Are these the only two oranges on the entire map? Oh my god, hang on. I can't tell yet. I haven't gotten banking. Fuck. Wait, is it banking? I don't remember which one it is. Just give it a shot. You'll enjoy it. I like it, but here's the thing. I don't have a brain for it. Once, here's what I want you to do. I want you to download OBS. Make sure you get the right OBS. There's a scam OBS going around, so be careful. And try to record yourself playing the game at a reasonable pace while narrating it, right? Let's see how far you get. Start that YouTube channel up. Let's see. Let, let's see how he does, okay? That's my challenge to you. Governor title recruiting a governor. I'm going to take the governor title because I want an extra governor. I think Moksha is a reasonable choice here for the faith. Faith does get converted into all sorts of other resources for me. Um, Chengdu. Probably would have been better. It would have been more optimal to go for Victor because this is the city that's most at vulnerability from any potential attacks from Gorgo. <clears throat> I don't even know where I'm going with this guy. I'm trying to sneak him back up somewhere. I don't like editing. I've tried it. You don't need to edit it. You just need to put it on YouTube. Oh, shit. Once. Like, there's software you can get. 
that like edits videos for you. I know a guy who does that. It's me. I do that. <laughs> Why did I put the past you there? I don't, dude, I'm on auto. See, this is the problem. Once, when you start talking to people, you start going on autopilot. You start making crazy wild decisions that nobody can justify. Have I spent... Uh, chop and entertainment complex based on what? But is Morpus even real? <laughs> He's the one who also uses the software to help him edit. Listen, work smarter, not harder. Shit. What's his tech like? He's not scary. 210 military score. I sleep, dude. Uh, I'll walk my archer slowly towards my cities at the very mild danger that he poses. Boom. Boom. We're good, man. The only thing that I don't like about that is I think it crushed my trade deals to him. But I could just sell them to Gorgo instead. Any buyers? Sure, lots of buyers. Oh, I'll take that. 15 gold, 15 gold, 15 gold. Based? Okay, I might have overspent there. Hold on. 52 gold per turn. For all of our great works. Cutting down. I need. I kind of actually need to cut down her culture. It'll be 30 turns of pain though. How many more great works does she have? She has a lot. I don't think I can afford to do that anymore for a little while. I need to get my commercial hubs up and get my gold up. But I don't want to get my commercial hubs up because my theater squares are more important to the victory, to the W. Moksha is assigned to the city. He'll give the city plus four housing. That'll allow the city to grow to 12 population. Potato is trash. I'm allowed to say that. I mean, technically, Wands is someone who I know for sure is better than me at the game. So he's allowed to say I'm trash. He's got the, he's got the pass. He's got the hall pass to, to, to talk shit about me. I've never heard of this game before. Cool. It's Civilization VI. It is uh, basically a game about taking humanity uh, or taking one of the civilizations of humanity from the Stone Age all the way to the space. Who do we think is the best new leader? It's 100% Yongle. Like, it's not even a question. It's, it is it is just Yongle. Yongle. Yongle? It's, it's Yongle. Which is the correct way to pronounce it, but it's funny to say Yongle. Um, it's funny to me, at least. Alright, I'm sitting on 200 gold. Got 300 fate in the bank. I think these two, three more settlers. Three more settlers. How much for settlers? Quite expensive. One's talking big as if potato. I will try to do your save file, but I need some time at university to just study its exam season. Dude, listen. Just admit you, you're scared. Just admit it. You don't have to... Look, go get an education, dude. It's okay. We'll be over here playing save like pros. I get it, dude. You're not committed. Look, it's fine. You just don't want it as hard. I get it. It's fine. It's okay to be scared, exactly. All I'm hearing is excuses. No, 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 no. Look, he, he, it's it's fine. It's look. He, I I issued a challenge, and he. To be honest with you, he spit in my face. <laughs> uh, good ass memes. Set up a channel in Discord where people can submit their win turn on this save. Sure. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Let's see who's better than me. Duplicate channel. Save challenge. There's a channel on my Discord called Save Challenge. I will ban 
Asa, you got in before the rule was written, so you're going to be immortalized at the top of that channel. But I will ban anyone else who tries. You got lucky. You got in before. You, you were grandfathered in, Asa. Grandfathered in. Of education. There's education. Oh, Guilds. So let's have a little bit of a think about where we want to go here. Um, if I was thinking rationally about where I'm going to get my next tourism, it's probably going to be from art museums, spamming out art and archaeological museums, heading towards colonialism and natural history. Where's my Discord mod? I need both to function. Talk to Morbus. Morbus handles the Discord. Um, I need to get these settlers kind of now-ish. I'm willing to sacrifice a pop and Jeanne. By the way, Jeanne, hit 10 population, is now cranking out the culture and science. I don't think I really need more stats, actually. I think I need more tourism. Xylus has started playing Wingspan, and let me tell you, it is tempting. I don't need more stats. I have enough stats. What I need right now is tourism. Does population in Beijing help me get tourism? Not really, but kind of. Let's get the diplomatic quarter, get it down, plus one envoy for being adjacent to the capital city, and extra envoy points. Uh, I like how you started this game as a tall game. No joke. More cities is the best route. Like, it just it just is better. Like, just more cities is better. Um, you know what? One, two, three, four. I'll get a pair of settlers out of my capital. Yes, it'll crush the growth, but it'll finish off my settling phase. And the longer your settling phase goes, the worse your, the game is for you. Let's go ahead and unlock banking so that we can get banks. That's a good step forward. We also got Isidore of Miletus. We're going to delete us, defeat... Well, no, don't say that. We're going to teleport him over here. Uh, and then let's grab Magnoid and reassign him to Changsha. And then we're going to go ahead and buy all these choppables. Let's go ahead and grab Victor. We'll put him back into Wuhan because the city needs the housing and amenities and stuff to keep her going. You're scouting? I'm scouting mine. Am I going to be building great walls this game? Here's the question. How fast can I get to flight? Pretty quick if I keep growing. Maybe settle some cities but a round of great walls. It's an interesting idea. It's not really one I want to entertain, though. Fuck, it actually is just better to do that, isn't it? Like, if I just go boom... ...and literally surround the city in Great Walls. No. Oh, it's it actually is just so efficient. This is like how much tourism again? Um, two, four. Sorry, four, eight, twelve, sixteen tourism. God damn it! He's right, you know. Merchant Republic. Uh, Limes. This is all fine for now. I definitely want Republican Legacy. I'll drop Urban Planning for that. That's too good not to have. When you're right, you're right. One, two, three... Um, one, two, three. If I settle right here. One, two. We can link these up. Is this a valid? No, this isn't valid, is it? No. I don't need anything from these cities but tourism. More valid if I go this way. To be honest, yeah, I literally don't need anything from these cities.
He's way out of line, but he has a point. It's like every Maverick and everything every ever. Like liter like what if I just did this? This big old dumb great wall. This is so much tourism. Why wouldn't I do this? I hate that this is optimal. Wait, limes isn't pronounced like the fruit? Famously, we had a very big argument on my channel over that. What is the placement requirements of Great Wall? It can be placed on literally anything as long as it's on the edge of your stuff. Fuck. This is just so much tourism if I do this. National parks? I don't think I have the faith to get anything but a couple of national parks and I can get them in like here in these mountain ranges. Check the Save Disasters channel. Okay, hold on. I'm scrolling. Damn. That's a really nice Great Barrier Reef tile. Uh, yeah, I mean, if we're going to optimize for tourism, yeah, we should build Great Wall. Of course we should. Wands, I hate you for making me play the game correctly. I want you to know that. One, two, three. But is this fun? Probably not. But it is super optimal. All right, so we got Great Wall spamage. I don't think I'm going to spam many Great Walls in my inner empire. I don't think I have particularly good land for it. Let me have a look. Mm, this is a good enough one here. Not too expensive. Just out of range. Technically, this is role playing. It defends my borders. Oh, I hate it. I hate it, but it's the right way to play. Do we keep it going? I don't want to use any of my capitals tiles, but I can do this. It's going to be an amazing wall. It'll do heavy work. We don't really need districts in these cities. These cities are probably never going to grow to a population level to where they will actually be useful. Uh, my core cities are like generating the vast majority of my yields. Did anyone ever build pyramids this game? No, Pyramids is still available. And there is a chunk of desert up here. So obvious choice is to save Isidore to grab those if we can. I'm going to have to hide those pins though now. I suppose we should get started on this Great Wall down here. Wands, what's your opinion on my Great Wall? Would you change anything about my layout? I'm curious to see what your opinion is. I got. I this is look at. Ugh. 
All right, let's see if we can escape with the settler now. Um, yeah, you know. Kilwa? Kilwa, absolutely we need to get it. I'm willing to burn. Um, we definitely want Imhotep. So I need to get my hands on Imhotep. I need to plug in the Wonder Building card too. I apologize for the burp. I need to get all these things. I'm a little bit crunched for production. <clears throat> um, fuck. Research lab in Wuhan. We don't even have a campus yet. Um, One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six. We have one settler on the board, so we need one, two, three, four, five. One, two. This is painful to do. Three, four, five. Has to be done. Has to be done. Um, you already have a trade route. Steel coupe settler, that would be difficult. I am at war with him. What in the name of God is he doing? He may actually just donate a settler to me. That would be so based. Jean doesn't need this trade route anymore. I think a city like Wuhan could make use of this trade route incredibly well. It was a COVID joke. Oh, <laughs> right. We're still doing those, eh? Keck W. All right, chop here. Halicarnas is first for, for plus one charge. Unfortunately, I don't have time. Kilwa tends to go because it has very easy build requirements. So we need to get Kilwa. All right, damage. Phone shush. Attack. Maori settler looking kind of tasty. It does look tasty. I think we've got him by the balls now. We definitely want industrialization. Let's go for mass production. Stay in the top half of the tech tree. Oh my god, the border expanded and screwed me. Screwed me out of a great wall. That's the great wall. That that'll that's the difference between me winning and losing the game. Right there. Guaranteed. 100%. No questions asked. All right, plunk this city down. Uh buy a builder, get this great wall going. It's the number one thing that we need to do. I guess don't buy the old god obelisk. Instead, get more builders so that we chop out builders by chopping out builders. Um, I want to wait until I have... I want to wait until I finish my settler so I can plug in the card. Marco Polo... Grants a free trader in the city, increases the trade route capacity by one. That's quite good. A foreign trade routes to the city provide plus two gold to both cities. He is quite good, um, but I think he's worth burning into a thingy. It's a good amount of gold, but it's not super important. Alliance with Japan. Economic alliance with Japan could be very good. I'm trying to think, what would be the best alliance type to have with Japan? Probably economic. I could use some tech to get to computers faster. So our research alliance isn't like completely terrible here. Can't the wall only be in a straight line? No, the wall the wall can turn as long as it doesn't turn more than two tiles. Sorry, as long as the wall doesn't turn greater than a ninety degree angle, if that makes or less than a ninety degree, you know what I mean. No right turns. Has to be smooth turns. Ugh. 
Don't ally Japan. Kill Gifu. I don't. I don't care. I'm trying to think. Economic would give me money. Research would give me science. My biggest weakness right now is probably science. It's my lowest yield. Uh, so let's do an economic alliance with him. Alrighty. Settle or get moving. We definitely want this salt online. That's another amenity. You're done making settlers for me. Go ahead and get me the amphitheater because we need those great rider points. You're heading north. We're going to try and find somewhere to send you. Ooh, I don't know if these can go in volcanic soils. Uh, rule check. Can great walls go on volcanic soils? I'm pretty sure they can't. Let's find out. Based! They can. Amazing. Right, so the Great Wall has begun. We need to continue it. Uh, but we need to continue it quickly. I am blobbing here. We, we do a little blobbing. I actually don't have enough units to catch this settler. Which is fucking hilarious to me. Chop. It would be nice to have mercantilism. I'll grab that. Mercantilism will give me uh, lumber mills on rainforest as well as a ton of extra gold and good stuff like that. Get yourself a little heal there, bud. Uh, what are you doing? You're trying to sneak your way back up north. How to show and hide all the pings? Uh, Shift S when you have the detailed map tax mod. Allows you to hide them. Okay, that's one less settler I need to build in my capital. I'm really quite happy about that. We got the amphitheater in here. This is where I'll put my national parks so let me have a little look there one two three one two three ah, it's out of range balls it'll have to go here that's fine one two three there's another national park right there as well One. Have a look. I want to look at the appeal. Could be a national park right there. It's a pretty decent appeal. What's this tile? I can get that up to four appeal, no problem. One, two, three, four. Um, ba -bum. There's definitely a national park here. One, two, three. Nope, not within range. I'd have to settle this city. One, two, three. If I settled this city, I'd be able to get that plus some extra stuff. We might not do that. How are we looking? We don't know yet. We don't know. I do have a monopoly, though. Okay, if the wall can curve, I just put the strangest wall in my game. We got, we got the settler. He's fine. Um, we need more builders down here. I think I'm going to start spending my faith on that. Especially because there's tiles that are exposed that need to be done soon before they become not edge tiles. Okay. So conservation is our next goal. It would be nice to get more great artist points. It would be nice to send a scout down through here too. Let's quickly grab a horseman. It's going to be a scouting unit for me. Need to hide this while we're working on other stuff. Wait, can you chop out those projects? I don't think there would be a reason to chop them out. The goal isn't to finish them. Uh, they work like in older 4X games where you would just, like, if you didn't know what, if, what to do with a city, you would just be like, make gold. And the city would, like, continuously produce gold until you told it to stop. That was the wrong tile. 
that actually screws me out of two extra great walls so I'm gonna have to undo that that's why you need to have the pins on it's builder time it's a bit like Morbin time but with more construction I would like to get the civil engineering ASAP this would allow me to increase the amount of builders that I make by a non-marginal amount Go here, get ready to chop that. You're heading north. We're waiting another we're waiting until these settlers are done before we're gonna start using Isidore. Major flood completed, mercantilism is slapping away. Lumber mills, privateers, Torre. It would be nice to plug in this trade route card, but I don't think I can. I don't have the trade routes for it, to be honest with you. It's like the main issue. Uh, that's a great wall tile. Perfect. Perfect. Chop. Move. Builder. Where did I put Magnus again? He's over here because I had planned to buy tiles and chop out this wonder. That's going to be... Whether or not I can do that is entirely dependent on if I can sell strategics for gold. Um, builder. Well, like if we're talking about optimal setups, uh, let me see if I can find a bit of land to this. If we're talking about optimal setups for, uh, great walls, the optimal setup, there's two ways you can do it. It's like this. You do it in two circles, and then the third ring. You do another. This is like to maximize the total amount of great walls that you get. I'm gonna get carpal tunnel syndrome in my hand. So you can do this, or you can do this, place that there, and delete that. And these are essentially the same, if you like a little sneaky wall. Um, but this is kind of like terrain agnostic. You need like perfect setup for that, and it's unlikely you'll ever get that. That's like a level of optimization that isn't really available. Uh, so she just declared war on me. She doesn't really have an inroad into my land. She probably declared war on Japan. Yes, so she declared war on Japan. That's the most likely thing. For some reason, I can't see the new sieves. Um, did you update your sieve? Let's get military engineering. Yeah, no, that'll be fine. The only way that might screw me is if it reveals niter on a great wall tile, which would be decidedly unpleasant for me. Okay, so what are you working? Let's get that tile improved. That'll shave a few turns off kill. We shaved about six turns off it. Let's get the great wall going. Chop here, keep this city growing itself. We're not too far off flight, but we need to be ready so that the turn flight happens. We have all of our tourism going. That's why we also need to be building limes and walls. Castles, siege tactics, we need to get our wall tech researched because in the not too distant future, we're not going to be able to build walls anymore. Or at least we're not going to be able to build them with double, double production. <clears throat> Which is basically the same as not being able to build them at all. Even if that's not true at all. Um, what if you went this way?
run away little chariot and escape to the safe place that's all the settlers that we need um i'd like to get my consulates now i want those influence points the fact that i'm behind on them doesn't feel good <clears throat> I will place a commercial hub. I think I can get value out of at least a couple of archaeological museums. So I'll start on some archaeological museums. You, I'm looking to chop to try and get this wonder a little faster. 130, 140-ish production is pretty good. You settle in place. Your immediate goal should be more builders. The Great Wall gets longer. Or should I say, the Great Wall gets younger. Any youngers in the chat? Raise your youngers. Watching from the future, wouldn't the fidget spinner industrial zones be even more valuable since you can convert them into faith, food, gold, and faith? Eh. <sighs> The problem is, it's an opportunity cost problem, basically. That's what it comes down to. You can't do everything, and so you have to prioritize. So you're going to here. You're going to here. You're going to here. And you're going to here. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Where are those Japanese troops going, people? Probably to kill Singapore. Well, who knows? We're allies, so he can't declare war on me. Even if he did want to. I can't believe that settler is going to make it home. Oh... Oh, Tarapa. Oh, Aunt Shan. I didn't know we were at war. Give me back suzerainty of Aunt Shan. There's actually a ton of my sciences coming from being suzerain of Aunt Shan, so I kind of need to maintain that, that suzerainty. We did manage to get the consulate. That feels good. Um, would like the intelligence agency. Would like to build my spies. Would like to get an art museum. Would like to get a bank. Would like to get water mills. Would like to get everything. Would like to build the Great Zimbabwe. It's a 16 turn production though. Um, it's very slow. What is the best way for me to continue winning the game? Um, ancient walls. Get those walls up. We need to prep for the late game. Settle here. Builders, 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 builders. Buy that tile. Chop. 16 turns on Kilwa. Great wall. We're going to get Imhotep, which feels good. Can I slap down this? Not yet. I'm going to wait until civil engineering. I may as well get optimal usage. We chop here. That gets most of the builder. We can start to build the new wall around here. It's a nice big loop. Could someone make a modest save that does exactly the same as the new leaders? So. Most. So. That is the quickest way to get 2k to shut down modding forever. Is my answer to that question. Technically. It's kind of possible. Right. It's technically. That is within the realm of something that someone could do. I would say that it is extremely inadvisable. Um, we live in an incredibly delicate balance, legally speaking, when it comes to modifications and, tr and, and big game studios like Firaxis. They... When you start doing something that could technically be construed as stealing from rights holders, shit's going to get scary. Don't fuck around with that stuff, okay? We 
word of advice, okay? If you were to make that mod, you better hope that there's nothing linking you to that mod anywhere on the internet. I mean, to do a personal mod if you have the skills, but like, don't show it to people. Yeah, I mean, like at that point, it's a, it's an unprosecutable crime. Um, but like, from a from from a from a certain standpoint, um, modding is a very precarious thing from the perspective of people like Firaxis and Two K. You can't copyright game mechanics. Yes, you can't copy you can't copyright game mechanics, but um you would be modifying the you would be modifying their so based on it's based like legally they have the thing they can, they can revoke your access to the game and be like well you modified the game in a way that we don't agree fuck i just lost the card and so you no longer have access to our game that is something they could do i don't know um i would be more concerned with the i'm less concerned with like oh they took down my mod boohoo i'm more concerned with we're not cool with modding anymore. And if people started doing that kind of a thing on any kind of a large way, um, unfortunately, any semblance of official mod support would basically evaporate. And I super don't want that to happen. And so I'm super against any anything that would make something like that happen. Um, I want you to go into Zhao Dong. Listen, just be glad we get away with so much um, lighthearted copyright infringement with the modding scene. Just accept, be happy. Oh, one turn until Killwell, that's huge. Still have a charge on Isidore, so when I do get the mausoleum, if I get the mausoleum, we're ready. I hope I get Imhotep. There's Killwell. So plus three envoys when built. When you're the suzerain of a city-state, you gain 15% of the type boost provided by that city-state in this city. And if you're a suzerain of two of the same type of cities, you get a 15% boost across all of your cities. So that's like super based, super happy with that. Um, claim great person. We also have Imhotep, who can double produce the pyramids for me. Bro, the pyramids just went as I got access to a desert. <sighs> Damn, that was pyramids would have been huge for me here. I just need more builders. There's land west of Japan, a rogue coast tile visible on the minimap. Right there? Yeah, it's probably a little island. We can't embark yet. Okay. Any amenities, actually? I should have been buying these. This is where two amenities. Let's pick it up. No. I need builders right now. Builders are the unit of the moment. I need to get the Great Wall built before my borders expand too much. Um, so I'm in a delicate balance. That needs to be navigated carefully. Fuck. Double expanded borders over here. Crushed my hopes and dreams. Super not based. I'll take peace with Coupe. That's fine. <clears throat> oh yeah, spend monumentality fate. Good call. I keep forgetting that I'm in monumentality. This would actually be perfect if we could get city center to trigger. So if I, if I get districts, culture bomb, and 100%, we got, we got this in the bag. This is actually super pogged. Oh shit, I didn't see that musketman. It's not it's not the end of the world. It sucks, but it's not the end of the world. Faith by a builder here. Faith by a builder here. Faith by a builder here. That's all my faith. Literally zero faith. You don't see that every day. Um, 
Okay, we definitely want to get natural history to get access to the archaeologist. That sucks. Yeah, the re I can't build the wall here because it has to be built on the border. So, just kind of unfortunate. Chop out that builder. Send him over here. Chop. A lot of build charges going into this right now. Kind of a waste. Very unbased. Oh my god, the muskman left me alone. Huge. Fifty-eight turns for a builder. Let's focus on food and production in this place, right? Um, old God Obelisk should be fine now. I need to design more wall over here. I'll cover that when the time comes when I actually settle those cities. That's when I'll do that. Why did the war start? Uh, I think she declared war in Japan and just by proxy I'm now at war with her. Oh, I should totally place this. I want to save these chops. Do I? Probably. I'd like to get that city developed though. Feeling the carpal tunnel just watching that. It is rough on the hands to do this kind of a game. But there's a lot of micromanagement. Alright, we have siege tactics now. So we can get renaissance walls in some of our cities. It would be good to get that. We basically just need to get to computers now, I think. So we can stick the top half of the tech tree. I got my courser. Send him down here to explore. It's very hard to look at this map. Um, but we definitely just need like tons of builders. Builders are the highest value unit for me right now. And you were going to settle here. It is nice to see great engineer time. Not quite. Uh, great engineers. I'm okay with them taking a couple of great engineers while I focus on getting the ones I really care about. Great wall. Oh, I'm already on that. Um, requires castles. Ah, right. I'm finally getting the culture from them. Huge. Ton of gold in the bank. Six turns left. We should buy builders while we can. Make hay while the sun shines, as they say. Buy builders while the gold is here. Oh, I didn't see that third citrus. We need to get that online. Buy this tile. Go ahead and place down the Great Wall. We're trying to build the Giga Wall. Can you head to the north to help out with that? Can you go to here? We'll buy this tile. No money. Mo money. I need more money. I need all the money that I can get. All right, Giga Wall in the south is built. Is that Elvis? It's your dad. We got him. Oh, shit. We need to get that tile. Uh-huh. 
I don't know. And sometimes I just make up songs in my head, and it's usually just like pieces of a song that I've heard before. There's colonialism. Not that we need it. Not in this family. Um, stop colonizing your siblings. So, great wall time is nigh here. One, two, three. That's the furthest you can reach. It's a pretty decent little great wall. Could I do better? I can. If I move this to here. And then if I move these to here. The kinkier your wall, the more optimal. Okay, if you just build a straight wall, you get less value. I, I just, I realized that the mild innuendo in that sentence. <laughs> My face is bright red right now because. <laughs> Listen, innuendo that's not intended is mild, okay? Um, all right, uh, you go there, buy that tile, chop it, chop it, boom, do, 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 When are you going to try to start meeting the other continent? It's not really a priority for me right now. I will yoink this free city though. Um, this is just more Great Wall, honestly. One, two, three. We should be able to now link up our Great Walls. To make them into based walls. Which is like a level up from Great spending so much money on tiles I really need to plug in the tile card hold on I don't know why I didn't have that in earlier okay let's one two three mm, the city isn't very good for making more great walls I suppose one two three We can start doing a little bit of Great Wallage here. Snake it around the districts a little. Now, one, two, three. Yeah. Hey, Gaming Nightly, thank you for the uh, Twitch raid. Appreciate you, man. Okay, great wall, great wall based. Step over here, chopper. Ah, uh, chopper the great wall. A lot of builders. This is very click intensive, to be frank with you guys. Um, man, you know what would really help me? stay on the game here and, and 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 keep just clicking away if i had a couple twitch primes right now i would just make this go so much easier how much of your culture is from great walls at this point i actually don't think i can really tell that uh let's get cities focused on food and production before great walls because i don't want them working ah oh, huge jess thank you so much <laughs> listen every now and again you got to remind the people do a little plug for money okay it's just good business nothing personal kid 
how do you help ease the pain in your hands? I wrap my arms around your mother and I give her a big old hug. No. <laughs> uh, so I do hand exercises. So basically, they're like hand stretches. If you look up uh, day nine hand exercises, he did a video like 14 years ago. How long are your arms? <laughs> That's for me and your mom to know. Uh, he did a video like mm, 15 years ago about like hand stretches for like when they get like carpal tunnel -y. There's um, the stuff you can do. Thank you so much. Uh, let him try dare one for your Twitch Prime and Imhi for your Twitch Prime as well. Buffalix, thank you for subbing. How much have you used the unique project so far? I've used the unique project in a couple of key locations. Most importantly, I used it incredibly early into the game to secure a very early Pantheon. And I think that's going to be the main use of the faith based one. There are scenarios in which I imagine you use it for certain goals, like could be potentially useful for some sort of a religion play. Um, let's get the mausoleum down. And we're going to use Imhotep to build this because he should one tap it and then get that charge back from one tapping it. Which means now we have two builders that are capable of building wonders or two great people rather. Uh, we have the mausoleum and we have Kilbo Kisawani. Hey Shibs, thank you so much. Shibs83, thank you for the Twitch Prime. And Tony Good Burger, thank you for the Twitch Prime. I really appreciate you, dude. Let's go for the lighthouse for the trade route. That's what we need. Um, do we want to place any more districts in this city? I theoretically no. We should probably get the theater square. It's five turns for this though, so I think we can delay slightly. Um, yes, let's do this. And then you are doing... Uh -huh. Okay, this great wall is nearing completion. The loop, we're looping. Uh, this and then this and then this now that's a nice great wall let me tell you you guys like you guys like the railway map mode let me look at the great wall map mode oh oh it's beginning Look at that. I like this. This is weird, but I like it. Hey, thank you so much. Uh, the Whiskey Chicken with your Twitch Prime. Andy Zhang with your Twitch Prime. Da Axolotl. Ta Axolotl with your Twitch Prime. Thank you so much. Ready Set Goblin. Twitch Prime. Thank you so much. Turtle Man. 7420. You do be Twitch Prime. Man. I love you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. Listen. It's just good business. Ask for the Primes. The Primes will come. Uh... So I don't think many more builders are needed down here, but I think I need to keep, I think I just need to keep producing builders in order to maintain the pace of progress in my empire. Let's go ahead and settle this settler right here. You go ahead and heal up. You probably only need, oh, that was like almost like a soldier boy song. You probably only need a, a, a old god obelisk. You! <laughs> Dude, remember, remember when soldier boy, is he controversial now? Last time I think, last time I think I saw a clip of him, he was like, cents. Have you tried the new leader? We are playing the new leader, dude. We are playing Yongle. Um, thank you so much. Never winter night. Winter night. Uh, for your becoming a member of the channel. Um, but I remember way back in the day when he used to release songs on Newgrounds. Simpler times. Better times. One might say. I can crank out a builder here real quick. No, there was another leader. Oh, I haven't tried them out. Right, there's cartography. Oh, wait, yeah, I've tried out the unifier. I haven't tried it Wu Zeshan. So cartography is nice because now we can explore deep water. Um, so time to buy a galley. Or a caravel. I'll have to save up for the caravel. I forgot. I should have bought a galley last turn and then upgraded it this turn. That would have been a more efficient use of my gold. Oh, man, we're revealing important amounts of terrain over here. Crank that builder. Uh, so we have natural history. We have access to the archaeologist. We want conservation ASAP. And now it's time to start getting walls in all of our cities. What's our tourism looking like? It's looking like it might be a hard game, but I don't think it's going to be an unwinnable game. Our pace of progress is kind of insane at the moment. The one thing I'm going to be missing soon is the extra builder movement. Believe it or not, this actually makes... 
the plus one movement on your builders is so useful. I would be willing to trade something out for that, but I can't. I'll probably trade out the Limes card when the Limes card goes obsolete. That's what I'll do. Uh, I did a potato. Turn four relic. Nice one, dude. Usually when people say I did a potato, it's like in a negative light. So I really appreciate that. That that, that was a good thing. <laughs> uh, boom. Boom. Grab. Slap down that bad boy. And you don't have flight yet. Yes, I don't have flight. Um, but we will soon. Don't you fret. Yeah, there's only like two chunks of wall down here. I would have to settle here. Oh, man. This is actually looking viable to settle. Why? If I settle here... No, 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 no. If I settle here. All right, hear me out. One, two, three. I claim this furs, this diamond, and I can great wall like this and like this. God, aren't we tired of building settlers yet? Which win condition are you going for? We're going for tourism. Uh, we're trying to make our way towards flight right now. Flight will turbocharge. And I mean t -t 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 turbocharge our win condition here. Give me gold. Any buyers of goods? I just need all the gold that I can get. Chop. Chop. Great wall. Boom. Um, builder over here. Go ahead and get my ancient walls. Medieval walls, Renaissance walls. Good, 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 good. Granary helps you out. Delete that one. Delete that one. There's an antiquity site there, so we won't be able to complete it. You head this way. Boom. Don't forget to repair the damaged walls. Yeah, that's on my agenda for the meeting on Tuesday. <laughs> oh, shit. This needs to be explored. I can't just settle here. Boom. Harvest that. What are you doing? You're going there. Great walls are coming up. It's all looking good. Oh, man. No. No, there's more land. Why? Why would the game do this? One, two, three. So I could settle here. Or I could settle here. Keep the wall going. If I settle on the honey. Okay, hear me out. Speaking of honey, I need to buy that honey to make sure I have a copy of it. Um... This great wall could continue. You know? Potato, you don't have to settle all the land. What do you mean I don't have to settle all the land? I want to. Don't tell me what I can and can't do and what I have to and don't have to do, okay? You're not my handler. I can do whatever I like. Good morning, Rick Alice. For some reason, watching Potato make my works. APS increase your actions per second. Nice. Ancestral Hall would have been super useful here. It would have. But here's the thing. I didn't know I was going to be settling five bajillion cities, you know, 80 turns ago when I was making that decision. Let's be frank here. Uh, I think monumentality. No. Yes. It would be nice to keep using my faith for things. Probably would have been better to go for something else. But you know. Um, are there any key wonders I really want here? It would have been nice to get Big Ben. It's 
kind of an awkward spot in the tech tree. We'll see. We'll see if we can get it. I would love to get Big Ben. Have you ever watched Belfast? I don't think so. I'm not really much of a watcher of things. I'm more of a doer kind of guy, you know? I like to do things. And not in like a snobby way. Like, ugh, I wouldn't be caught dead watching that. It's more just like, it just never occurred to me that it existed. Uh, I think we're going to adjust this wall to make it kinkier. We're going to make this wall a lot kinkier. Culture pattern is kind of based. You know, you guys are so focused on the numbers. All right, guys, listen. Journey before destination. Life before death. It's not about where we, where we got to. It's about how we got there. Okay. All righty. Boom. All right, we need to talk about the walls over here. Um, let's make some kinky walls, some kinky walls. We do love our kinky walls. They're all kinky. All right, that looks like a pretty good snake. There is a piece of me that doesn't like doing this. <laughs> I'm going to be 100% honest with you. But you cannot deny when I press the button for tourism later, uh, in a few turns when we have conservation, you're going to be like, yeah, this was worth it. Yeah, it was worth it. Who asks you to go to war with me? Stop. Um, need to get the land over here prepped, so we'll do a little bit of work on it. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. A hey, based on what? Why can't I click on you? Because you weren't one of my units, that's why. <laughs> uh, go repair this. How much for a settler? Oh, I can't afford it. <clears throat> Man, it could be any day now. Stormlight Adaption will be announced. Might not be tomorrow, but the next, but it could be. I don't really want a movie, but a game would be rad. I really just want more... I want more depictions of the books. Here's the thing about the Stormlight Archives. Is the books are enough for me. I'm happy. I don't need them. I don't need more. Okay? But if I got more, it would be nice. God, I... I, I spent a lot of time at Rhythian because that feels like a sentence he would say about something he liked. Um, which is a good thing. Rithian is rubbing off on me. He's he's good people. Um, if there is a person whose mannerisms and personality that I would adopt by osmosis, Rithian would be a good choice. Uh, how much do I have faith at this point? Hey, Potato, I'm going to sleep listening to you. Can you do ASMR? Uh, Emil? Uh, here's me drinking a can of cola. There you go. Hope that puts you to sleep, bud. Does Yonglei have early canal tech? Oh. Uh, no, I don't think so. Thanks, I hated it. 
Listen, I'm an entertainer. I give the people what they want. Based. We're going deep. Coupe, I don't know what Coupe did this game. I don't know what, I, what. What is up with Coupe? He just he tends to just crap the bed every single game. He just fails to make an interesting or useful empire, unless he's left alone. Uh, maybe you don't uh, don't wish to answer. But are you ch planning to join the Yogs cast? Um, I'm not opposed to joining the Yogs cast. I'm not in favor of joining the Yogs cast. I'm currently kind of leaning neutral. Um, it really just comes down to if I think that joining the Yogs cast would be a net benefit for me and the people I care about. Uh, that includes people in the Yogs cast. And if it would provide more value to my life and my business to join them. Um, right now, I think our relationship is quite good. I don't mind joining. <clears throat> uh, I think that would be quite cool to join up. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm not really motivated by money past a certain point. Like, to be honest with you, once once I'm making enough money to live my lifestyle, which is, you know, stay at home, play video games all day. I'm good, man. You could do that like on no money. Like you, you can do that on like, there's people in the chat right now doing that on no money. Okay. <laughs> you don't, you don't need a lot. Like, so the things that motivate me, I mean, money kind of motivates me, but in more of like a high score kind of way, it's like, Ooh, can I make, you know, can I make, Oh, how much can I get from this sponsorship? How much can I ask? How much will they give me? You know? Uh, think a lot of save seven talk on reddit should we expect an announcement this year um i haven't heard anything about civ 7 if i had i wouldn't be able to tell you however my personal suspicion is that civ 7 we probably won't hear I, I think i've been saying this now we probably won't hear about civ 7 until at least the end of this year the start of next year that would be that would be like the earliest i would possibly expect i forget what timeline i gave um but that timeline was based on XYZ being the final patch of Civ. So I would, you know, if I was to give you a conservative, no, a liberal argument, no. If I was to give you an estimate that I would feel like pretty confident about, somewhere between six, maybe eight to 12 months after the uh, new leader pass, we might get like, A confirmation that there's a game under works like and when i say that i mean there might be an interview there might be a trailer there might be an announcement something in that direction obviously they're working on something but we don't know what right because like it's for access they're always working on something they're always cooking something up to try and entertain people because that's their passion right they love games um civ 2 be honestly i want a space civ but i want it to be about terraforming mars i want Dude, I feel like they would make such a good terraforming Mars game. Can you imagine like using builders to build little improvements on Mars and like you have to actually terraform with them but they cost upkeep and you have to like manage your relationship with Earth and you could even join the Martian Rebellion, start a new state on Mars. Dude, I got Frisian talking about it. <sighs> or else it's just cold. It, 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 you know, it could be either one. It, it could just be cold. <laughs> Surviving Mars is a decent video game. Surviving Mars is a fantastic video game. Um, that doesn't get talked about enough, in my opinion. Very, very good game. I wish videos of it did better on my channel. Because I would love to play it more. Terraform, uh, I, I, I just, you know, I just love Mars games. I love games about Mars. I love games where it's like you're trying to take, I really love, and put, put a, put a W in chat if you agree. I don't know why I'm saying W. Let's listen. We're just trying to drive engagement here. If you also enjoy, um, 
games where you take something that starts with nothing like save right you start with just one little settler and you kind of like by mitosis expand it out into like a big empire like factorio mm. you take a little tiny thing you build it out into a big unwieldy empire and i like the idea of that for mars where you could just be like we start off it's one little rover and like a group of plucky colonists and you have a few crises and a few rebellions but by the end of it you've got a beautiful terraformed utopia and everything is perfect i love that stuff it's and I think, you know, maybe there's like something aspirational there to think about. Maybe people aren't all bad. Maybe I'm not all bad. Maybe I am all bad. Who knows? So we have conservation now and our tourism numbers will start to skyrocket. Um, but what we really need is flight. And we're four techs away from flight. So we got to rush this. And what flight will do will allow all of this tourism that we're generating here, uh, whether we're working it or not, it'll get converted into all of this culture will get converted into tourism. Sorry. Uh, Potato Big Whiskey, do you play board games? I do. I play a lot of board games. Well, no. I want to play a lot of board games. But I very rarely do I have the opportunity to play many board games. Um, I would, you know what would be, I would really love to get a a regular, like maybe bi-weekly board game stream going with the Yogg's cast. Um, where we just... Uh, play some cool board games. I think that would be really fun. I think Nilesy mentioned something about it. I'd be... I didn't respond at the time because I think I wasn't paying attention. But if it does come up again, I would be like, yes, I would like to do that. That would be super fun. Um, I don't remember why I didn't answer Nilesy when he said it to me. It's because I'm dumb and bad at paying attention to conversations and responding appropriately I don't like what's going on here but I'm going to buy a caravel it's about time that I discover the other continent we're really really behind on that let's build ancient walls in here um, we're in control of Anshan it would be nice to get Nalanda for a very specific reason because it would be a huge science boost because I would get the 15% across my empire that's 20 one uh i'm also by the way i'm top science i'm top culture turn 133 this sieve is broken okay this sieve is absolutely bonkers and i got an amazing start here i'm sure my gaming group will play terraforming mars tomorrow night it's our new board game terraforming mars is really fun it's a very crunchy game with a delicate decision scape i think one piece of advice that has held me pretty strong when it comes to terraforming mars is do not under any circumstances, take more, take too many cards, okay? One big problem you're going to run into playing the game is you're going to be like, oh, I want to do everything. You can't do everything, okay? There's a limit to the number of actions and the amount of money that you have. Do not pick up all of the cards. For my first couple of games, I was a card hoarder, dude. I would just, if I saw a card that I might use, I would grab it. You have to be really cutthroat you have to be willing to drop cards out of your hand and not pick them up and not pay the price for them because money and cards are interchangeable in a way that will make you pull your hair out in that game so do be careful what makes young yongle so good so what makes longya longya yongla uh so good is his leader ability um uh, Cities with 10 or more population receive plus 2 gold, plus 1 science, and plus 1 culture per turn for each population in the city. Which means my capital city, without a campus, is producing 90 science per turn. It's also producing 90 culture per turn, although it does have a theatre square. It's producing, producing 80 gold per turn. It is genuinely insane. Long Yi. Hey, listen. Longma riders are in Warhammer, okay? Right up there with the Ligma riders. We got him. Raja Todal Mar. Your own trade routes to your own cities. Receive 0 0.5 gold for specialty district. That's, that's like pretty okay. He's not good enough, I think, to not go for a corporation though. So we have a total monopoly on Citrus. That's good. We can get a total monopoly on Salt. And that should mean we should be getting a decent little culture boost against people. Yeah, 63% from luxury resource monopolies. That's really powerful. 
We have our Renaissance walls. Our tourism is creeping up. We're up to 81. Um, I think it's time we got our archaeological museums. We're a little bit delayed on those. You have your archaeological museum, so I'll go ahead and build that. Ancient walls, medieval walls. You're up to 10 population. You don't really need... Do you have a trader? You do not have a trader. Let's put a trader in this city. Um, am I missing a trader? I probably am. Chengsha. Chengdu has popped out. You need to be popped out. Otarapa has popped out. I probably want to start now trading internationally. I think that's going to be the play. We can get our first naturalist here and make sure that we buy the tiles that we need. There we go. Lovely. Why no campus on Chen? Uh, askers? Why would I do that? In order for me to do something, there has to be a reason for me to do it. Why would, why would I build a campus? What purpose does a campus serve for my empire? Great scientists? I sleep. It's a tourism game. I get all my science from my population. It's good balance of co-op to terraform the competition to win via points. Um, Gifu is just trying its hardest not to flip to you. Yeah, I mean, it's trying. Lord knows they're trying. I mean, theoretically, if I wanted that city, I could just run bread and circuses. What's the loyalty like in here? It's minus 18. That wouldn't actually significantly speed it up, so it wouldn't be worth it. Uh, Amani, promoted Amani would make a difference there, I think. Great walls are coming down. Bro, we're putting in work here. We're putting in the reps to get this goddamn game over with. Should they nerf young young le or let people have their full minute? Just, let's just I, oh shit! I just realized how annoying young le is going to be to fight in the game. <sighs> He's the new John Curtin. He's the new fucking John Curtin. He's the new Korea. He's the new Gilgamesh. He's the new Alexander. Oh, he's the new Khmer. He's going to be the most annoying save in the game to fight because he has fortifications on every tile and he has just insane passive science. Oh, God. Oh, no. I'd argue John Curtin is worse. Mm -mm. Think of how many... Like, the AI gets a lot of bonus growth. So you got to think about that. Oh, shit. Look at that trade route. So he's going to hit 10 pop. Like turn 40 and that shit is just going to go vertical and never look back um yeah you know what um young lady needs a nerf <laughs> i'm just i'm saying it right now so i need you to grow i'm going to trade with beijing to get an extra five food per turn just need to get you up there i got a builder in otarapa i have a settler on the way that's good news my big crunch right now is gold young lamesh young Young Dayuk. True. Based. Not cringe. Need settlers. Turns take a long time when you have this many builders. And I'm not even done. That's the horrifying thing. I'm not even done. I'm only at the beginning of my builder journey. Hey guys, do I talk fast? <laughs> Don't answer that. Uh. Good looking in religious settlements if this man is in the game. True! I'm truing right now. I'm gonna true. Very fast, but it's also good to watch it grow. What? Excuse me? What do you mean by that? Sir, please elaborate. Uh, but we love you. I love you too. You're all my... My spuddies. Okay. Uh, uh, ancient walls. We definitely need those. You go ahead and pop that down right there. Your job is to go sleep there until I can turn you into a, a corporation. That's right. We're grinding people up into corporations in this empire. E e e e Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
bathing up. Back on my feet. Till I die, take my chances. I suppose I could build Petra here. At this point in the game, there's no reason not to. One simply cannot have too many walls. You're not wrong. Um, this is carpal tunnel inducing though. Guys, entertain me. Keep me going, right? I know, listen, <laughs> for the first five hours of this stream, I kept you guys going. I need, a, I'm calling in a favor. I need help. <laughs> there is a payoff coming. There is a payoff coming. That's the thing. Once we get to flight in the not too distant future, right? We're seven, 11 turns away from it. Cupium. <laughs> uh, we're 11 turns away from it. There will be a payoff. How good of a payoff it'll be? That's a 75 turn Renaissance Walls. Holy bejesus. This, this is a national park. See, we're getting, so now we're getting, see, now you guys are getting to see the, the real potato. When we get deep into the late game, I start getting loopy. I start just making noise. I start saying wild shit. This is where it's, this is, if you thought the stream was good so far, this is where it gets good. Oh my God, that's a 12 turn Petra. Uh, <laughs> Gah? I should have swapped to Juji Yang to buy that tile. Isn't it like one in the morning over there? Yes, correct. But I am finishing this game tonight. I refuse to not one one session a game. Um, I'm all about that session. Do you know what I'm saying? You don't know what I'm saying. You guys don't know anything. Do you guys believe it? Speak in gibberish. Till I die, take my chances. Is Spuddies also a mashup of Spud Buddies? Yes, correct. It's Hello Buddy. Hey, hey buddies, and then it just it just I don't know why. It was just Back when I started my YouTube channel, people were like, You gotta have a thing. You gotta have a thing that you introduce your channel with. And I was like, fuck it, Spuddies. Hey I was like, hey friendos, yada yada yada. Hey lovelies, hello my little, hello my bold bakers, right? All these, all these, I don't know if you guys watch her, I, I can't remember her name. But everyone had like a thing that they called their fans. And I have the creative range of a teaspoon, so I was like, word for friend plus potato, spuddies, we're done here. <laughs> that was the whole thing. <laughs> uh, okay, let's chop to finish Petra. I just didn't spot is another word for a small potato. Which bear is the most condescending? A panda. Which bear is the most condescending? A panda. I like that one. That's that's clever. I like that. It's cute. Very verbal. Can be read out loud. Bouncing up. Did I the tiger is like actually on repeat in my brain. And I th I think I don't th I actually don't think I would make it through this game if it wasn't playing. Um, it's the music I need right now. Theatre Square. Do some history. Do you read or watch any history? Um, I, so to describe myself as a doer of things in general would be a great disservice to the things that I do. What I do at my time is essentially just completely random on every whim. Like I just, whatever thread of curiosity or whim that I have, I just follow it. And sometimes it leads me to weird places. Um, so when you ask me, like, do you do you like do history? Do you watch history? The answer is kind of. <laughs> sometimes I'll be like, I want to learn about World War One, and I'll listen to like, you know, a fifty-hour podcast by Dan Carling or something like that. Or I'll you know I'll order a book online, or I'll I'll go to the, oh, the, the rare time I'm in a bookshop. I'll, I'll actually buy a book about World War One or something. Um, but it's not something I actively do. It's something I kind of randomly stumble into when the mood strikes. Um, yeah. Is the song in your head because of the unique unit? 
the song is in my head because I made a random noise that reminded me of the song and then the song wedged into my psyche and so like if you want to get a song stuck in my head all you have to do is like sing not even like literally a note one note can get a song stuck in my head I probably should get a crouching tiger to build out my empire's era score um, but yeah I'm, I'm the kind of person where like a single note of a song can be enough to, to to trigger a song playing in my head over and over and here's the thing like you think oh cute he has a song stuck in his head no 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 you don't understand that song is stuck in my head not like on a short term basis like I'm going to be singing Eye of the Tiger in the shower probably until June okay well that's a slight exaggeration maybe March March is more realistic it's not that it's really easy to get a song stuck in my head it's that it's really hard to get a song out once it's in there I've been told the best way to get a song out of your head is just listen to it <laughs> oh sweet summer child he doesn't know Pepe laugh he doesn't know he doesn't know guys he doesn't do you not understand that for the past two years I have listened to the same three songs while I've showered I have listened you don't understand how I engage with music you don't get it like some people are like oh I'm gonna listen to an album because I want to like I want to hear the story I'm like nope I found one song from this one band that I like I will never ever listen to another one of their songs and I will play it on repeat until my ears bleed okay that's how I engage with music um so like uh does everyone know that like TikTok song the like the one that people put over like the the realistic looking angels or whatever it's called Ansi Balavida uh I I I just became obs I'm obsessed with that song I can't stop listening to it I know it's supposed to be associated with that Andrew Tate guy, but like he does he doesn't get that from me, okay? That's my song. Okay? I'm allowed to enjoy that song. Uh but dude, it, it literally I don't think I think I have listened to that the majority of the days in the last couple of years, that song. What's that world wonder? Which one? Um there's another good TikTok song. Uh, oh God, it's by the rapper. Uh, she knows. She knows. And I know she knows, yeah. I know she knows, yeah. She knows by, oh my God, I can't remember who the guy is. Anyway, really, really good song. That has also been playing on repeat in my uh, head for God knows how long at this point. An unreasonable amount of time. J. Cole, that's it. J. Cole, thank you. Yeah, that song's been stuck in my head for a few months. Um, let's buy all these tiles to make sure we own them. I don't even know if she knows. Dude, she knows. She knows. I feel like, though, my engagement with music has changed a lot. I feel like as I've spent more time around people that actually analyze media and think about them and talk about them and watch like YouTube videos where people talk about how they analyze the meaning. Fuck. My great wall got blurped. We can kind of recover here. Can we? Yes. Um, but yeah, like, and so my engagement with music has changed slightly as I spent more time around people who conceptually engage with music on a different level where they think about like, oh, here's the meaning of this song. This is where the artist was when he wrote it. This is why he wrote it. This is the person that the song is actually about and blah, blah, blah. So I feel like doing all that kind of stuff has made my engagement with media better I don't want to say better better feels like the wrong word more interesting music has 
gone from something being just noise that I listen to to make myself feel emotions to something that actually carries weight and value in terms of its meaning. Um, I went from understanding music as a tool to understanding music as an art. Hopefully that explains. Oh, shit. I forgot I can get a fucking honey. Do, 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 do. Oh, honey, honey. Now that's going to be in my head too. Fuck. I'm so fucked. Mm -mm. This is what happens when I stream too long. I'm like a gremlin, dude. I got I to gotta be in bed by midnight or shit gets weird. You guys don't understand. This is what I'm like in real life too. I can find people to corroborate that. <laughs> I will just be sitting there singing. And I can't stop. I actually, I just, I can't, I can't stop. It's like compulsive. I must sing. I'm not good at singing, but I must sing constantly. I will sit around and like, I do like the trumpet noise. Um, and I will do that continuously for like eight hours. You, you, you don't even know. Uh, it's incredibly infuriating to the people around me and I really appreciate them <laughs> for putting up with it. Now, every now and again, someone will go, okay, maybe we could like do three new notes on the trumpet mouth thing, Jamie. And I'm like... <clears throat> I used to be able to do the trumpet mouth. <clears throat> I think my lips are dry because I've been talking for like six solid hours really continuously. Um, but I used to be able to do the trumpet mouth thing really, really a lot better. Uh, um, so that was a, that. that's no longer an obsession, but that was an example. Um, can we kick Pakistan ball? You want, you want to kick the country of Pakistan in the balls? Just pack... I know people in Pakistan have... Does Pakistan have balls? Like, the country? What do you think of a potential Mexico sieve? Based. More sieves. More... Represent more cultures. More women. More everyone. Get it in. The most important thing to me is that the civilizations are interesting to play. I do not care about anything else. I like the idea of having more representation because it's kind of cool. <coughs> A.K.A. When Ireland. When Ireland... Potential Italy? Italy would be amazing. Seconding sea shanty. Oh, sea shanties get stuck in my head too. Yep. Uh, roll the old chariot along. And what that other... I actually love sea shanties. There was a time when I, was, I got... Sea, uh, so you have to understand, I get obsessed with things for a short period of time. Um, I, I, I was obsessed with sea shanties a few years ago. Uh, Stan Rogers was a big fan of Stan Rogers. Used to listen to... Barrett's Privateers, all these real classic uh, classic sea shanties. And I started hanging out with the Yogg's cast, believe it or not. And I was playing Dota, right? I was like, oh yeah, I'm playing a bit of Dota. And um, there was this guy in there called JD. I didn't know who he was. I didn't give a shit. He was just it's like I was like yelling at him in Dota. We were like arguing, like you know. But we're also having a good time. And uh, later on, I, occasionally I see him like post something like, "Oh, I'm doing a gig in X Y Z place, blah blah blah." And I'm like, "Oh, cool, he does music. That's cool." And then I fucking like a few weeks ago, I want to say it was around maybe Jingle Jam time. I was like, "Oh, JD, he's coming. Oh, cool." Now he was coming after I was going to be there, and he's fucking part of the longest jaunts. <laughs> he's like playing. He's like. Does, it's like one of the most famous, well, I say that I know of, uh, sea shanty groups. I was like, holy shit. Fucking wish I could sing with those guys. Turns out it was JD Salander. No, it was the, it was JD from uh, The Longest Johns. They do a lot, dude, and I listened, and 
Uh, I was cooking something for Christmas. I was helping my father prepare the Christmas dinner and I listened to like four of their albums because again, I'm engaging with music in new ways um, in the last couple of years. And uh, I really enjoyed it. I was like, damn, it got me, it got me really back into the whole uh, sea shanty scene. It got me, it, it got that, it got that bit of my brain ticking over, you know. Right, we got to get some archaeologists out on the field. Let's get a money because we want to get as many governors in our cities as possible because we get four housing and two amenities from each governor. We've got maxed out happiness. We could probably do better. Uh, Ireland will be a great culture sieve. Bonuses to great writers and musicians. I think so too. Um, I think the most interesting way to do Ireland is every time Ireland does something. So Ireland trade routes with Ireland should give you great people points but whenever another um, person earns a great person Ireland should get a bonus to like simulate the, em the emigration of Irish people and then the contribution of Irish people to art and science uh, while they were living in other countries I think that would be a really really cool way to represent Irishness in a sieve people ask me all the time how would you do Ireland if you were to do it as a sieve and I think that has to be part of it um, I also think Something to do with loyalty, like Irish cities are hard to hold long term with loyalty. So like you can conquer them and you could take them. But like every 10 turns, the loyalty in Irish city goes down by like one point. I think that would be interesting. Um, you know, you could, there's, there's things you could do. There's, there's interesting things you could do. If you only get bonus, it sounds balanced. Oh, here, here, here's how I would potentially do it. Um, whenever another civilization uses a great person with charges, like a great writer, um, Ireland also gets a great writer with that charge. Or, so, you know, something like that. Maybe not every time, but like certain so, something in that direction. That's not what I want it to be, but that's in the direction of what I want it to be, right? That itself would be completely imba and broken, but something in that kind of direction. <clears throat> Is there a mod yet with Ireland and Potato as the leader of the world needs this? Well, you know, we do have that election campaign coming up, but, you know, keep that under wraps, guys. Okay. Chip, chip, chip. They get combat defense. Ooh, that's a good one. Um, Ireland should get combat strength bonuses against civilizations with more cities than them. Ooh, another way you could do it is Ireland can gift units to other civs. Give them a unique mechanic. Irish volunteers have fought in basically every war since God knows when. Villains. Um, trading with Ireland should give some benefit. Like, these are all cool ideas that are worth exploring, in my opinion. Eve, I swear to God, I know it's 1am. Okay, I know it's 30 past 1. I'm going to finish this game soon. And then I'm going to let you out for half an hour. And you're going to run around. You're going to be fluffy. But I need you to work. I, I, you're hungry. I see. Okay, hold on. Are you thirsty? Do you have water? Okay, look, I can't go downstairs yet. So I'll give you... I haven't drank any of this water yet. So I'll give you some, okay, baby? She's a good girl. Oh, it's a good girl. All right, come on. Yeah, she ran out of water like an hour or two ago. So she's a little thirsty. She's a little hungry. She was making noise. She was being annoying. That's her job. That's her right. Oh, don't put your paws on that. You're going to knock it over. Hold on. Let me tilt it for you. There you go. She's drinking out of a pint glass right now, like a pint of water. And uh, to reach it better, she put her paws on it and nearly knocked it over. So a, a nearly an entire pint of water just went like very close to going onto my carpet. Are you done? Here, let me pour. Let me pour some out into your water bowl, so I don't have to stand here like a bleeding angel holding this for you. Would you hang on? Let go. There, look. There you go, good girl. Sit. 
Right, she was thirsty. That's all that was wrong with her. She was thirsty and hungry. Because normally, I read about this time, I'll refill her water bowl and give her hay and bi biscuits. Thirsty and hungry. <clears throat> she probably gets more exercise than 90% of the people watching right now. Take her out of the cage and let her run around, not outside. Yes. I wouldn't describe what she lives in as a cage. It's more like an enclosure. Um, but she likes to get out and zoom around. She needs to stretch her legs. How old is she? She's about... She's getting close to three years old, actually, I think. Uh, we built a builder in here. How many more builders do I need? We've almost completed this. We're about to get flight. I actually... I haven't been paying attention because I've just been talking absolute bollocks for the last God knows how long. Um... As is my fucking right. I can talk all the shite I want. Okay, I think we have a full monopoly on salt. I'd like the thing to be down here. You, oh, yeah, you need this. You're failing to grow. Which I think means you need like a couple of builders to set you on the right path. We figure out a place to put down some farms. Get you growing. Good man, doing a little explore over here. Uh, is the wall good? Show us the wall. The wall is... Ba oh, right. Uh, hold on. Great wall. It's a little higgledy-piggledy, but you know what? That's kind of what it was like in real life. It wasn't like one big giga wall. It was like a whole bunch of random schlaps of wall. And so I have my core empire over here, and then we have the wall that defends us from the wildlings. Have you met everyone? I have not met everyone. No, I have. I've met everyone now. Which means we're cranking out maximum culture. We're going to win 200 turns. Um, my hope is to bring that down a significant amount. We're making 150... There's 83 walls. On average, they're going to produce two tourism each. Up to four tourism each. Call it 3.5 tourism each. That's like a, yeah, a few hundred... Tur yeah, we should be good. Especially now that we're getting more monopolies online. 77% luxury resource m multipliers. Um, yeah, in a couple turns, a couple turns from now, we'll be. Oh, don't you worry, lads. We'll be cooking with diesel. And for f fame and for fortune. He didn't even put it in the right place. The feckless gone bean. Right, go on, head back over there then. Feckless rogue. Uh, actually, you know what I should be doing? I should be buying luxury resources, for sure, to boost up my happiness. And I should also be buying great works of writing. I forgot I haven't given my prime to anyone in a bit law. Just get all the great works we can. Boom. And then we should totally come back after flight to go pick up printing, maximize our tourism. Uh, I don't want that there. I do want that silver. I want that silver too. Fuck, I'm going to have to do a little bit of... I'm going to have to do a little bit of... You know. Get a, get a Crouching Tiger. A Crouching Tiger. A Crouching Tiger. I'm not even joking. Damn, I love Irish. Well, we love you too. Let me tell you that much. As a representative of the nation of Ireland, I would like to say that we love you too. You're more than welcome to come here and spend your money on our things. Find yourself a good time. But then go home. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <clears throat> we don't love you. No, no, no. I'm kidding about the go home part. Uh, or am I? Am I? I am. Samarkand. Cahokia? No. Samarkand would be nice. I would be nice to get a relationship with Samarkand because there's a lot of money in that. Boom. Shit, I need to get these guys too. Uh, I need envoys. Let's go ahead and have a little look around the culture tree. There's an envoy. Uh, there's an envoy here, an envoy here. An envoy here, an envoy here. 
Right. We'll pick up a few envoys over the next few turns. We'll start to build up relationships. Plus 20% growth, three housing in the city. Perfect. <clears throat> Did we get Apadana? No, we never built it. Um, it is a great wonder. But I just, I had other things to do. It's an opportunity cost thing, right? I could technically have built the Apadana, but it would have come at the cost of something else. I can't believe this started out as a tall game. I can't believe I had one city with no district built at turn 60, and now it's turn 148, and I have how many cities? City center, China. Does anyone remember turn 60 when I had one city? That was 80, that was, sorry, that was 90 turns ago. That is insane, the level of growth my empire has experienced. I'm on 17 cities right now. What the actual fuck? We, be, we, we do a little blobbing. I'm trying to think, what is the maximum amount of tourism that I can get out of this city? I'm probably already getting it. Builder. Builder. Rogan. Job's done. What, what religion do I have? I have Buddhism. Ooh, very nice. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, let's start getting our walls up. Ireland get a, get a special quest to chase the snakes out of their continent. Cool. They're all snakes, hun. And let me tell you, right? St. Patrick supposedly drove the snakes out of Ireland. But let me tell you. There's more snakes in this bleeding country than there ever has been. More bleeding snakes. Fucking cat swing a cat without hitting a snake. Bleeding snakes all over the place. Oh my OMG the walls is out of control. This is this is thumbnail worthy, I feel. Um if we do this, hold on. I'm pogging. You know, uh, I can even there's a way to zoom. Hold on. That we're taking hold alt. Z and C. Like we can even adjust the time of day. Look how cool that is. What a great screenshot mode. Like you could just like let me let me hold on. Let me just show you how cool this screenshot mode is, by the way. If you're like, ah, oh, dude, the lighting isn't good enough for my sh screenshot. Twirl, 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 twirl. twirl. You like twiddle it back and forth. You get the perfect shot. It's like, oh, I want the pyramids in this shot. Let me, let me rotate the camera a little. Oh, no fixed tilt. Let me just, you know, modify slightly. Yeah. Boom. I don't know. Screenshot mod. Very cool. What's the mod's name? Sucretax Simple UI Adjustments. The greatest mod in human history. No cap. God damn it. I, you know, no one asked. I can't believe I have such a huge empire. What happened this game? Why was I allowed? This is deity, right? I'm not crazy. It is. I don't know how I got such a big empire. Just, what the fuck? Get another builder. We need one. Yonkle. My name is Yonkle. I love to eat prongles. Why do I own Nagano? I don't want a city on the front line, oh. I'll get a crouching tiger to defend the city from the meager. We built a dam in here. We built a dam in here. We built a dam in here and I meant to put it there.
Aqueduct, industrial zone. Uh, Prangle, just got off work. Saw there was a stream going. Just how crazy is Yongle? <laughs> Yongle. Yongle. The good old Yongler. The Yongle bandit. Is completely broken. <laughs> it's just, it's, it's just, it's, it's busted, man. What do you, what do you want to do? Uh, excuse me? I fucked up. Why am I exploring with Isidore? You know what? Don't question it. Keep exploring, Isidore. I didn't mean to play. Why am I planting forests? I'm... Uh, the game has gone on too long. It's too late. I'm too tired. <clears throat> it's all gone crazy. Oh, I'm making 474 tourism per turn. <laughs> Jesus. 900 tourism per turn. I need more trade routes. For sure. <clears throat> It'll happen. Copium. Where are my trade routes? Why why am I low on trade? Need more trade. Need more trade. Um he's he said it's Yonglin time, and dude, let me tell you, when he said it was Yonglin time, he yongled. He yongled as hard as he could yongle. What gunpowder did the There's printing. Tourism above five hundred and twenty-four. Looking good. Uh takes you to Rapa Nui. Bong. Come back in here. Pop out Charismatic Leader. Pop in Diplomatic League. Bounce. Pop one Envoy into Nanmadob. It becomes two Envoys. Based. Now we just need to get three more Envoys in there. And we take it. An hour. Culture will be amazing. Leave her, Johnny. Leave her. Uh, we need to go for computers now for the 25% tourism across our empire. Once we have democracy, we'll go immediately towards environmentalism for another 25% tourism across our empire. And then we want social media for the 50% tourism output from civilization, which we have a trade route with. All beautiful, wonderful things that are coming our way. Uh, leave her, Johnny, leave her. Probably time that we got factories and coal power plants in Beijing, excuse me. Why is that a plus two? It's a plus two because I never built my aqueduct. That checks out actually. I do that all the time. How do I get more tourism? Probably with this holy site domination victory time nah we get a yongle artifact any yonglers I'm gonna yong ooh kaboom uh, you can't have a trade with everyone on turn 3 what? And the tourism is just buggered off to space. True, we are making, and we're over 529 tourism per turn. We're getting there, boys and girls. Um, why can't I repair the city? I want to repair my city. We broke his vanity of Nanmadol. We'll take it all when the time comes. Bum, bum, bum. I don't need expropriation. I could take it. I don't need it. I don't need skyscrapers. I don't need... Yeah, I don't need that. What'll I do? What to do? We're very much so ahead of time. Did Potato always stream full games on YouTube? Why did I just see this for the first time? Haven't done it in a while, but I used to do it quite regularly. But since I've had trouble with my voice and my lungs, I don't do it as often. Um, I can't believe that's only two amenities. I really have not built enough districts this game. But we are super high on amenities in the cities that matter, like Beijing with plus nine. Ooh, damn. 
Better than Merchant Confederation. Better than your mom. We got him. Uh, I'm out of places to build walls. Which is a little bit of a problem. Uh, I can buy a naturalist here, based. I want you to gain sources in this city. You are Yonglin, the Pronglin. He's Yonglin all over the enemy empire. You step here and shoot him. Come this way. Go to the next turn. We got access to that lovely, lovely silver. Do I have a silver monopoly now? No, there's one more. Ah, you might be dead. Let me do a little search for silver. Two results. So the third one is hidden, possibly up here. Uh, so we'll want to do an expeditionary force to deal with that. I'm trying to think what my best unit to do that with would be. Probably some sort of biplane. Mm. Crossbowmen are a little bit out of date. Most of my units are a little bit out of date because I just don't have the tech. Honestly, if I get crouching crouching tiger armies, it might be worth you know it might be explorable up there. Do 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 do. Oh, what happened here? My wall got messed up. Weird. I don't remember that. Teleport to Longshi. Boat. Are your lungs bad since meeting Deltos? Uh, my lungs have had trouble for the last year. Long before I met Deltos. I've had a very annoying persistent cough. And tickle in my throat. Alongside a few other things. <clears throat> Constantly having to clear my throat, all that sort of stuff. Talking to my doctor about like GERD, all sorts, all the u where the usual suspects are being investigated. Ba ba ba, ba ba ba. Yongle. Just send a warrior to convert all those barbs. Wait, wrong leader. True. Ooh, Moai. Moash. I like the name Moash. It's a good name. Might use it in a book. Long COVID, bad air. A little of column A, a little of column B. It could be going either way on that one. You never know. You never know what's causing your issues, do you? It's all, you know... You know, you, you think when you're young... It's like, oh yeah, we can always get like straight answers. Oh, this this is the issue that you're having. You're having an issue with, oh, you're you having trouble breathing, and coughing up. Um, that could be like about eight different things. It's not like, oh, like you see it on like, and the problem is, you know, those like uh, medical dramas. They're like, my patient has a mild cough, and he's like, oh my god, he's got complicated myocarditis with uh, complex pneumatic lupus and it's like oh my god he was able to predict that from a single symptom no most of the time you go to a doctor and they're like you've got this symptom you've probably got this and then you're like oh do we do we like test for that and he's like no <laughs> and then you leave <laughs> that's the whole interaction with the doctor <laughs> case in point <clears throat> Um. <coughs> <coughs> I haven't talked this long in a row for a long time. Uh, so I can definitely, I definitely feel like this is aggravating whatever I have. 
make the great park. So I'm going to talk a little bit less. And play a little bit more. I talked a lot, dude. We're all talked out. He could have what they call long COVID. It's possible. I gave your mom my long COVID. Oh, yeah. Oops. Drink more fluids, potato. I have literally drank my way through like three pints of water since I've sat down here uh, six hours ago. I think the human voice just wasn't really designed to talk for this long uh, in a row. Um, you know, most streamers, when they stream, they don't do it the way that I do. And that's not like a, I'm better than other streamers. It's more of just like a mechanical analysis. A lot of streamers, they'll kind of sit there and they'll chill and someone will say something in chat and they'll interact. Uh, or maybe they'll talk about the game, but they usually they have like quiet moments. I'm like... <clears throat> I'm like keeping up like an M&M &M level of pace for like six hours at a time. And so of course streaming will be a little bit harder on my voice. Uh, why does Younglei have 500 culture at turn 150? You know? It's a great question. Uh, you're going to have to rewatch the whole live stream again to figure that one out. Basically the Civ is busted. That's the short version of the, of the, the answer that you're seeking here. Culture bombs, adjacent tiles. I really don't want this one. How did I end up with it? When the fuck did I get this guy? The fuck? I don't want that. I want Leo. Wait. Did I do that? I don't want this one. I want that one. That one's better. You know what? Fuck you. No, I meant to delete him, not use his ability. God damn it. <clears throat> I failed at my fuck you. I just claimed him. I'm a dumbass. Again, we're getting to the point now where I can't really... <sighs> right, I'm going to start talking calmly. Um, we're getting to the point now where I can't really concentrate on the game very much. I'm just going through the motions of what I know will get me towards the end of the game. 39 turns until the victory. We Hopefully we can speed that up a little bit with a little bit of technology. Bang, he hit the city. That is a line infantry core. We'll have to slap him back. We do have radio now. I don't think radio... Uh, what mods do you have? I want to be able to see amenities and spies as well. Can you share it? Um, exclamation mark mods. Should have most of the mods I'm using. It hasn't been updated in a while, but... <clears throat> it should do most of the job you're looking for there. Um, right, pop over there. Let's grab... So I don't know what the situation is over here. Can I get something like a frigate? Could I buy? Uh, let me sell off some stuff here. Boom. Sold. Buy a few of your great works. What I really want to buy is some niter. I'll buy that niter. Then I'll come back up to Girong and I'll buy a frigate. Now. Crouching Tiger in my capital should be done. I'm going to go ahead and get myself another satellite descent to the north. Crouching Tiger. Crouching Tiger. Couple Crouching Tigers to head up that way. Potato. Fails. Your fails being better than my successes. It's true. I'm just built different. Unstoppable. Unemotional. Killing machine. Delete that guy. Is this marathon speed? No, this is... um. This is normal speed. I know it looks like marathon speed. Um, why did I? No, it doesn't. I don't know why I said that. My brain just. Auto, my, I'm auto filling sentences right now. Hey, Lightswarm, how's it going, man? Wait a minute. Do I know the name Lightswarm? Lightswarm, did you play a game called Nuclear Dawn? It has been demonstrated that 
Are you on my friends list on Steam? No. Maybe I'm thinking of Lightwolf. Right, let's so no longer build walls faster. Let's take plus one movement. I didn't, but I used to donate a lot. Hey, thank you, Light Swarm. I recognize your name from somewhere. It's good to see you again. Potato, you should use the mod that buffs mountains. A mountain is fine too. Um, I Generally, I try to avoid using mods that change the gameplay of the game. Generally. Um, because I want the experience that I have to be as relatable to the person watching as possible. If I don't watch the video, your voice is ASMR just enough for me to visualize what's happening, but soothing enough to fall asleep too. Based. Thank you. Um, uh, the thing is, and I don't know how true this is for other streamers, because I, I, I kind of live in my own little bubble here. Um... I kind of feel that way about some other content creators. Like, there's people I watch and I listen to and I go to sleep listening to their videos. So it doesn't really irk me when people say stuff like that. Because I'm like, dude, same. <laughs> you know? It's nearly 2 a.m., to be fair. That's true. But I, now maybe this is me, like, extrapolating something that doesn't really happen. But I feel like there would be people who would be like, that's weird. I find, I find that maybe this could just be based on the environment I grew up in. Um, like Irish culture is very... Um, if you're a non-conformist in Irish culture, you are a target, basically. If you do anything that so much as expresses an ounce of individuality, um, you're a target. Um, sad to say. Um, the classic story being uh, that time a woman wore a red beret down the street and a guy called her Super Mario. Just these sorts of things. Um, but what, what, I can't remember what the point of what I was saying was. Oh yeah, that like... My social calibration of what's like... ooh. It's kind of weird that you said that. It's like completely off skew because I spent my time, I spent a lot of time around people who would say that about completely normal things. Like, you know, people would be like, oh, I, you know, I listened to Megadeth and like, fucking smelly rocker. What's wrong with you? You know, stuff like that. Um, I'm sorry to hear that, to be honest. I don't think it has a negative effect on you. It's just more so that it shapes your worldview in a way that you have to be self-aware of. Um, I think, though, it's not good for Irish people. I think it leads to a lot of, like, weird repression. Um, we seem to be getting over it, though. It's not as prevalent as it used to be. I, I take that back. There's a concept in Ireland called notions. And notions are when you start doing anything that makes you stand out or look like you have an opinion about yourself. Like, if you... And here's the thing. If you start trying to dress better or start, start trying to, like, better yourself compared to your peers, they have, like, fucking notions on him. He thinks he's better than us. Thinks he's better than us. Going to school, waltzing around in a suit, that kind of thing. Um, surprisingly common. I don't know how common it is in other areas, but like, pe people seem to want to drag you down a lot here, and uh, it's just it's no crack. Do you know what I mean? It's like there's no crack in it. There's no fu uh, uh, crack means fun. It's just a lot of miserable miserable and like you're you're supposed to find it funny but i'm just like you're just being a mean dick <laughs> you know like you're just being an asshole. i don't know we're just spitballing here by sh um people are very chatty and gossipy i just i have no fucking time for it 
I just I have no fucking time I'd rather be playing Civ than sitting here and about whose sister did what with which fella and this that and the other I just fucking Jesus Christ drag me to hell when that when those conversations start happening just get me out get me the fuck out eject me from reality sounds toxic for a lack of a better term mm, probably is then again it's entirely possible that my experience of it does not mirror how most Irish people experience it maybe they do genuinely are like yeah this is actually this is fucking great crack everything oh, all of it is great banter we call it poppy syndrome here in Australia people pull those down those improving themselves or doing things out of the norm yeah oh for sure I don't know I think I think being around it has just led to me just not really telling people about me I just do my own thing and that works for me like for years someone would ask me oh what do you do and I was like ah oh, you know <laughs> that's a whole sentence in Ireland by the way ah oh, you know <laughs> in other words I'm not answering your question sure you know yourself um, I don't know I, maybe maybe it was the people I spent time around people who like if somebody did something it was talked about right if somebody chatted up a girl and the girl rejected him that was talked about like it was a major fucking event oh my god did you see Connor Connor chatting up your one and he sent a picture of himself shirtless oh my god did you see the picture and then the picture gets shirt and I'm like this is just fucking mean <laughs> like you guys are just being cunts <laughs> she's just, just arseholes I don't know that sort of shite just no time for it couldn't give a fuck man's shooting his shot the only thing wrong he did was he did it poorly <laughs> poor fucking Connor Connor's a hypothetical person not a real person what about Seamus Finnegan the other day yeah, he's a right arsehole Don't fucking talk to me about him how many turns for the win not many I'm not telling uh, oh there's anything too personal exactly how I deal with the two I just answered ah the usual busy life shrugs yeah based but it's annoying because I actually like if I really think about it it would be it's you know when you connect with someone and you have the absolute fucking lark telling each other about yourselves and you have a great time you're learning about them they're learning about you it's like I don't know call it like first date syndrome or whatever but there's people I've known years I would have more crack on that level with a complete stranger than some of the people I've known years just because I know some of them and now I'm not like pointing out anyone in particular these are people I haven't seen in donkey's years um, they're all making fun of each other behind their backs and it's like well I guess like I'm not telling you anything about myself it's like I don't want you talking shit about me do you know what I mean it's just that sort of a thing I don't know now granted it happens a lot less or at least I experience it a lot less A because I distance myself from the people who I'm talking about but also B I think people just grow up as well a bit but it's quite nice to be the last to know about things like sometimes you know something will happen oh like XYZ had a big problem and I'm just like great uh, that problem is ongoing I'm doing my own thing doing YouTube having a great time uh, and I'll like learn about it like weeks potentially months later and I'm like oh Jesus sorry to hear that like it's nice in the sense that I'm not like I'll hear vague allusions to it like oh my god I'll hear someone like I'll hear you know oh someone's talking about XYZ person but I don't ever prod far enough to actually get the story because I just don't care 
<clears throat> Some of it is just natural. People want to know what happened. They're supposed to behave. True. I think a certain amount of gossip is fine. Like having a little chat about people. Be like, it's a bit weird. What you know? It's a bit weird what Tony did. Like Stephen. Hmm, Stephen never really does this thing. He's yeah. Stephen's a bit. Stephen's a bit mad. Like I don't know about him now. That sort of stuff fairly normal like we all do that kind of a thing but i think the thing that really got me was it was when people would do that kind of thing to people who i thought they were friends with that fucked with me a little bit i was like you guys hang out like every day and you're talking wild shit about your friend i don't know i don't know i don't know That's Simon Bloke. True. Simon's a good lad. Um, he showed me his um, collection of memes via the Yogg stream. Had a great time. I didn't really get to chat with him. Um, he made me laugh a few times in the group conversations. Uh, had a great time. Didn't really get to chat with him like on a like anything resembling a one to one. I made like a couple of comments, but I, I you know. I don't think I made him laugh. I'm like, it's fair enough. The thing is, you have to also accept when you're in a social situation like that, where you're meeting so many different people, you're not going to be mates with everyone and nor should you try to be because it'll make you look weird. Um, so like, I was courteous and polite to everyone that I could be. I tried to introduce myself as much as possible. I tried not to make waves. I was asking questions. I was like, you know, trying to be, I was trying to integrate carefully, you know, you because you got to kind of sit back and pay attention to what people are doing a little bit in those types of situations but you also can't be too passive so i don't know just do my best to be my best self i think it went okay honestly two months from now i won't remember it i'll be thinking about something else all right potato got a crush yeah your mom um well this is gonna be so this is something i realized is that oh by the way we got um we got computers so we have 25 percent extra tourism we're making 800 tourism per turn so things are going amazingly well we're up to 113 tourists at 266 we're currently on 105 percent boost from luxury resources we definitely need to get more traders um so that needs to kind of fall into priority here um something i realized is attractive social people are in relationships okay listen a lot of people out there that are single right now they're not going to be happy that we hear this there's there's two types of people that are in relationships the people i'm attracted to <laughs> <laughs> and people who are miserable um so the very qualities that make someone like I, it, so, it sounds so simple but until i like said it out loud I didn't actually integrate the concept, but people who are attractive are not just attractive to you. Your attraction to them is not special, right? It took me it took me a while to learn this. I know it sounds so basic, and so simple, but believe me, I'm a very dumb man. Um, and the qualities that make you attracted to them also make other people attracted to them. And the qualities that make them attracted to other people also make those people good friends so very likely the people you're attracted to are probably going to be dating someone like because why wouldn't they be um high i hate to use the word high quality because it sounds like i'm talking like oh the sexual marketplace of dating blah, 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 all this sort of shit but like high value people social outgoing attractive all these things they're probably in relationships so like when you meet someone new um they're and you're like oh i'm attracted to them the odds are they're probably in a relationship this is just something i've noticed um and if they get out of a relationship because they're attractive social and well connected they're probably going to be in another relationship pretty quick like not immediately but like they've got buyers do you know what i mean social and outgoing people are weird true i think everyone is social and outgoing i actually 
I who I think it's very rare for someone to be not social and outgoing. I think what often happens is people who are social and outgoing get discouraged in some way and end up less social and outgoing than they should be, quote unquote should be. Like that would suit their personality. And that it becomes really comfortable and easy in our society to become like slightly ag agoraphobic. Like it's easy just to, to not socialize. Dating events or dating apps are super helpful tools for that. No. Um, yes, they are. But everything comes at a cost and engaging with online dating comes with a cost. And it's usually just like no one cares enough to actually do it. Uh, one turn two, four, seven with the spy girl. She's not bad. When I became disabled, I chose to discontinue relationships. I have other priorities. It's been 20 years now, but I know I could land a bird anytime I chose to participate. Man is a military. How are you disabled, if I may ask? If that's too personal of a question, you don't have to answer it. We're just talking shit, by the way, because we're this is the churn. We're trying to get to the end of the game. So we're just talking off the top of our head. Did you beat the game already? No. I'm telling you, Potato. What if you're attracted to ugly people and you're attracted to someone who think they're, they're hot, but no, your type is ugly. Is that flattering or insulting? Okay, let me just fucking zoom in on this sentence here. Okay. <clears throat> All right, hang on. I need, I need to reread this. What if you're attracted... What if you're attracted to ugly people and you're attracted to someone who you think they're hot, but they know your type is ugly? Is that flattering or insulting? <laughs> Dude, you missed like three words in this fucking sentence. No, they think they're hot. Oh, what if you're attracted to ugly people? Oh, and you're attracted to someone who thinks they're hot, but they know your type is ugly. Is that flattering or insulting? Oh, shit. Hold on, I need to do... Okay, so... Me? Wait, paint. Me like ugly. They ugly. They think hot. They think, they th think hot. This one's a bit of a question mark. They know me like ugly. Compliment? Fuck, I don't know. That's actually a really hard question. I like ugly people. They are ugly. They think they're hot, but they know I like ugly people. Shit. They would either think... He doesn't really like ugly people. He's probably attracted... To, he's just attracted to me because I'm hot. Or... You would shake the foundations of their reality. It's like, wait, am I actually ugly? Oh, no. That's my thoughts. I don't know. <clears throat> it's hard to say. Speaking of attraction, I often find myself being um, attracted to non-conventionally attractive people. Does that make sense? I don't want to... It's like you wouldn't see them on the front cover of a magazine sort of a thing. I don't know what it is. Um, and this has like been super consistent in my life. Uh, the most attractive people to me usually have like some sort of like mildly obvious thing that makes them non-conventionally attractive. So like an example of this would be uh, tomboy girls. Not considered conventionally attractive. I'm into it. Uh, 
trying to think of another example. Girls with like slightly large noses. I'm into it. Look at the coupe colony at the South Pole. Uh, I don't know. I like people that don't fit the mold. <laughs> Maybe it's resentment. Yeah, I just, I just look at those like conventionally attractive people. I'm like, you fucker. How dare you? Do you like Cleo? Um, Cleo. I've never really attracted to animated things. Um, the eyes make me uncomfortable, so no. My first girlfriend was a bit of a tomboy. I think that's how I got my preference. Let me tell you, buddy. That preference was there all along. <laughs> you just found it sooner than you should have. Okay, there is silver over here. Okay, we're, we're, we're floundering. We need to get back on track. You would whine and dine Cleo. Let's not get weird about it. I think it's okay to talk about how attractive someone is. But I think when we start talking about specific acts, I think that's when we get weird. Are you not? You haven't gone into the weird territory yet, but I'm going to say we shouldn't go beyond that. Nor should we name specific real people. Unless it's your mom. <laughs> we fucking got him, boy. <laughs> In my opinion, the people that try too hard to be attractive are less attractive. Um, I kind of get what you mean by this. But the reality is, it just comes down to how good they are at it. <clears throat> it, it, just, that's, it just comes down to how good they are at it. Of trying without trying. The talk hasn't gone to sex yet, at least. I think that would be a topic I would prefer to avoid. Um, it's not. Listen, I'll put it this way, okay? When you're CSGO Ultra Elite, you don't want to talk to LeBron's League, okay? That's how we're going to, right? Me and your mom, we're hitting like 6K MMR. Um, no, 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 it's just like, it's not a topic that I want to introduce into my content, essentially. Uh, is Civ 6 the only Civ game where two different computers with each other? Um, reform the coinage would be good. I do want to do international trade. Heartbeat of Steam. I don't really have campuses. Hicks of Dracones. I think I'm going to go for reform the coinage. Let's get some trade routes up. I'm severely lacking in trade. Uh, we got an archaeologist. <coughs> Shoot, you know what I need to do? This is how you know I'm, I'm bad at the game. I don't have open borders with every player yet. She knows. She knows. And I know she knows, yeah. I know she knows, yeah. Dude, I wish we could listen to music. On YouTube. YouTube, please. Introduce YouTube music. Like, I will pay one cent per viewer per song. Or something. Fuck, that's actually a lot of money. Never mind. I would pay tenth of a cent <laughs> per song <laughs> per viewer. If you would just let me play music while I stream. I know Spotify does like billions of a penny or some bullshit, right? Get me in the music. Just use copyright free, free music. <laughs> but it's not my favorite thing. <laughs> it's not the it's not my favorite. <laughs> it's not the one I want to listen to. I want to listen to the good music. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> Only play music on Twitch. <clears throat> I could actually do that. I could pipe it through. I think. <laughs> I don't know why I have a spy. Askers? I want to steal money. 640 gold. Ooh, 1,200 from Eritrea. Favorite music? Uh, we had a conversation about music earlier. I engage with music in a very different way to most people. 
uh, I find one song that I really like from one band and then I play that song over and over until I know every single piece of that song inside and out. Um, and I use songs as a tool to feel emotions. If I want to feel good, I play music that makes me feel good. Oh, fuck, he's dead. Rip. Um, if I'm feeling bad, I play music that aligns with my feelings. Uh, you cannot lay claim to history. Get fucked. Play any instruments? I barely played bass fucking donkeys years ago, but I was never any good. Nor did I care to develop the skill because Young Potato didn't have the capability of sitting and doing something for six hours at a time, um, unless it was gaming. You probably see where this is going and how I became a YouTuber. For some reason, this just is the thing. Brings me peace and love and happiness, potentially. Who knows? The world is my oyster. Three first groups that come to your mind. Uh, Megadeth. Not Maroon 5. Don't say that one. That's not who I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of a completely different band who play that song. No one's gonna take me alive. Muse. Uh, Muse. And so Megadeth Muse and... For some reason, Blackstone Cherry, but I don't actually listen to them very often. I don't know why that's in my head. I don't listen to Blackstone Cherry, but they're in there. Because I like that one song that they do. It's like, big train rolling down the line. Make me lonely. Sometimes I want to run away. That one. It's a good song. Uh... New Muse album was something. <laughs> Look at this guy listening to albums, dude. I listen to the same three Muse songs that I've listened to for five years. Sorry, 15 years. Okay. <clears throat> it's Knights of Sidonia. Oh, Franz Ferdinand. That's the third band that comes to mind. Uh, Knights of Sidonia. Uh, Supermassive Black Hole. And that other one that I don't remember. I have literally never heard. I probably have heard other Muse songs. What? They don't exist. Listen, Muse have other songs. Don't shit on the homie. Albums are tight. I'm sure they are. I'm sure. I, you know what, man? I'm sure some people. No, you know what? I'm not going to go that spicy. I'm not going <clears> to. <throat> I'm sure. Yep. Yeah, I'm sure. You know, different strokes for different folks. I'm not going to be mean about it. Uh, full take. No, I'm retracting my. I'm preemptively retracting my spicy take that I was about to give. I'm, you know. Full take, send it. No. We're retracting. Okay? It's in a box. It's sealed. <laughs> We're... Stop talking about it. Alright? Bands getting handed out soon. <clears throat> I see... Deep in my soul, I have a need to be edgy. Deep in there. But... I know it's real good for business to be just very lightly edgy. So every now and again, I'll be sitting here and somebody will say something to me in chat, whatever. And out of the depths of that part of me, the most edgy thing. Do you like the saw doctor's potato? What? Uh, the most edgy thing that I can think of will come out. And I'll just be like, I can't say that out loud. <laughs> I can say that offline. Um, but when you're trying to cultivate a personality online that is, you know, even moderately marketable, <clears throat> you kind of have to, you have to bite the tongue just every now and again. You take that spicy joke and you tell it in the pub to people who care. <clears throat> I, Morbus is a great outlet for my extremely spicy jokes. When I have a spicy, like, listen, we all have dark humor, okay? I, I grew up on the internet in the fucking 90s and 2000s, okay? What do you think I find funny? We were on Rotten.com before we could do Algebra. Do you like Diarrhea Planet? Never heard of it. Um, can you say it in your non-YouTube voice? That's a good question. I don't even know if I can say anything in my non-YouTube voice anymore. <clears throat> 
I don't even know what my real voice sounds like. This isn't even it. This is like still a dressed up version of it. <clears throat> Especially because I've got that tickle in my throat. Just like your mom did. See? Um, I think we take the intelligence agents here. What's your tier list for Chinese leaders? Um, it's it's Young Youngla S tier, Unifier Chin Shi Huang A tier, maybe Chin Shui Ha Hua, go, the other one A tier. Um, Wu Zeshan like C, and Kublai Khan, and maybe B tier. You request mobile blah 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 Did you learn Gaelic in high school? I went to a Catholic school and I had to take a class on it. So we didn't learn... We never called it Gaelic. But it's what you might call Gaelic. It was Irish, also known as Gaelga, Which I think is a Gaelic or Gaelic language. Or Godelic, maybe. I don't remember. There's a word for it anyway. And yes, I learned Irish. I can read it a lot better than I can speak it. Which goes to show you how fucking well they taught us. Which is not very fucking well at all, might I add. Um, yeah, I can I can read it quite well. I can't, for the life of me, hourly, cannot hear the language. I can read it. I can say the words. I can pronounce them. Um, but if I had to listen to an Irish speaker actually talk, not a chance. Big number go burr. Yeah, we're up to 800 tourism per turn. 32 turns until we win, so we're getting pretty close there. Godelic. Godelic language. That's it. Thanks, James. Do you know if Morbus failed garlic? I mean, Morbus doesn't cook. He eats turkey dinosaurs and pizza rolls. Um, what happened to going tall? Don't worry about it. I never learned... Any in Scotland, but it was a while ago I was in school. You you would probably be able to recall a lot of it if you sat down and really had a little bit of a think thinky bear about it. No war equal tall. I mean look, we we did a tall build and then there was just so much land available. Why wouldn't we take the free land? It's free real estate. To speak with an Irish accent, just say whale oil beef cooked. Whale oil beef cooked. I see. Very clever. I like that. That was good. I liked that one. That was that was clever. The map looks tall. True. My empire is taller than it is wide. <laughs> can we get a ruler? Can we get a <laughs> can we get a a moderator ruling on this? <laughs> Oh, fuck's sake. Give me that tile. Give me that tile. Give me that. Give me that. When your English bud calls Ding Dong Ditch. We used to call them knickknacks, I think. You do a knickknack on someone. Ah oh, fuck! I just remembered one of the funniest ones I ever did. Okay, I need—I actually need to draw this to show you. Um, fuck me! It was so good. Okay, so there's a house, right? I'm gonna do you some orthographic, right? So this is the house from the top. I need straight lines to do orthographic. Okay, the house from the top. Fuck give me here, right? Um, so. Fuck's sake, give me uh where's the line tool? There we go. Right, so we have a house. No, oh, be straight, thank you. And the house kind of goes like this, and then it comes out just a smidge. And then it comes out like this. Right. So you're looking you're looking at the top down. That's what the house looks like. It had a little garden, right? Now the front door of this house was here. Right there. So this is the front door, okay? Now, 
This door had like one of those old traditional knockers on it. The ones with like the little loop and it loops down. And this thing, this part is like hinged and you click it and it knock, knock, knock. You can knock it, okay? Had like one of those traditional like knock, knock, knockers on it. I fucking tied a piece of string around this, okay? Now keep in mind, there's about 10 of my friends out on a field somewhere this way watching as I do this. I am standing here with a piece of fucking string tied to this knocker. <laughs> Puns is pulling on it. I, th- I don't know if they ever opened the door because I couldn't see it. But my mates were fucking crying laughing from what I remember. God, this was like, we're talking God knows how many years ago. Um, it was a good, those were good times. Uh, and that was the only time I ever did a uh, ding dong ditch wibbly wobbly. Um, I never got to see what happened because I was just I was pulling the string um, to make the the door knocker go. Good times. They were the best of times. They were the blurst of times. Imagine having mates. True. In the time before cell phones, true. If I had a cell phone in my pocket, oh my God, someone would have been ringing it and ratting me out, letting them know where I was. I was hiding. But they, they what, I think what, what was happening was they were coming out of their house, right? Laughing at you, Pepe laughed, probably. But, peop- but I think what was happening was they were coming out of the house, seeing all the kids standing across the road, l- like looking at them. And they were like, fucking... They're doing the ding dong ditch, whatever. And uh, thinking that your man who'd knocked on the door had already ran off when in reality I was standing in his garden just hidden from view, pulling the doorknob. I don't know. That also that could also be an invented memory because that shit was like 20 years ago. Um, so that, that could just actually be made up in my psyche. Maybe something similar-ish happened but nothing of note actually went on. You know, the thing is, when it happened, it was so real and visceral. But as I like think back as the universal time snake that I am occupying multiple, you know, dimensions of time, I fucking barely remember that. I just remember it was really funny to me at the time. <clears throat> Mary, get me bear on. Being drunk with your mate. Uh, we were, I'm pretty sure we were stone cold sober back then. It wasn't a drink to be had. We were all like 14, 12. And start drinking and smoking until I was nearly 15. And then all bets were off, let me tell you. How do I get more tourism? I don't know. I think the best thing to do is just to smash the end turn button here. Just like I smashed your ma. Don't say it. Uh... What about rock bands? I don't have the faith generation to make rock bands work here. I can maybe get a few. Um, national parks and stuff. But beyond that, I don't think much has happened on that front. Ugh. More theater districts. I think, look, we're generating so much tourism. The thing that we've got to wait for is environmentalism, which is four turns from now. Once we have environmentalism, things should rally along nicely. Um, just go to sleep. I'm going to start putting some units to sleep if I don't care about them. Bing bong. Bing bong. They should add an earlier culture unit like in Civ. What do you mean? Earlier culture unit? Pravis, I thought rock and roll was incompatible with faith. Let me introduce you, my friend, to the glory that is Christian rock. Our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, is headbanging in heaven right now. Why do you think he had the long hair, dude? Jesus was a rocker. Build me a spy and then a builder. Who 
who am I sending you to? Go, go. 22 turns. Look at the amount of... Look at the yield difference here, man. I'm actually just so good at the game. So who do I have tourism activations with? I have a tourism activation with Tokugawa. I want one with Coupe. I really want one with Greece. And that might require... Can we have peace, mate? Thanks. I forgot I was at war with her. That's probably a bit of a problem. All right. Uh, one little tip that you know is the turn after you declare... Like you declare... The, the turn that you declare peace with someone, they don't have enough time to denounce you, so they will accept open borders. So you can get a quick open borders before they declare war on you again. Um, and they can't embargo your trade. So get, a tr get, get open borders with someone the turn you... De you uh, declare peace so that you can get the 25% tourism bonus against them. It's funny to see the numbers change with the stream. Peaked at about 700 on Twitch. Now we're down to 350. I mean, people drop off. It's late. If I'd started a little bit earlier, um, people might have hung around more. I'd say most of my audience is American. Um, put an E in chat if you're, Europe, if you're in Europe, European time zones. Put an A if you're in like Persia, and east more eastern than Persia time zones, and then put a uh, USA if you're from anywhere North America, South America. I'm sorry if you're Brazilian and you have to type USA. It, it's just really funny if people do that. Holy shit! There's a lot of people from Europe here. What day is today? Go to bed, losers. That's a lot of USAs. Mexico. I'm doing work. I have to finish by 9 a.m. So I'm not sleeping tonight. Good man, Jen. Burning that midnight oil. How's it going, Christian Hutch? A lot of USAs in chat. Good job, lads. Now, here's a fun game. Everybody type their age in chat unless you're under 18. Do not type your age in chat if you're under 18. I'm going to count down from 10 and I want everyone to put their age in. We'll do a, we'll do a poll. Wait, you guys, are, you guys are going too quick. Wait, wait, we got to save them up. Oh my God. Okay, there's a few people that are 40. I'm seeing a lot of 19s and 20s. Thirty-five. Forty-eight. Pro, can you calm down, okay? You've wrote like five ages. One of them was like four. One of them was like one. We get it, dude. Somebody tells you to do something and you're like, oh, it's going to be really funny if I do the total opposite of what they said. Yeah, you're, you're very funny, pro. We're all laughing with you, not at. Ask gender. Uh, sure. I'm gonna count down from nah. No, now now we're just now we're just doing ASL, and you know what? I'm not about that life. I I leave the line at age. Okay, ASL. Fuck me. That brings me back to the '90s. Loading up a chat room and someone being like ASL, and I'm I'm like eleven, male. Ireland and then immediately getting booted from the chat room <laughs> uh, you learned to lie about your age real quick on the internet back then like yeah guys I'm definitely 18 uh -huh. yeah I like drinking too definitely What is ASL? ASL is like an old online messaging thing. It 
basically, it was like <laughs> people on the internet are both extremely horny and extremely lazy. So it was meant to be an extremely quick way to find out if the person you were talking about was A, of a similar age to you, age, of a gender you were attracted to, and L, within like physical distance of that maybe there was a possibility that you guys could meet. Um, now, it wasn't only that. Some people did it just because it was like, it's, it was like a good opener. It's like, oh, I'm 19, I'm a man, and I'm from Ireland. And they're like, oh, you're from Ireland? Cool. So pe people would like pick one of the three things to like latch on to and have a conversation with you about. Um, but by and large, you know, it was people just being horny on the internet. That's, you know. It's like that one dude, I saw a TikTok. Dude like gamified getting dates. He like made a robot that like trolled um, moderately popular like women on Instagram in his city and like compiled a list of them and sent every single one of them an opener <laughs> to see if he could get a date from Instagram. I was like, dude, just go talk to a human, okay? <laughs> You're spending your time on this. <clears throat> I, I can't remember the exact story, but he basically he basically he's basically like using machine learning as a dating hack, which is like funny content, but also at the same time, I think it sends the wrong message. Man's casting a wide net. That's just that is like every single comment on his video is just like exactly that comment, Travis. You have en encapsulated every single thing that someone said. It was like, bro figured out the code. Dude's cast in a wide net. You just fucking... You nailed it perfectly. Good job. Alright, so we just got environmental... Um, I, I, my, I completely failed at saying that word there. I'm going to take that out. Environ... Environ... In, I can't say it. I can't say it environmentalism okay we got there we got there in the end okay <laughs> crisis averted <clears throat> ew gross what's gross sorry um take your time but just shut up guys environmentalism so they're making a thousand tourism per turn let's say nu nuclear nuclear <laughs> fuck's sake 18 turns until we win we're good we're good to go um, <clears throat> environmentalism ooh like that one dude the mentalist is that what it's like he's a mentalist he does like tricks like magic what's he called you know like uh, Darren Brown he's he's an environmentalist because you know he does magic no okay I'm here all night guys I'm I'm not really. The second this game is done, I'm I'm Audi. Like an Audi five thousand. On environmentalist. Plus one, minus two. That's what I'm, like whenever I watch a Northern Line video, I love it when he makes a joke and he sits for like maybe five seconds and watches chat and like tabulates in his head how good a joke was, like the plus one, minus two. I love that bit about his videos. Uh, Potato, how do you keep Civ entertaining to yourself after five plus years of continuously playing it? Um, I open up my banking app. <laughs> I look in there. And then I load up Civ. Let's <laughs> steal. Plus one production on Lumber Mills. Eiffel Tower. Uh, I don't know. I think the thing is, the hard part about playing Civ is loading up a game and getting into a game. Once you're in a game, dude, you're in the swing of it. You're having a good time. And the way that it works, it's so Moorish. You want to play another one. It's like, oh, man, if, if that game had gone slightly different, there's always a new angle that you can explore. And it's a big enough game that you can kind of forget if you've done something before. So, uh, 
Uh, do you think you may ever branch out to other types of games than 4X? I mean, I play all sorts of games in my own time. The problem that I run into is how do I make those games interesting for my audience to watch? Because I essentially just do Let's Plays like it's 2010. Because I was like, that's what I watched. And I was like, I want to be a Let's Player. That's what I want to do. So I I do Let's Plays. But I had to learn how the market of YouTube works. How to edit. How to, like, how do I make my videos interesting through editing? How do I market my videos in, with interesting thumbnails and titles? All this sort of stuff, right? But essentially, I just do Let's Plays. And I mean, eventually, I will be supplanted on Civ because I'm not the best entertainer in the Civ space. And there's some YouTubers coming up that like Ursa Ryan, Boastius, all these kind of people, they could potentially surpass me one day. Now, there is some advantage, like there's some home field advantage in that I'm the most established, I'm the most person who can theoretically invest the most time into it because it's a full-time job. Um, but there are some disadvantages, right? I'm entrenched. I'm old. I need to learn to adapt. Um, I'm old hat, you know, all that stuff. You are more entertaining, hopefully, for, for my sake. Uh, I saw your tweet about AoE 4. AoE, Age of Empires 4? What a great game, by the way. Um, genuinely, Age of Empires 4. Are, are you talking about Age of Wonders 4? Age of Wonders 4 is going to be great. I'm really excited for that. They they knock it out of the park with every game they make. What the fuck am I doing with my life? What do I, just, what do I do? The city is 20 population big. Build a neighborhood, my guy. Okay. Uh, do you not consider yourself an intrinsically entertaining person compared to others? Uh, I find myself very interesting. Sometimes, this is going to sound really narcissistic, but sometimes I'm just editing my videos and I sit there and I watch them like they're a YouTube video. And then when I feel like I have a really good video, <clears throat> like it's, it's just a let's play. I like watch it during the edit and I'll watch it. I'll upload it to YouTube and I'll watch it on YouTube. Like start to finish. If I really like the video. So I just, I just, I just think I'm awesome to be honest with you. I, I have to kind of chill out on that sometimes. Because <laughs> I'm like, listen guys, you know me I'm fucking great um, I, you have to almost insert a little bit of humility there um, Paradigm Shift for which streamer has the largest audience when Civ 7 eventually arrives I think there there's home field advantage in that as long as I'm reasonably good at developing content I will maintain my current position but over the course of Civilization 7 new skilled people will enter into the market who will probably overtake me. Uh, Ursa is so wholesome. I, I don't really watch too many of his videos. I don't watch too many of Bose's videos either. Because when I'm done playing Civ, I'm watching other stuff. I'm watching Splattercat. I'm watching um, Ozzy Drongo, AOE, Age of Empires 4. Great game, by the way, Age of Empires 4. I genuinely thought that Relic were going to completely shit the bed with Age of Empires 4 but to be honest with you they knocked it out of the park I've got egg on my face there is egg on my face oh she has music censorship that's fine potato potato Minecraft server and you're rocketing the 10 mil here's the thing that I find frustrating about myself and this is why I'm going to get uh, tested for ADHD is I genuinely believe that I could be like a multi-million like subscriber YouTuber if only I didn't have the executive function of like a five-year-old who doesn't want to put his shoes on. If I could figure out how to like get what's in my head into actual like content and work, oh my God, I could probably take over my dude. But the executive function, this function, is, uh, is standing in my way. So you're saying we should bury him? Probably. Sports do um, build. Now, let me scale that back a little bit. That's how I feel about myself. Realistically, if you were to ask me, use your, use your logic brain potato, I'd be like, yeah, I could probably hit a million subs with good content. I could probably manage a company of a few small people. You know, I think I could do all that pretty reasonably. Um, but right now, it's kind of out of my reach, partially, mostly just due to executive function issues. Explains why my wife says potato every time. Hey, listen. Once they go spud, they don't go bud. You need a manager? Bro. Sign me the fuck up for a manager. Oh. 
I'm yawning. Ooh, I'm yawning. You should get some sleep, my guy. I'm good. There's work to be done. The people need closure. Okay? You don't you don't understand the art of what I do if you tell me to go to bed. Okay? I'm here to give the people what they want. I am in it. I am committed to the task. If I go to bed, I'll never finish this game. You don't understand the per the kind of person you're dealing with here. Um, I have to get things done in one day. I it is physically impossible for me to do a project in more than one day. You you just don't understand. You you'll one day I might be able to explain this to someone. Um, but it's like if I do a task and I don't finish it, the next day when I go to finish it. It's like seeing an ex-girlfriend at a party. It's like, ugh, Jesus Christ. Do everything in my life I can to avoid that. Like, not just any ex-girlfriend, but like your first love who like cheated on you with like Dwayne. You know, you're like, ugh, I don't want to, Jesus Christ, I don't want to see her at all. Fuck Dwayne, by the way. Not The Rock, The Rock is cool. The Rock has always been cool in my books. Man, I used to love wrestling. I need to get back into wrestling, I feel like. You have ex-girlfriends? <laughs> Not if they don't find the butt. No. <clears throat> Too edgy of a joke, okay? Uh, yeah, I have, I have some ex-girlfriends. Excuse me, what? <laughs> Hey, FBI. <laughs> Listen, this is what I'm talking about. See, I'm getting tired now. And the edgy, the slightly edgy jokes are coming out. <clears throat> uh huh. Boom, 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 boom. Are you the wife? I've got ADD. I've got ADD. I can't even read that fucking sentence, dude. Um. Uh, my visual cortex is beginning to shut down, which is good timing because we're about to win the game. Um, yeah. Hopefully this was a masterclass and how to play Civ without actually talking about it whatsoever. <laughs> so it's probably one to two turns. I'm just going to shift enter. Sleep deprived content equals best content. Yeah. I actually... God, I haven't felt this normal. Unhappy in months just sitting here live streaming god i fucking love live streaming so much dude it's so much fun show the victory panel we won this is you being normal hell yeah dude uh to play civ press the good buttons listen before we end the game i need just one twitch prime Seven hours, holy. You're goddamn right. And I talked for almost that entire time. I, I've earned myself a few primes, okay? If you go beneath the video, there's a button there that says subscribe. To the right of that, it should say join. You can become a member of my channel. There we go. There's Twitch primes. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. I feel like I've earned them. <clears throat> Holding the game to hostage. I don't know what I would have done if nobody subbed. <laughs> What the fuck would I do? It's like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sit here and not end the game. I want to go to bed. Uh, I would give it to you, but I've already given my Bezo books to a smaller streamer. Based, give your Bezo books to smaller streamers too. Um, buildings constructed, Yongle, Yongle. Look at this fucking Yongling, dude. It's turn 138, and we out Yongled the AI. What? The dude, 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 look at this. This is when my city hit 10 population, by the way. You can see that. Hey, Gingy. I don't know why my sheet isn't posting, but take my money's fool. Thank you so much. Chef Co, Lonely Maui, your history teacher X, BP, WW Whirl, Auntie D. Roberto De Banco and Gingy Ginger, thank you so much for the subs. I love you all. Appreciate you all. 
Uh, let's have a look at that culture. This culture will be wild. Oh. Look at this man. You can see when my city hit 10 population. In fact, you can probably see at various points when my city hit 10 population. That's mad. The fact that I was on par with the AI... The Civ is broken. Civ is, it's broken. It's busted. Completely busted. Completely busted. Completely bussing. Um, not gonna lie, I forget what Yongle, Yongle does. Oh, I guess we just have to rewind the stream and find out. Thank you so much, Lightswarm, for the five. Five dollary doodles. Any more graphs? Any graphers? Total religions founded. Very useful graph. Wars declared. Very useful graph. Um, player score. Now that's a fun one. Uh, Singapore had a great game this game. We took over. We took over. Number of combats. I feel like I avoided war most of this game. Why was I fighting at the end? Barbs. Was that all the barb combat I think? I think it was. Um, yeah, I think that was me fighting barbs towards the end of the game. Great people earned. Borbs. Better get your... Uh, so, let's do... We do a little hosting. Let's make a nice screenshot of the Great Walls. Oh, one of the new leaders can found multiple religions based. Approximately 3.2 young girls. It's turn 187. This might be one of the fastest victories I've done in a long time. Um, so, we want to yongle the dongle. Enable fixed tilt. I'm trying to remember, how do I... Nice bright sky. Oh, I forgot to do something very important. I forgot to... Nope. Search for the Great Wall. Tap this. Can I zoom out a little? There we go. I need to be very careful about how I angle my empire. Can I get a little zoomed in here? Taking a very nice screenshot. I'm trying to find the angle of aesthetic beauty that like really captures the like maybe if I do a little bit more orthographic how does that feel should I have them highlighted or should I turn off the highlight I think there's a way for me to do this. How's that look? What do you guys think? What are you thinking? Good screenshot? You want some mountains in it? Hold on. I don't want to have any other people's empires in. Aside from Coupe. Alright, I'm going to go post that. To Twitter. Alright, I love you all very much. Thanks for watching. It's just, it's just, it's just meant to be a cool screenshot. Um, any hosters? Anyone streaming Civ? Let's see. Ba, 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 ba. TSM the odd one no shot the odd one's playing hang on is this the guy who used to play League of Legends based I used to watch him play League years ago there's Shadow at Noon she's a Yogger I think. I don't even know if she's a she, actually. Um, my pronouns are she, her. I didn't, I've literally only ever seen like their Twitter profile. For all the entertainment. Um, so, we shall host Shadow. Oh, 
Shadow is finished. Well, I'm done. Uh, white and nerdy. Thank you so much, Agly. All right, guys, I want you to vote. White and nerdy or TSM, the odd one. Who are we hosting? Give me the lowdown. First person to type it in chat. White and nerdy it is. <clears throat> All right. Everyone get in here. We're Audi 5000. 